Now, I had two openings to today's show. Good morning, by the way. One was, oh, didn't she look gorgeous? Didn't she like... Do you know what? If I was going to design her wedding dress, I'd have designed exactly that. Exactly that. And we're going to... I'll talk more with... Jan Janice is back in the building as well today. Um, I'll talk to Janice about the veil in a minute because I thought she looked gorgeous. And I loved the way that she had very relaxed hair. First of all, it annoyed me. I was like, oh, there's a bit of hair there. And then thought, actually, no, it works. It looks... Didn't she? And the other opening was, oh, I've eaten something. I'm all right bloated. So you can see which I didn't know which one to do. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. Would you like to have a look at today's menu? Here we go. Today with me, John Scott, eight o'clock. Now, simple bag making doesn't mean that Janice is simple or that she's a bag. She is making a simple bag. Uh, and she's got lovely hair today. Nine o'clock, irresistible quilt kits, where I'll take you through some fabulous quilt kits. Oh, now you've got to watch that hour because I'm doing something in that hour that we don't normally do. 10 o'clock, we've got the kids' summer wardrobe with Janice Hobbs. She's not wearing it. And then it's 11 o'clock. Oh, now, now, it says Wesley Rulers. You need to come back to me for a second. You need to come back for me for a second. So Janice's show will go from 10 o'clock till 10.40. Then at 10, then there will no, be no break. I will then introduce the Westerly show, and it's something a little bit different today. So stay watching. But if you want to watch the Westerly show, be ready from 10.40. Okay? Uh, now, oh, I'll show you, quickly before I go on, I'll show you these. So this is the bag Janice is making. Lovely. It's a premiere pattern. Lovely big. I, I'd say that was a beach bag, wouldn't you? Beautiful bag. So that's um, premiere fabric, premiere pattern. And then at Janice's um, 10 o'clock show, look how cute. Another premiere pattern for little girls, little girls outfits. There's trousers, there's skirts, there's longer tops, there's asymmetrical tops. There's lots going on in that pattern. So if you'd like to get in touch, this is how you can do it. You go to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. <laughs> and then what you do is you have to uh, log in there, watch today's show and you need to log in live. Um, uh, what, oh. Eight, three, three, two, one. Uh, now, what you need to do is uh, you do need to log in. You'll have to put your uh, details in. That doesn't cost you any money. See the box there where it says message to studio. All you do is you can write your message there. Now, at your end, you can type away to your heart's content. But at our end, it cuts you off after 140 characters. Scroll down the page and you will see today's products. There we go. Now, they are products that I had yesterday. In a minute, all of those will disappear. And all of today's items, as I introduce them, whether they be bundles or tools or sewing machines or anything like that, they will all start appearing there. You can click on them and pop them in your basket. Scroll to the top of the page. And you see on the right-hand side there, that, oh, that was a lovely bundle we had yesterday, a Tula Pink Fox Club fabric bundle yesterday. What you do is, if you, while the live auction is on, you can click on there, you can put it in your basket. Now, you can check out as many times as you like during the day. Check out as many times as you like during the day um, because uh, the things, th things sell out really, really, really quickly sometimes. And if you want it to guarantee it, you need to put it in your basket. This is where I'd normally say, and it's one P&P for the whole day of £2.95. However, until midnight tonight on Sunday the 20th, it's free P&P. Free P&P, but only up until midnight. On, so if you're watching at 10 past midnight, no. So if you want free PMP, you need to order by mid. Now, automatically happens. You don't have to do anything, whether you're buying from the telly, whether you're buying from the web shop, whether you, wherever you buy it from, as long as it's um, sewing quarter, obviously. Uh, it's free P and P. Where's that? Um, well, that's another little apron there, isn't it? Anyway, shall we? You can also email me. You can also email me. Uh, that's the only way to get the longer messages or photographs in. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. OK? As I say, Janice is back in the building. We all love to see Janice. Looking gorgeous, Janice. And she thinks I look slimmer, even though I'm bloated. Um, premier, premier, premier pattern. It's lovely, isn't it? Be all lined, all fully lined and everything. Isn't that lovely? So, um, now you get the pattern in the bundle. So I've got five different bundles for you to choose from. Shall I start with the one that Janice has made? which is this one here, the yellow bundle. So this is the pattern, Premiere. So look, there's four different bag patterns in there already that you can uh, choose to your heart's delight. Then you get your thread. Then you get four metres of fabric. So you get uh, two metres, oh, I had, had a little block then, two metres of this, one metre of this, and one metre of this premier, gorgeous premier fabric. 
So mating four meters of your fabric uh, and everything there, you see, 49 pounds and 99 pence. Is that right? I thought there were halves. For some reason, when, I, when we did the prep this morning, Yes, no, 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 it's right, it's right, I thought it was weird. You get a metre of this and a metre and a half of each of those. So it's a metre of this, metre and a half of the blue spot, metre and a half of the premier. That's right, because I said to put this one on the top because it was the least amount, didn't I? So that's the yellow one. That's cotton canvas. Then you've got cotton spot on and then you've got the cotton floral. 49. Now, the thing is, you might not want to make the bag out of that. You might make something else out of that, but you gain all of that for 49.99. I then have four other options. So shall I do the one that Janice is going to be making in the show, which is this one here. Again, you get the pattern, you get pattern, you get the thread. Then here, you get a metre of the cotton canvas in that gorgeous soft lavender lilac colour. You get a metre and a half of the spot on and a metre and a half of Tudor, the frog prints. So that's called the lilac kit, that one. The lilac kit, 55 pounds and 49 pence. There it all is. Lots of fabric, you get loads of fabric in there. So they're the two that one has been made, one's about to be made. Where shall I go now then? The other Tula, which is here. Let me just move that back out of the way a minute. The other Tula, which is here. This is pretty. So. Again, you get the pattern, you get the thread, you get a metre of the cotton canvas, you get a metre and a half of the cheeky spot on, and a metre and a half, oh, it's upside down, of the squirrel tula. Four metres of fabric, a pattern and threads for £55.49. Uh, what's my next colourway then, red? Next colourway is red, here we go, this is lovely. Another prem, is this, this is premier, is it as well? Yep. Yeah. Look, that's a pretty fabric, isn't it? A metre and a half of the fabric. I'll waft these later for you. You get a, a metre and a half of the red spot on and a metre of the red cotton canvas. That's a gorgeous bundle, isn't it, that one? Thread and instructions, £49.99. And then if you want a more soft, genteel one, there's this one. So you get a metre, you get a metre of the pale green cotton canvas. You get a metre and a half of the spot on. And then, look at this. Now, you've, you may have seen this once before. It's only ever been on air once before, that fabric. Metre and a half of the lovely uh, Icon Floral. £49.99. OK, let's go and see Janice then. Here's the finished bag. There you go. Oops. Janice, you're looking gorgeous. Hello, John. How, How are, are you? you? Mm. Long time. Oh, yeah, seen. no, we missed you. We missed you. I know. When um, the people lost your parcel, we I missed know. seeing you. But you're back. You're but back I'm today. Back. And that's the, the main thing. And that's the main thing. Exactly. <laughs> Look at this on tone. I know, with my hair and everything. But to be honest, it's not as spiky as it was because I'm growing it. I, yes. want, I want a bit of a different style yeah. now. So yeah. for the summer, so I'm growing it a bit. But yeah, that's so. Nice. All good. So before we start the bag, you love the dress. But you loved the veil, didn't you? The the actual design was in the label, was uh, in the actual veil, um, because they kept, I think, the dress plain because there was the fifty three flags of the Commonwealth flowers, flowers of the Commonwealth, Commonwealth yes. embroidered on it, and I thought, what a lovely idea! So because they always come out with some, every single wedding, yes, they've come out with something different, like with Fergie with the A, and yes, you know yes, what yeah. I mean. And it, it was oh, so stunning, so stunning. She looked. And then did you see? Beautiful. Did you see a picture of her going out in the night time in the party in the Stella? No, oh, I didn't. so she was she wanted during the day, yes. and then she had the Stella McCartney on. on of it, the night. Uh, now I thought she looked oh, brilliant. That's actually Hannah. Get, did she have? Yeah, she looked all right. Oh, and, no, then I went, and then I saw, look, look at the going out dress, and she went, mm, yeah. <laughs> like, as though she's married to Prince Charming. But we love, love Harry, don't we? So oh. We love Harry, don't we? Oh, Harry, so, I think yeah. Hannah, then. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh, we love Hannah too, but uh, definitely Harry. <laughs> Donna says that, John, your show's is fantastic. What fabric? I know that. Oh, he's commented on your Oh, show, we don't sell this fabric, though. It's we don't sell me. this fabric. But it's um, balloons. It's from Claudio Lugli. He does, a he does ladies' shirts in it. 
but he doesn't do um, skirts, I'm afraid. Right, let's no, get on with old oh, Marcia. Morning, Marcia. Very morning. good morning, adorable people. Morning. John, you don't look bloated at all. It says blotted. Uh, Janice, I love your hair. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> um, <laughs> now it's Marcia's birthday. more confidence to dye the hair, doesn't it? Anyway, it's Marcia's birthday as well. You're Martin? Marcia. Oh, yes, Mar on the 25th, it's Marcia's oh, birthday. Happy When's birthday. your Martin's birthday then? November. Oh, ages He's to save up for that one. He's a Scorpio. He sent me a message earlier. So. He's obviously fallen asleep on the sofa, <laughs> hasn't he? Right, let's <laughs> get on, let's get on. The pattern. Now, this pattern, um, it's, it's lovely. It's a great pattern, and the bag is absolutely stunning. Yeah, oh, I think it looks it's, lovely. It's but look, you've got, you've got four... You've got this different sizes. Four you? different versions on there. Two Obviously, versions. on this one, you're going to have to buy um, a circular handle. Yeah. But um, they're lovely. I'll just show you the back there. Four different versions of the bag there. But you get that pattern. You get the pattern for all of them. But obviously that one you'd have to, to buy your um, handle to go but with. But this is pattern A, believe it or not, on there. It's, it's the little one? The little one. So be warned on that. This is pattern A. And it's oh, quite big. Oh, I just presumed that that was B because it no, looked bigger. No, 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 no. This is pattern A. Oh, crikey. So it's very big. So yes. So B must yeah, be enormous be warned, then. Because B is going to be absolutely massive. Yeah, Hence all the fabric, I yes. think. I so, think, yes. I think yeah. they put enough fabric in, have they, to make, yeah, to to make do B. Them all. Yeah. But what you've also got to remember with this, with, with this fabric, with the design of the frog or the squirrel on, because there's a direct pattern with the frog, you want it to match as you go in front to back. Oh, yes, I you see what me. you mean. You need to, to get uh, that. Just so you know, uh, the lilac one, this is the lilac one. The graphics for the one that Janice is using is up there. That one down there is for this one here. So you it says yellow because it's got yellow in. Maybe I'll do that. And I love this cotton there. canvas as well. But I'll talk about that yes. later. But yeah, with the frog, just make sure it's in a row. Yes, because obviously it'd look a bit odd, wouldn't it? If it one's a bit yeah. lower than the other. And the squirrel. Yeah. So you cut your pattern pieces out, and I've done most of it for you anyway. Oh, thank you, um, <laughs> So you've got your contrast fabric. Yes. You've got your main fabric. OK, so now it's funny that it's unusual that the cotton canvas it's on the inside, the inside, isn't it? Yeah, but you could have it either Well, way, could you, though? Because yeah. you, you're given a metre and a half of this and a metre and a half of this, but only one metre of the cotton canvas. You'd still probably get it out. Would you get it out? I think so, yeah. yeah. OK. Because what you're doing, you see, with, with the cotton canvas, you're actually um, putting a facing on to match the fabric. Yes. So oh, you're yes. not oh, using... Yes. It's all... So, so yes, yeah, so these pieces aren't as big so, as that piece there. So no, you could, if so, you wanted to... Use the cotton can. I mean, if yeah. you want your, your, your tula or your pattern mm -hmm. to be your main, but if you wanted your bottom to be canvas. in the cotton canvas, yeah. and then you could put the dots on the inside, you could. You? Yeah. You could. I should have done it like that. No, no, no. I did it's it with a dress. Yeah. But this cotton canvas is a lovely fabric. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I, th I was ever so shocked when I felt it. I thought, ooh, yeah. it's a bit nice for a lining. It is. Yeah, no, it's gorgeous. <laughs> but also, it'll give the bag a bit of a sturdiness because yes. sometimes you can make like a big bag like that and it turns and it's, it's fine if you want a soft tote bag but it's if it's yeah. too floppy it's you don't too want that too flimsy you know and then of course are there lots of, are there lots of pattern pieces to follow no 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 not at all because no. all. all you all you've got is your contrast on the bottom your top your facing and your and straps. You, oh, that's good. That's, that's good. It. So now you've um, you've um, interfaced it. Interfaced your bag just to give it that bit of um, body again. So there we go. A nice Did you open this packet? No. There you go. So you get a meter square. Now, if you only get a, you must you should be able to get the whole of that bag then out of a meter of this. Mm -hmm. Just working it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah you should be able to so. cut it carefully. Yeah. You should get the whole of that bag yeah. out of the meter. So you've only ironed it on. Yep. The base and the two yep. main sections. Yep. So, and oh, I and the, move it in the strap. Use and it the strap. strap. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So that's it. So all you do, cut the both out, join the contrast to the top. Yes. Seam it and then edge stitch. There's a nice edge stitching. Yeah. On there as well on both sides. Yeah. Well, you get your you, you get your um and you get uh, all the complementary anyway. thread anyway. Don't so you? then what you do, you join. Your side seams. Hold on a second. You, you confuse so yourself because you've done half of it already. I know. Whenever I said to my mum yesterday, when I do half things, half things, I get into such confusion. Yeah, yeah. So what you do, you join your side seams. Yeah. So I'm just going to finish off machining because I left it open so I could show you. OK. So I'm just going to finish off this side seam. Why have you got that dark green thread over there? Am I jumping ahead of myself? What dark green thread? Are we telling you attacking? 
Oh, using, you're using, using... Or, Orophil as a tacking thread. That's nice. <laughs> How am I? <laughs> yeah. You just go and help yourself again. <laughs> Have you not seen the sign on the door? <laughs> do not touch Janice. Not do not touch Janice. Do I'm not lethal. touch what's in here, Janice. <laughs> right. So what's your so sewing? I'm the just side going seam to or the bottom? Finish the side seam. Okay, first. So that's what we're going to do first. Right. Side seam. Five eight seams. It's actually the bottom. If you're confused at home, it's the bottom. Oh no, no. no oh no, 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 no. what? That's it. That's okay. Okay, well, she's all right, she's all right. She's back with it. You know what it was? Last time I was on, I sewed over a key. Did you? And it, I broke the needle. And it was quite Were you with me that day? It was quite embarrassing. I think I was with Natasha. I was going to say, I don't remember that, otherwise yeah, I was going to remind Natasha. you about that. Yeah, um, I was with Natasha. So we're just sewing the side seams. Bottom. First. That's it. That's it. Now you're oh, yes, the, the bottom, sorry, yeah. yeah. You keep saying that, don't you? Sorry. Don't worry. I'm here to written. So know. then all we do then, put your pin in because because you've got the contrast and the main fabric, yeah. you need to just make sure that the seams match. Oh, yeah, because you don't want so them you sitting don't, like that, do <laughs> sitting you? Sitting like that. So, again, just tuck it in, pin it, and pin it. Now, yesterday, we had a new guest on yesterday, Sally. Yeah. And when she did the uh, a seam like that, she put her pin through and then she let it waggle. It was a, what she did. Was she was matching seams on a quilt. So yeah. she put her pin through the two places where it had to go, like that. Yeah. And then she let it waggle like that, because sometimes she says if you're doing a quilt and you do it, oh, it moves a little bit. So okay. she just waggled it like that, so the pin was straight, and then she pinned it. But you were right, you got it dead on, so. <laughs> oh, I've never seen that I before. Don't know. No. I've never seen it before. She, no, she, another tip that I've never seen before yesterday as well. It's all these tips, isn't Hello, it, as well? my brain's going to explode with all these tips. <laughs> I bet they would with you, because you, you have quilters on and everything, and not Yes. Right? So. I have to work with Hannah <laughs> as well. Aww. She says, hello, everybody. Today's Hannah's last day, not ever, before she goes on. She's off for 17 days. We should. She's off to New York. Ooh. I can go to other bits in America, but you're mainly in New York, aren't you? But mainly in New York. Philadelphia, that. New York and Philadelphia. So I'm now sewing the sides. Now you're sewing the sides in. You, <laughs> you knew what, Hannah? Oh, oh she's going to go to Washington, D.C. Oh, get that lovely train, that big, fast train. Because you love New York, I bet you're dead jealous. I, I, I absolutely <laughs> love New York. You love and New York. It was really funny because I worked there. When I worked there, there was me and a girl called Donna from South London, That's who were like really, really, really good friends. And people could, uh, could. You all right? No, it's it was budging up a bit. Oh, so. nesting. Uh, people, people couldn't un understand that, couldn't see the difference between my accent and her accent. <laughs> Uh, but she kept saying, I loved it in New York and wouldn't leave. And she'd go away all different weekends and we'll see different parts of America. And I was like, no, I'm staying in. And I went to Washington, <laughs> D.C. with her for a week weekend. It was a lovely time, but I spent the whole time thinking, I just want to be back in New York now. I just oh. want to be back in New York. Oh, it is a great city, isn't yeah. it? you're right there. And now they've got zero tolerance. It's safe. Safe yes. there, which is nice. So... Because when I went there, I went with the two ten-year-old children. Oh yes. And then we went to the pictures at one o'clock in the morning. Oh yes. <laughs> well, when we I first moved away. there, I lived in Greenwich Village. Yeah. And um, I was amazed at super uh, here. Supermarkets weren't open at night time. And you can go like it was so hot when I lived the year I lived there. The summer was so hot. You could uh, you woke up at four o'clock in the morning. You think, oh, I could do with an ice cream. Just walk down <laughs> to the supermarket, <laughs> get an ice cream, and then oh, I loved it. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing place. So once you've done that, front and back, what you then do, you do your line. No, Have you got a box bottom to do yet? The other box bottom to do? Because you've done that box bottom there, but you've not done that box bottom yet. Oh, I've got a box them. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. Don't worry. So, yeah. I'm putting you off by talking about New York and so ice cream and everything. So what we're going to do is just box the bottom. Yeah. So what you've got... Yeah, because that's the pattern, isn't okay. it? Okay. What we need to do, when you cut it out and done your markings, you've got your three markings there, front and back. Yeah. So what you do, you have to box it out. So I'm just explaining this yeah. if they've never done the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So what you do, you open it out. Yeah. Like so. 
And then you bring the two seams that are centre yes. of the bottom together. And again, what you do, you open the seam up. Open the seam up. Yeah. And you can pre and don't forget when we, you have time, you press these open so that. Oh you get yes, that crisp yes, yes, finish yes, yes, yeah. yeah. With me, my pressing, and then um, you just pin. It's only like it. when you when you've when you've done a square bag and you do a box spotting, you just machine across the corner. Well, this is the pattern without wasting the fabric. This they've already done it in the pattern for you. Yes. I do that with a lot of patterns now with bags, yeah. That's it. So we just box that there. The same pin in, and then you go into machine, yeah, five eighths of an inch straight across, okay, from side yeah. to side. So, if we just, I oh, always use my fingers, yeah, be careful. The, there you go, that's it. So, and again, you've got your notch there, and you're going to go from there to the other notch, yeah. So, and making sure your seams are matched in the yeah, middle, and make sure your seams are matched in the middle. Remember, it's VP pin till midnight tonight. Anything off the website, anything you buy off the telly. Oh, obviously, only saying quarter, obviously. I keep saying anything off the telly. Not, don't be watching an advert later. <laughs> uh, good morning, <laughs> almost <laughs> missed you. Wet and miserable in Northern Ireland this morning. Oh. Nothing new there. I thought it was sunny yesterday in Northern Ireland. Hannah's got shorts on today and she's a bit chilly. But it is, I just went out to the car and it's a beautiful day out. It's a really beautiful day outside today. Well, I didn't put the coat on. I thought, no, I don't need our coat on. But there's always that saying, don't cast a cloud till May's out, isn't it? And some before seven, be rain before 11. Oh, no, I haven't heard that no. one. That's another good one, isn't it? What was yours? Don't pass a cloud? No, um, don't cast a cloud till May's out, isn't it? That's it. Yeah, so all you're going to do then is just trim with my left-handed scissors. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you're taking the pin out first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do that. And then take your tack sides as well. Yeah. And that's that done. So that's okay. your bottom. And then... So now you've got the outside of your bag. You've got the bag done. So yeah. what we're going to do is we turn it round. And it's a lovely, lovely colour. Now, the lining is, is slightly what... different, isn't it? Because yeah. it's the same process, yeah. but you're not joining your two fabrics together there. No, you're joining them... You're putting the facing on. So, so what you do, again, now in this pattern as well, there's a B. There's a B, B, B. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so you can follow that round That's as in the well. frog's tummy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> there's a B. It's coming in. There you go. All right. When I said about the B, Martin thought I meant a proper one. So, oh, no. So what you do, you machine round this, you tr treat this as your lining, and you have to make sure you leave the gap in the to bottom. turn it. Did you forget yeah. to leave the gap in the bottom? No, sir. Oh, it looks like it, it's there now, but it looks like it's been stitched and then No, that's... Oh, that's I'll let you off, Janice. No, I didn't forget, honestly. So, oh, now, you've, you've interfaced... The facing. The facing, but not, not no, the rest of the lining. No, lining, just... Okay. It, but it all gives us the instructions yeah. in the pattern. Oh, OK. So okay. what you do now, you join these together, right sides together. Yes. OK? Yeah. So tuck that, turn that round the other way. So again, you just do exactly the same, box the corners. Yes. Do exactly the same. And now what we're going to do is just put this in to the You're going to finish early, Janice. I'm not. Are you not? No. I'm not, she says. Because, I'm not. Because we've got that stitching to do, Oh, uh, OK. So what we'll do is, when you're stitching that in a minute, I'll go and do bundles, yeah. so rather than watch you just... So all you're going to do now is, as you can see, when I've pressed the seams yeah. open, again, join your seams, stick your pin in. Now, this, these are the colours that the Queen wore yesterday. Yes. Oh, oh now I've got to tell you, my lovely. friend Stuart Harvey made her outfit yesterday. Yeah, you said. Yeah. She, didn't she look beautiful? I love always to see what the Queen wears. Yeah, I know, but she didn't look very happy. She looked a bit no. grumpy, didn't but, she? Oh, I love that man at the, you know... The you love who? The bishop. That oh, the because, preacher man, oh, yes. Oh, wasn't he wonderful? All about oh, love, he said. Oh, it is. Thought and he then was wasn't the wonderful. young lad who did the played the cello or the double bass, whatever he was playing? He won Young Musician of the Year. Oh, I wondered where they there. found him from. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, my aunt, my aunt went and he won. He was on Young Musician of the Year last yeah. year. Well, not where they found him, but he's a like 19 year old lad. cellist. It was, yeah. you know, and he was like, it was brilliant. Uh, but he, he obviously, they obviously were aware of him because he'd won Young Musician of the Year. And then the gospel choir was good. And I like oh. the lady conductor, her hair. 
I like you. I'm well, surprised you haven't done your hair like that. I must today. admit, I cried at that. Oh, did you? Because um, I went to a funeral in November in America well, for my um, yes. goddaughter. But didn't he pick two of the tunes because they were played at Diana's funeral? Two oh, of the tunes he done. chose for the, the wedding as they were played at Diana's funeral. But that stand by me. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it? Yes. So oh, I'm I haven't got any message apart from Eileen still. I'm just pinning. The Hang on, Janice, I've got a message. Uh, who is it? Fiona. Good morning, John and Janice. <laughs> Hello, Loving Fiona. the baby pink hair. Thank you. That's Fiona in Yorkshire. I've never been pink before. No, it's lovely. No, this isn't one I bought, is it? No. No. Your pink was like really harsh. Oh, sorry. A real deep pink, and I thought, dare I, dare I. No, that suits you, <laughs> that colour suits you. And then you got an email saying what, sorry? Oh, another message from Jill. Mo <coughs> Morning, John and Janice. What fabulous hair colour, Janice. Love the bag. <laughs> what do you think of Victoria Beckham in black for the wedding? Um, she never smiles. No. She somebody, never happy. somebody, um... I think they had a row, though. She what? I think they had a row yesterday. Do you? Mm -hmm. But he was smiley. Mm -hmm. No, he was, but but they, they shot in on the picture of them her talking to him. Yeah. And I honestly think that had an argument. Oh, do you? Mm. Somebody somebody said that she looked like <laughs> Cruella de Vil. I, not my words, this was somebody on Facebook. And then someone else said she's come as the child catcher from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <laughs> the thing is, she's silly because life's oh, no, much she's... happier when you smile, isn't it? I mean, she might be happy inside. I'm not saying she's not happy, but... Yeah. Well, I thought George Clooney... Um, and his, his wife looked beautiful. Oh, yeah, she looked lovely, didn't she? But I think, I think he's so... And I says to Martin... Where are we, are we on to now? George Clooney still, yeah. George Clooney. Yeah. I says to Martin, he must be one of the most handsomest men in the world. After Martin, of course. After Martin, of course. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> You'll be getting a complex of your own watching, getting a complex. Right, what are you going to do so now? So what I've done, I've actually pinned now just round the top. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is just machine round the top enjoying Okay, then the do scene. that, but don't do anything else, and I'm going to do bundles, all right? Okay. Can you manage? you want me to take the gubbins box off for you? Hang on. There you go. Lovely. So I'm just going right. to machine down there. Right, the Janice, the Janice, no, no, not the Janice. The bundle that Janice is working with is this one here. So you get your pattern, you get your thread, you get four metres of fabric, so it's a metre of the cotton canvas, a metre and a half of the spot on, and a metre and a half of the tula. The thread and the instructions, brand new premiere instructions today. The pattern, fifty-four pounds and fifty-five pounds and forty-nine pence. Fifty-five pounds and forty-nine pence. Look, they've they've done that picture, and you can't see the frog. Oh, you can see its tummy and its its chin, I suppose. Can you? Yeah, but you wouldn't know that was a frog if you just tuned in now. You wouldn't know that was Tudor Pink Frog, would you? Anyway, well, you would, Hannah, because you love it. Next, yellow, which is one Janice has already made. Uh, this is one that uh, Janice has already made here. So the, the pattern is a premiere. You get the pattern, you get the thread, you get this gorgeous yellow cotton canvas, you get the beautiful spot on metre and a half, and then you get a metre and a half of this brand spanking new premiere. Look how much she get. I mean, look, I'm coming around the front, right? Look how much she get. It... Well, you know what? You could make a gorgeous little top out of that or skirt out of that, couldn't you? OK. Floral meadow, actually, do you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, it's a metre and a half. It's a metre and a half. Is it wide, then? Is that white looking so much? Oh, no, it's 44 inches wide. Anyway, it's a metre and a half. That's lovely, isn't it? Premiere today. Premiere, premiere, premiere. £49.99 for that bundle. Now, the red one... That's what? The red one has absolutely stormed out, right? Premiere fabric again in the pattern. I'll show you. <coughs> if you're thinking of buying this, you're thinking, oh, I'll, do it. I'll, I'll get it when Janice finishes. I've got fewer than 10 of these left already. So you get the pattern, you get the thread, you get the uh, cotton canvas, a metre. You get a metre and a half of the red spot on. And then this is a premier fabric as well. It's called Scenic Meadow. Well, it's, no, it, the, the range is called Scenic, and this is called Meadow, this fabric. So what was that? Was that from Scenic as well, that one there? Oh, I like that. Look, that's nice. 
That's beautiful, isn't it? But you need to know there are fewer than 10 of those bundles left already. And it's only 8.31 on Sunday morning. Free PMP as well till midnight, remember? So don't be buying it after midnight because you won't get your free PMP. Well, what's next? The green one next. Oops. This is lovely. This is, um, I'm mixing the threads up. There you go. So you get the pattern, you get the thread, you get a meter of the like lovely soft green uh, cotton canvas. You get a meter and a half of the spot on and a meter and a half of this fabric, which you have seen before, may have seen before once, only have been on air once with me. Because we remember when we showed it and it's like, oh, there's a snail on there. I can't see a snail there. I remembered the hedgehog, but Hannah, rem there it is. Hannah remembered the, the snail there. She likes snails. Anyway, that's the green one. I've got one more, haven't I? Oh, yeah, the pinky one here. Oh, now they're all, of which one? That one I've just shown you, the green one there, that's, that's the second most favourite, that one. Please be careful on that one. And then last but not least, we've got the pinky one. Uh, so again, you get the pattern, you get the thread, you get the cotton canvas a metre, you get the cheeky pink uh, spot on, metre meter and a half. And then this is the Tula, right? This is the squirrels. Now, is this, uh, I always want to call this begonia, but I don't think it is begonia, is it? Oh, it is! You have to trust, just trust your instinct. Oh, sorry. Ah! Look, you get all of this chula. Now we're limited on the, on the squirrel's fabric in general. It's nice, isn't it? Lots of fabric, loads of fabric. Do you feed your squirrels in your, in your garden, in your yard? Oh, 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 no, Hannah's not, not happy with her squirrels. When I bought my flat in Twickenham, not my house, um, the lady before me obviously fed squirrels. So in the morning, I'd come down, there'd be all these squirrels lined up along the French, by the French windows waiting for food. Yeah. Anyway, me done. Back to Janice. So you've stitched they around the top. They've come out, don't they, the squirrels? They've done what? They've all suddenly come out. They've all suddenly well, it's appeared. it's because it's suddenly nice now, weather, it's isn't it? The weather, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, so, just machine drown, so now we're going to turn it from this side. Right, okay. Out. So we haven't had to put handles in, we, we, no, the handles don't go the in. The handles are the... on the outside this time. Oh, okay, because so sometimes you put the handles in that seam. Yeah. But... No, well, that makes it easier. I haven't forgotten this time, No, 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 John. no, 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 no. <laughs> I always forget something, no. <laughs> Just watch your mic, Janice, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's buried, Janice, down there. <laughs> no, it is down there. So just turn it out, and then what? We do. This is where now we just fold. Oh yes, now the fold, fold isn't where the, the fold isn't where That's the, it, the lilac starts. It's actually where the two yeah, tulas meet. Isn't the, it? That's it. So it's where the facing goes down. Hold on a second. I need to just go down a bit further. Yes. When we, we, when we were all on together last, uh, Mike, Ginger Mike, Hannah and me, we had Joe Carter in. We yeah. talked about banoffee pie. Mike said he wanted a banoffee pie. <laughs> and we talked about the recipes for banoffee pie and where you can buy it. And then Joe Carter said, oh, you can buy the carnation milk or evaporated yeah. milk or, or condensed milk already caramelised and everything. Yes, anyway, she can now. Well, she's found it, she's found it. So we should, when she's in yeah, there, she's going to make a banoffee pie. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. I, don't know when, where, I don't know when I'm in with Joe <laughs> next, whether it'll Save be. Save me some. I've told them at work I'm going to make profiterolls rolls for them. Oh. Because I used to make a lot of profiterolls rolls when I was you? at college, yeah. Did you, do you put cream so, in them or custard yeah, in them? Yeah, cream. Oh, I like them with custard in. Ooh. Yeah. What do you mean, ooh? ooh. i tell you what I like, a Yorkshire pudding with custard and jam. Oh, you don't? It's called Manchester Tart. I oh, know, but it is pudding, isn't it? I was on about that the other day, it being a pudding. The Americans think of it as something yeah. as a pudding, don't they? Anna so, wants a traditional Cornish pasty where it's got meat in one end and apple in the other. An apple. Yeah. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Right. Right then, so... What's, what I would normally do is press the inside before I turn it so you've got it finished yes, anyway. Yeah. But the tip I always do, if you need to get your seams out... You get a get, very expensive thread. You get a very expensive thread. 
Good morning, folks. <laughs> the saying that Janice mentioned is cast not a clout till May is oh, out. Oh, a clout. Yeah. I it's it an a old world for a piece of clothing. Oh. Oh. I never clout knew is an that. old word for a piece of clothing. Oh, and then it runs out of words, saying it's been in use. So cast out a cloud. Oh, so don't get rid of your coat until clouds. May's out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, got it. Because my dad as well, my dad loved his garden. All right. And he would never, let me, I need to explain. Yeah, this, explain this. Talk about your dad I'll in a minute. I'll explain that. So what you do, double, double thread. Yeah. You go into the seam. As yeah. So you go in, in, as so you go into the sew it. Yeah. You come out the other side, get the thread, don't, don't sew it and pull. And that will pull the seam out. Oh, how, so, how, 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 how every so often do you have to do that then? Well, as, as long as you need the seam to be open, really. But if you, I'm, I'm doing this as a tip, just in case there's bits when you're sewing that you can't do. But what I always do, I always press these seams open before I turn it. And then I, I turn it. Yeah. And then you just pull the seams out. And if you look there now, the seams... Yes has come out. So that's just a tip if yeah, you really need fabulous. to seam out and you're stuck. Okay. So you do that going all along. So if we just give it a press Yeah, now. I'll just get it out for you, Janice. Um, now, Ethne's emailed in. Hello, John and Janice, she says. Our best team is back together. <laughs> I wonder what channel she's watching. <laughs> you two should come with a government health warning. <laughs> Contagious laughter. And what? And stomach cakes. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Janice, you look stunning. That's what... John, don't ever change. I'll tell you something, though. Last night when I was doing... The... You know, I always do my own hair. It was still orange and I could not get rid of this. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I dyed my hair twice last night to get this colour. It, the orange do you know just what? If you'll... you'll, you'll, um, you'll um... Uh, it fall out, you bleach it that often. Oh, no. no, I didn't bleach it. Oh, it was, didn't? It was a blonde colour first. OK. And I put the blonde on. Yeah. Didn't work. Mm. And I got this pink and I thought... And I looked at your pink. I got your pink on my hand and I thought... Oh, That's no, very... No, the pink I got you is very, very was fuchsia pinky. Very pinky. <clears throat> and I thought, the office won't stand for that one. Not this office. She <laughs> can get away with anything here, but her, her office. In the account. Uh, and the May means hawthorn blossom, not the month. So, class, don't don't clout it out. Mo says, and the May means hawthorn blossom, not the month. Uh, lovely dress, very Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Very Audrey Hepburn. Great show. Thank you, Mo. How are you, Mo? Oh, have you moved? Mo, have you moved? Yeah, she's moving. Now, what I was going to say about my dad, and I want to tell people this as well, he always said, don't plant any plants out because you will lose the loss. Who oh, said that? My dad, because he, he was always a very... Whatever. Gardener. Yeah, no, but when and what he, what he don't said... Don't plant them out when? Don't plant them out before May's out because we can have a frost still and it can wipe the lock I have out. to say, I, in my front garden, I've got these raised beds and everything. All that snow has killed... That's, I'm having to start... These aren't new ones. These are old ones that have been ones. in there for six years. And that's years. what he said. He said, you can just have a frost like that yeah. and they can wipe... And people have spent hundreds of pounds yeah, oh, on the plants. And thousands. Um, yeah. Now, in my front garden, there are supposed to be 100 tulips, and there were last year. Only two came out this year. Oh, I love tulips. I, I, love, I love daffodils. Yeah, but I love and tulips. peonies. The thing of peonies are gorgeous, yeah. The one thing I don't like about daffodils, they're all lovely in the garden, but then when they finish flying, you can't just chop them off, can no. you? Because they'll come up blind next year, won't it's they? True. So. Right, so once you've gone round there... <laughs> right, what we do then... And we oh, should... uh, May, uh, Debbie says the same. May's out refers to May Blossom. It's out, so get them off, says mm -hmm. Debbie. Oh, there you go. There you go. So, what we're doing then, you've now got the shape of the bag for yes. me, which is really nice. So, what you do then, on the actual pattern, which you can hardly see, <laughs> and you can do it in a... Uh, Are you criticising? A... No. <laughs> no, you can hardly see the stitching. There's a beautiful stitching that you do around the rim. Oh, about... before we do anything else. Before, so, I'm not talking about handles. Five times. So, here, this here, is here, like... Here. So can you the see that, Michael? Down. Can you? It's, it's about five or six. Four. One, two, Is three, four. You've four. done, Janice. Not five yeah, or six. It's four. Well, you can meant you see to do it five or six. No, no, no. If I'll show you the pattern as well. Yeah. On the inside there, if you can pick that up. Oh, that's up. better. Can yeah. you pick that up? See that stitching? That's it. That's better. 
See that stitching? Now, That's what you're going to do on the bag. Now, you can do it in a contrast thread yes, as well, so yeah. make it stand oh, out. Oh, if your machine's got some um, you know, fancy, could you do fancy as well? You could do fancy, I suppose, yeah. I think I quite like it, but I think what I, like I do is, is um, See, in a different colour, that's what I do yeah, it in. do it in a different colour. Yeah. Morning, so, Janice. Love your hair. Thank you. Love you. Thank you for your great tips, especially the ones for scenes. Great tutorials from Linda in Oxfordshire. Oh, that's lovely. They're all loving you, aren't they, Janice? <laughs> I'm a nice person, hopefully. You are. I'm a nice person, hopefully. Well, they don't know you, do they? <laughs> like we do. Right, so, the Seems Right is back. Oh, Seems Right, well... Uh, seems Right's back. Seems Right is back. OK, this has got all the measurements on. Half inch, quarter of an inch. So I'm just coming in. Hang on a sec, Janice. Five eighths. You got it? So, there you go now. There we go. So you've got five eighths. You've got three eighths. You've got an inch. Three what do you use that for, and then? Half. And then you've got... That which is great for your button holes. Yeah. So it's quite solid. Yeah. So you can't really lose it or bend it yeah. or unless you get your pliers on yeah. or something. So what I use it for is across the top of the bag, because this is three eighths or a centimetre, right? The actual end of this foot foot here is a quarter of an inch, but right. you need it a bit wider. So with your seams right, you can measure the three eighths and follow the line going round. So, the way I'll do it. Yeah, just do it. There we go, three eighths. So I've got my foot, the middle of the foot where the stitching is, right on the three eighth edge. Yeah. And oh. I follow that round the three eighths. Oh yeah, there you go. So keep moving it, keep just using it as a guide. Just keep going round. Nice steady pace. Don't go too fast because you don't want your squiffy lines. No. So again, yeah. Now, at the top, if you're going to follow your foot, that's fine. But what happens as you go as you go in? You see, you need more. You're going more. If you're going to use your guide, sorry, sorry. On your if plate. you're going to use your guides on your plate, yeah. Because the 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 facing's going to go further in, you're going to lose that guiding. So you need something like this to, to do this. And you want to get, get them evenly spaced and as you well, want, Yeah. So just take your time. Keep moving it round. Yeah. Just take your time gently. Because you want to be more, you know, accurate so that looks nice. Especially if it's in contrast thread and it stands out. Yeah. <laughs> so just go round. <laughs> <laughs> Where we used to laugh like that on the telly. Huh? Somebody used to laugh like that on the telly. I was thinking it was. Did that? Don't know. <laughs> right, let's see. Keep going round. Keep going round. Keep going round. Tuck your seam in if it pops out. So I haven't gone all the way around to get the seam out. So just make sure you press this seam open before yeah. you. Before you even attempt to do before this. Before you attempt to do I do need to warn you, the red bundle, there are fewer than four now. Oh, there are four. There are four. Not fewer than four. There are four. There you go. That bundle there, brand new pattern, brand new, uh, uh, a brand new instructions of pattern, brand new fabric, the one at the front, a metre and a half that, a metre and a half the red spot on, a metre of the cotton canvas and the thread, 49.99, four left, that's all. It's so absolutely now, flying out, that one. Full speed. I'm just going to follow now, of course. I'm just going to follow the place at the moment so okay. that we can just do it. We've got about 10 minutes, all right, then. OK, keep going around. Has everyone's hay fever started today? Mine and, mine and Hannah's have both started. I don't morning. have hay fever. Don't I'm you? Working, no, oh, you can suddenly no. get it. You can suddenly go get it, can't you? Well, you're only meant to have it for seven years. Oh, so most you? people get it and it lasts for seven years. Goes, oh. Yeah, I've had it for my whole 39 years now. Gosh. Well, not quite 39, because it's my 39th birthday next month, but, you know. <laughs> Who are you trying to kid? Trying to kid a kidder. That's what you're trying to do. Right, so. <laughs> now, another thing I've learned. Yeah. Right, because... <laughs> come on, you. Because... Um, what are you trying to say? Because you don't want to tie knots in it, because you want it to be really nice on the outside yeah. of the bag. What you do, you're going to take your thread through to the other side and then knot it off. What, with a needle? Okay? With thread a needle. it up on a needle. So you thread it up on a needle. 
foot, what that that's sussed so out. What that's I'm a so needle stout. there. I know, but I'm big. trying not to throw it. Uh, what I did find out, if you've got one of them th needles that... Threaders? Oh. That, that, you know the needles that you can go through the top and they thread themselves? They're great for this when you've got two guns. Oh, or our needle threader's good for this as well. The Ivy needle threader. Yeah. So, but I'm going to just do the two together anyway. But the, the, they're really good for this. So you just take it through and you knot it off at the back because you don't want the bulk of the knot on yeah. the front. Yeah, excellent. So just tie that round, especially on the nice back. Mm. Just then knot it, double knot. Always, I always do double knots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right, and then Bob's your uncle, and that's it. So, you do that round the bag. Four, the however many times, times you're going to go around, yeah, four times, however yeah. however much time you want to do it. Then what you do, you do your bottom. So, but then again, we'll start with these. It's got hand, first. Got hands, handles, handles now. That's it. So, with the handle, yeah. the way these handles are done, I've done the one already. Right. You have your markings because what you're going to do is the crisscross oh, okay. to, you know, strengthen it when you do it. So, with the handles on this one, fold right sides together. So, you put interfacing on there as well. Could you make the me. handles out of the... There's enough of the cotton canvas if you wanted to make them out. Because it seems a shame... That you never, make, make nobody's ever going to see the, the cotton, cotton canvas, canvas aren't they? It's inside you yes. notes there, but it'd be quite nice to if you had the handles yeah, in the cotton it canvas. Would, as well, it'd be yeah. lovely to do it in the cotton canvas. Should have thought about that. Yeah, you, know, you should, Jenna. Really. You've should, only got one job. I? Well, you uh, haven't really, have you? No. <laughs> She's got an accounting job, this job, looking after Amy, looking after Martin, looking after your mum. And then I do other things. Oh, do you? Like little Abby yesterday. Other things? Yeah. My little friend, Abby. She said, oh, I felt so sorry for her yesterday. Oh. Little girl I'm doing a prom dress yeah. adjustment for. Yeah. And she really got upset. So, cause what, because of what I you'd think, made her? No, she was happy with what I'd made her, but there was a bit out on this dress there was a bit of a gap there with just mesh on yeah and she was a bit she's young and she, she just needed a bit of fabric put in oh. it and she got upset about it but she's taking 17 exams well it's o level o levels isn't it gcse's and she's she's done two and i said are you doing anything nice tonight she said studying yeah and they have to work so hard said, these days and I... mum said have the night off abby and she yeah. went i can't no. mum, study. um I think. Oh, hello, Abby. <laughs> oh, hello, Abby. I think it's um. She's watching. It's tougher now Ooh. than it was. I don't think. If I look at the exam papers that my nieces and nephews had to do, I wouldn't stand a chance. No, I wouldn't. And I also, wouldn't. in my day, if you wanted to be a doctor, you got an A and two Bs in your A level. Yeah. Now, to do creative writing, you need three A stars. I know. The competition, so. Not that I'm so easy, isn't dissing it? creative no. writing, but. The, the um, competition's so good. Yeah. And her mum's a forklift driver. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, what a lovely <laughs> said, job. Oh, didn't <laughs> right, what are you doing, Janice? So what I'm going to do now, I've just pinned across the strap, so what we're going to do is machine down yeah. the two sides and we're going to machine to the middle here. Right, leave a gap. Leave a gap for turning. Yeah. And Because this is another way of doing a strap. Yeah, no, that's so, right. Because normally we just fold them and then pull them through, yeah. don't we? So I thought I'd show this strap today because it is a bit of a different strap to do. Yeah. So just doing the five eight seams. Keep it down. Just and avoid the pins, of course. So we're just going to machine down now. That's it. Just leave it. Beneath. Lots of people take make taking um, advantage of the free pin pizza, That's Janice. It. Are they? Yeah, like buying lots blame. of things off well, the web. Postage and packaging, that makes can make things so expensive, isn't it? Yeah. And, you know, oh, I don't know. It I mean, 2 helps, 95 I think, it? is reasonable. If you watch some of the shopping channels, yeah. they start at 7 95 and go upwards. Good. And if you buy something bigger or heavier, it's more and things. Well, you could buy the seams, right? Yeah. With what you're saving. With what you're saving, buy the seams, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. Right, I love my seams, right, I must admit. She does. Every day she comes in, she goes, can I have the seams right? Can I have the seams right? I do. Don't yeah. forget to stop, will you? Yeah, no, that's what I was just looking at. <laughs> I'm just going to stop here, why? Because when I talk, it's lethal. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm in just going to... Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to now start it again there. Put the needle... Line up the five eights. Put the needle down. Go back a bit. That's it. And away we go again. Very 
Sinn da drin, ja. <lacht> mit mir Zunge ein. You what? <lacht> mit mir Zunge ein. Oh, so you concentrate in tongue. <lacht> I do that all the time. Nice. I did wonder whether you'd made one of these dresses for the party yesterday. What, for the wedding? <laughs> for the wedding. No, not anymore. I thought the wedding now was lovely. There were lots of nice dresses though yesterday. No, oh, no the ugly, not uh, no ugly no. hats. Now the thing is, Camilla always Camilla always gets a nice hat, doesn't she? Now I, I, I'm not a Camilla fan. I thought oh, she looked lovely. Am I though? I'm just I just didn't like that because you know. I'm just going to trim, trim that. Trim that, otherwise yeah. I'll get upset about Princess Diana. Oh and uh, Diana. Oh, got a picture from oh uh, it's from Sewing Nut. Oh look. She did a bag look. May the force be with you. May the force. Using the 680. Oh. You haven't got the 680 here. The 680 no. machine with that. Oh, that's nice. That was a bag she made look. That's you could do anything thing. with that going around the border, you couldn't you, if you're making it for something. You could. I just want to press this. Yeah. In, oh. um, I don't know what the people can see. You know, no with the seam I was on about on the top of the bag, this is, this is what I'm saying. Just open the seam and press it out. Just open it and press it out. Okay. Got three minutes, Janice. Okay. <laughs> okay, she says go faster. So then you turn the strap out. Through, yeah. Through, and you get that. Okay. As if by magic. Yep. <laughs> so so how, then, how, did you, how did you close the Have you closed the seam? Yeah, so what you do, you turn it. Yeah. And then you just. Where, you, where you've got the seam open, yeah. you just do a little ladder stitch. What you could also do is, if you wanted to, because you've got your top down. stitching lines on the bag, it'd be quite nice if you top stitching line down. on there, then you close it at yeah, the same time, don't you? that would be nice yeah. to do, okay. top stitching it round. So then you've got your markings. I'm going to do it this side because yeah, you've got your famous out. tailor tacks. So I've got my famous tailor's tacks, as you can see. Yeah. So I know exactly, because again, with this pattern, a, a marker pen would get lost. Yes. So this is where Taylor's tacks are good. Yeah. So then you're going to do it now from the outside. So the one side... Oh, and you've got to follow your marks, because if you do it wrong, your you, uh, handle will be wonky, or the wet stitch will be yeah. wonky, or one will be longer than the other. It will. So, so I'm going to put a pin in there. Yeah. And I'm going to put a pin in right in the middle. Right. So that when you're machining, you mm -hmm. can do it without... Oh, okay. Nice. Then you do your bag handle like so to make sure that it's level. So what I've done, gone up, right turned, angle, down, 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 and then that will be yeah. right. So then what you do then, again, stick a pin in. Pin oh, you middle. put a pin in at the top because you're not going to sew at the top. No. You and you put a pin in the middle so you can go round the square. But saying that, yeah, because what I'm going to do first, yeah. nice, I'm going to machine round the box. Yes. Round the box. Yeah. Take the pin out. Yeah. Or pins out. And then do the crisscross. Oh, okay. In the middle. Oh, that'll perfectly that's what I'm going then. to do. So, and that's how you finish your bag. Okay. So, and just be careful again, just follow your guide. Your markings. Okay. Because it's going to be seen on the outside. Do not reverse stitch at this stage yeah. because you want to just tie your ends off again so okay. you're not showing the. While Janice is doing that, I'll just tell you she's back in an hour doing the kids summer. It's, it's called kids summer wardrobe. I hate using the word kid. Children, little girls summer wardrobe. It's like a capsule wardrobe in one pattern, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to leave you stitching that, Janice. Yeah. I've got to go and do uh, bundles. Fine. I'll I'm see you in an hour's time. Thank I'll you very much. I'll see you much. in an hour. Right, let's just take that. So, purple one that Janice has just been using, which is this one. Premier pattern. You get the thread, you get a metre of cotton canvas, a metre and a half of spot on, and a metre and a half of the Frog Prince Tula Pink. £55.49. and pence. There are fewer than... Just keep you updated. It's five to nine on Sunday morning. Free PMP until midnight tonight. There's, there are fewer than 20 of those, you say. So they will go. They will go this afternoon. Next. The other two, the one, the squirrel one here. So again, you get the pattern and the thread. You get a metre and a half of Tula squirrels, a metre of the pale pink cotton canvas, and a metre and a half of uh, cheeky pink. Is it cheeky? Yeah, cheeky pink spot on. 
uh, for £55.49. There's the still. Right, red one. I've only got two left of the red one. I've only got two of these left. Again, you get the pattern, you get the thread, you get the, a metre and a half of the brand new floral fabric there, a metre of the red canvas, cotton canvas, and a metre and a half of the red spot on. That's 49.99. There's your um, bundle there. You're still there. Then the one that Janice made is this one here. So you get, the, again, the pattern, the thread, a metre and a half of Premier floral fabric. You get a metre of the cotton canvas, metre and a half of the blue spot on. The graphics will come in. There you go, 49. I've got to, oh, there's the still. And I've also got a picture of the finished bag. Oh, I've got ages. I've only got one bundle left. Right, we're down to uh, fewer than 20 of the, um, uh, the last one I've just shown, that one I'm just showing there for 49.99. The yellow's obviously inside, you can't see it, the yellow, but you could, if you wanted to, you could put the cotton cat, can I just show the picture again of, of Janice's bag? So if you wanted to, you could line it with the blue spots and on the outside, you could have the yellow cotton canvas and yellow cotton canvas straps, if that's what you'd prefer. What did I say? Yeah, the straps. Do you know what? Ginger Mike's in such a funny mood today. It's because he's got a growth on his neck, that's fine. Anyway, uh, last bundle is the green. Ow, ow, ow. You get the pattern, you get the thread. You've got the um, pattern you've only seen once before, the, the fabric. You've got a, a metre and a half of that, a metre of the green, and a metre and a half of the spot on. 49. Make as much noise as you want, Janice. I'm still talking. Uh, don't go anywhere. I will see you in three minutes with, oh, gorgeous, oh, a really lovely um, quilt bundles and everything like that. And don't, stay watching, because I've got something we haven't done before. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. So we're going to show you how to do a backstitch. Now a backstitch is a great one to use when you haven't got a sewing machine available um, but you need to repair or fix a garment and the backstitch is a really strong stitch to do that with. First of all you need to start with the wrong side of the fabric first. So I'm just going to place my needle through to bring it through through to the front. And then you're going to go backwards. So I'm going to do quite big stitches here so you can see what I'm doing. So that's the first stitch. Now this time you're going to come and bring your needle through but the same distance as your stitch and then you're going to go into the first hole that you came out and then go back through to the back and then I'm going to come all the way over again the same distance and then through again and just keep repeating that process. This is my final stitch now. So as you can see, there's my row of back stitches. And if I just turn that over for a second, you can see that it's almost as if it's double stitched along the back. So you can see it's a really secure stitch to do when you haven't got a sewing machine to hand. Join us on Wednesday the 23rd of May for a stroll through the enchanted forest with quilting expert Victoria Peet. This quilt kit may have a prickly exterior, but inside you'll find the most gorgeous forest-inspired fabric featuring hedgehogs, rabbits, flowers and toadstools. Even more magical though is the clever technique used to create the adorable applique hedgehog. With instructions to make the quilt plus a cushion, a pair of happy hedgehogs could be taking up residence in your home very soon. So tune in for an hour with Victoria and her charming woodland friends Wednesday the 23rd of May at 9am only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Tune in on Tuesday the 22nd of May when Jennifer Taylor is here with a blooming gorgeous cushion design. These three-dimensional flowers are brought to life petal by petal using wool felt and simple techniques that Jennifer will be demonstrating. Choose from four gorgeous kits, including shades of rose red, honeysuckle gold, mint green, and sunshine ochre. 
You can even add a touch of sparkle to your blossom with pretty Swarovski crystals. So join us for Cushions with Serious Petal Power, Tuesday the 22nd of May at 8am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Don't forget, still free in P&P all day today until midnight tonight. Now, if you're watching the repeat after midnight on Sunday night, won't be you. Won't be you. It'll finish at midnight tonight on Sunday. <laughs> right, this is how I love hours like this. It's where we bring you our favourite, favourite, favourite quilts and give you the opportunity to buy it again. There's no sewing, but we will give you the dates of when the demonstrations were on so that you can go and watch uh, the demonstration itself. Right, this one is called the Rainbow Quilt. Oh, my word, it's huge. Oh, honey. Uh, there we go. Oh, isn't that lovely? That's called the rainbow quilt. Let's hear it for the rainbow tour. It's been an incredible success. We weren't quite sure. I think it's, is it Lynn Goldsworth? Eh? Oh, no, maybe not. Susan... Strandon, Susan Standen. I'll tell you who she is in a second. Oh, I did this one. I know Susan Standen's name. I did this. No, I didn't make it. I did this show. Because I remember, right, uh, because Lucy patched the back. Was it Lucy? The, pa the back's patched. Look, it's lovely, isn't it? Right, OK, so this is, that's the quilt. I shall tell you all about it now. What date was it on, please? Oh, OK. Right. What it is, we haven't got, sewing nuts, what day was that made? My love, she's watching, isn't she? Uh, this is Susan Standen's pattern. Susan is a contributor to Love Patchwork and Quilting. Read about her quilting life at canadianabroad-susan.blogspot. Um, um, I'll show you the pattern because it's lovely. So look, so you get all of the instructions in the pattern. Now, that one I've just shown you has got a white background. <clears throat> Today, we're offering you the version with the navy blue background. I love that. I think this one could have been done for me, actually, because I love, oh, I love, you see, this is lovely. I do like this, and Hannah, adore, but I like the background to be dark. Uh, it's only because I think it's like a black opal, and the pop, the colours pop out at you, don't they? So let me show you. You get four metres of the navy and then half a metre of all the others. I don't know how I'm going to show all this, but here we go, look. Oh, no, Mike. Ginger Mike's the lapkin, lap, napkin queen, isn't he? He's very good at doing napkins. Nap well, you couldn't be a napkin king, could you? Or napkin. I'm doing that the wrong way around. So look, 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 look. So how many, so I've got nine metres. What was it you say? I had four metres of the navy, so I've got ten colours. Oh. Oh, now that's enough for your front and your piece binding. So I wonder why she panelled the back then. Oh, no. No, we don't know. Right, so there's all your look, there's your fabrics. Oh, look, don't they look, they look a bit messy like that, don't they? Well, I've only got two left over there, you see. They're running off, yes. So the finish size is 60 inches by 80 inches. So how much the blue have I got? Oh yeah, so you need four meters for the background, two and a half meters for the backing, uh, and then you're batting, and then your rainbow fabric. Now, the, how many, do you see it saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. And the rainbow fabric's enough to do the front and the binding. So that's, it's the one with the navy blue background. Let me just show it to you again in the white. So look at the binding, how the binding is made of all the colours within the quilt. Can you see that there? Oh, no, I've only got the blue there. There you go, blue and green. Then there's a bit of... Um, Pink and green, 
orange and violet and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow. Was that Dana? Not Dana International. Uh, I love that. Can I just say, I absolutely love that colour range. I oh, know, it's because I just, I just put the dark in. And I, but I love the colours they picked with it. Right, OK, so if you want that whole bundle, £62.99. Now, I know that a lot of you on our Facebook fan page say, oh, that's lovely, but I've got such a big stash, I want to make it in my colours. Well, do you know what? Today, we're going to be a little bit naughty. We are going to sell the patterns on their own. So, if you want the bundle, you can buy the bundle. Buy the bundle, because it's gorgeous if you want that effect. But if you want the pattern on its own, you might have a stash at home. So remember what you need to make it, what you need to make this, and it's a finished quilt of 60 by 80 inches. You need 10 half meters of the colors, and then you need four meters for the background fabric, and two and a half meters for the backing fabric. Finished size is 60 by 80. You can buy that pattern for 9 99 you can buy this pattern, there's, there's the finished thing, for £9.99. The Rainbow Quilt Instructions on their own, £9.99. If you want to buy the whole quilt kit, £62.99. But if you just want to make it in your own stash, or you might want, you might have some tulas or some caifs or something you want to make the patterns out of, you might not want it in plain colours. Also, if you did, imagine if you did that in, you know, like traditional colours, like an olive green and a rust and a red and a cream and things like that. That'd be lovely as well, wouldn't it? You've never, you've never been offered the pattern on its own before. You've never, ever, ever been offered the pattern on its own before. Now, now, I, I, well, now we don't know. We don't know. We've been a little bit naughty. We've no idea if the management are ever going to do this again. So it's up to you. Uh, how many patterns have I got? And how many have gone in baskets so far? Flying out. 9.99. Remember, it's not yours until you check out. But also, it's free PMP. Free PMP today. So if that's all you're going to buy today, you're not going to pay any PMP on it. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely. 15th of February was the, the one with the white, with the one with the white background was shown how it was done on the 15th. Sorry, no, what would we do without you? 15th of February. Lovely, isn't it? What it is, I'll tell, tell you why we could, oh no, it's too complicated. Oh, John, I've just been watching your regression on an old this morning. So funny from Sue. So. Did you see the one about the camel? Is, is that the one you saw, Sue, the one about the camel? There's another one about me being a doctor, but it's when you see my bottom reading. That's really funny. I know. I had to stand on this morning, live television, with my bare bottom out. I know. Amen. Well, no, they built a set. They built a set, and I had to go to my friend Chrissy's, who lived next door the two days before, and said, right, I just need you to measure from the floor to here and from the floor to there and the width of it and everything. So they built a set black set with just a hole in it, and I just stood behind like that, with my bare bottom sticking out, right? And they said to me, they said, Eamon, it was Eamon, and I don't think it was Ruth, was it? But it was definitely Eamon was presenting, and he went, uh, well, it's definitely a man, isn't it? <laughs> and then they said to me, don't worry, it was that Sandra was the rumpologist. She, and they said, she, they said, she, she won't touch you, and the first thing she did was prod my bottom, and all you can hear is me squealing, because I think, anyway, shall we move on? Well done. I, I think you're just trying to get me to shut up. Like loads of people buying that cush, uh, cushion, that pattern. The things I've done. When we did the 1999 Help the Aged... Well, no, no. When we did the Help the Aged calendar... Uh, yeah, was it Help the Aged? Or, uh, what? We did the 1999 calendar where we were all supposedly naked when I was just in a big tie. And um, they made me do star jumps, right? So I had this big cardboard tie on. And I wanted to do star jumps. I thought the tie is going here. To, Denise, the agony aunt, walked up the set and stood at the side there, like watching like this, while I was doing my star jump. And I was nervous. Anyway, now this next one, even though I've just said we're doing the patterns on their own, I can't offer you the pattern on its own, can I, in this one? Oh, hang on. 
I'm convinced this was the one you said you couldn't do the pattern on its own. Can't do the pattern on its own. This is the finished quilt. Oh. The whales. Not the family, not the, you know, the Prince of Wales. Whales. I love it. I love it. Joe Carter did it last week, didn't she? Was it Joe? Yeah, Joe Carter did that last week. The date of it is? Oh? 11th of May. Only well, a week ago, 11th of May. It's lovely, isn't it? So I've got it in two colourways. I've got it in the colourway that's on the wall. That one there. So this one, you get the pattern. I can't, I can't do the pattern on its own on this one, can I? So we have a Preppy the Whale pattern, and then you have six and a half meters of fabric in here. So, so it's two meters of the mercury for the background, a meter of emerald green. Now, the reason you've got a meter of the emerald green is that's because it's for the binding as well as some of the, I was gonna say wishes then. No, no, it was half, half whale, half fishes, wasn't it? Uh, so you, the emerald green, you get a metre because that's for the binding as well. And then you get half a metre of all the others. You get half a metre of the pink, half a metre of the red, half a metre of the blue, half a metre of the orange, half a metre of the bright yellow, half a metre of the black, and half a metre of the purple. Right, um, now, do you know what they haven't done? We had this amazing fabric... I don't know if there's any available. Uh, go and look on the website, but look, it's back, backed in waves. It was called C, this fabric. And that's, but obviously that's not included, but I just wanted to show you if you did want to go to the website. Because if we've got any left, it'll be on the website. And it's free PMP, isn't it? Oh, it's out of stock. Sorry about that. That's a bit like Jim Bowen. This is what you could have worn. What, could have worn? Could have won. How much you need? If, oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. So that's enough for the front. The whales and the binding. The binding has to be in the emerald green and the backing has to be in the uh, grey. Six and a half metres. And then I've got it in another colourway where, oh, I like this one, where you get the blue as the background. You get the, here, this one, damson as the uh, binding. And then you get, so there's a metre of that one. And then you get half a metre of yellow, half a metre of the... Um, I want to say S Vienna, I was going to say Seville. Um, green, pink, black, aqua, and like a citrusy colour there. Now, that one there, they put in the wrong objects, and you don't get more of the black. The black's a half a metre. You get the blue, which is the third one up. You get two, uh, two metres of that one, and then you get a metre of the damson, and then half a metre of all the others. Plus the, plus the thread, uh, no, not thread, the instructions. 11th, it was the 11th of um, this month, 11th of this month. Brilliant, okay? I do like it, I do like that one. That's, the, 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 that's Elizabeth Hartman, loads of you, and we did that show, loads of you messaging and saying, oh, I love Elizabeth Hartman, get more of hers, get more of hers. I know they plan to do more of hers. There's one coming up that Hannah absolutely adores. Oh, no, I haven't seen that one recently, but the one that's coming up recently is the cactus one. Next. Oh, now this is nice. Now this one takes a little bit of explaining, this one. Is that one supposed to be with this one? Oh, is it? Okay, no, didn't think it was. Anyway, 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 look at this, look at this. Now I think this, this looks like a Jane Alcock, is it? Oh, right, she did the show because this is the sample. This is the sample. Now, they gave you choices on this one. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's called the Paris Star Quilt. These aren't the fabrics we've got. I've got, we've got, I'll, show, I'll tell you in a second, but what it is, is that was the one that was in the magazine. So we just wanted to show you what the finished quilt looked like. Then what we did, uh, in collaboration with a fabric supplier, we put together... Uh, a fat quarter bundle of a mish a mishmash, that makes it sound horrible, well thought out fabrics that all go together beautifully to make that. Now, this is only to make the star because what you need to do is you need to choose what backing. I think there's only one backing. In. Yeah, you need to, oh no, there's two, oh no. 
Yeah, you need to choose your two backings. Your two backings you need to choose. Well, hang on, I've got two, I've got two different fabrics on the front. Oh, OK, so they did the same fabric there and there. So you need four metres of the, 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 ba the base colour, whichever you're choosing as the base colour. They've done two slightly different ones here. I wasn't in for this show, so I'm, I'm kind of just... Uh, Hannah's just advising me now. So you need four metres to, buy, to, to do your base fabrics there, and, then, and that's enough to do the front, four metres of the base, and you need four and a half for the back of whatever you choose, whatever you choose. They're not included in the bundle. What is included in the bundle are these amazing fat quarters, which are, when Jane did the show, so to what date did we do, Jane do the show? 18th of April. Oh, there's Cocoa Blooms. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Because look at the different colourways in here. That's a nice one I've not seen. See, now I've not seen half of these fabrics before. So in this bundle, you get 21 fat quarters, the thread, and the uh, instructions. The thread's like a silvery pale blue. Wait, no. Don't worry. It's on the picture. Oh, that one's going to strobe a little bit there. That, oh, that's nice. That one looks like an anthology one, doesn't it? So the, you've got the two... Oh, there's a bit of cave here. They're the disco fans, aren't they? Disco mermaid fans. Um, so you get 21 fat quarters, and you get the instructions, and you get the thread for £91.99. pence. Right, OK, let me pack that away, because, once again, you may have your own fabric, you may have your own stash that you want to make this out of. Hannah and I today are going to offer you the instructions for this on their own. Now, I need to warn you that the instructions of the last one absolutely flew out. Absolutely. About the caramel, if you... Are... <laughs> I'll do that in a minute, Marcy. I'll do that in a minute. If you mix it with double cream and freeze it, you'll have amazing ice cream. <gasps> oh, thank you. Right. You want the pattern on its own. What I'm saying is the last one I showed you absolutely flew out. Now, now what fabric would you use to it? You see, I think the New Liberty would look lovely in that. I also think anthology in that would look... I wonder if you've got... You'd have to buy... You'd, you'd get a completely different look. You'd have to buy... You'd have to have two lots of anthology bundles, wouldn't you, to do that? How many fat quarters are in there? 20, 21, yeah. And there's 12 in the anthologies, aren't there? But uh, uh, look... Look at all the instructions of how to make the different blocks and everything. Step-by-step -step guide. So this is 9 99 This is the pack the cat does not come with. Those two cushions appear in an awful lot of um, pictures. I think that's Rebecca Reed's house, that one. Uh, now, this is by Lynn Goldsworthy. Now, it's ever so funny. I was out with my friend Dulce's last... Um, Saturday night, whenever the Eurovision Song Contest was on. And a friend of ours called Claire came up. And she went, how's that? So she's a big international fraud lawyer. She's, you know, really, how hoody doody, you know. And um, she said, how's that sewing thing going that you're going on? I said, oh, it's brilliant, this, that, and the other. And she went, I've got a friend. She does a bit of quilting in her part time. I said, oh, is she good? She'd come on as a guest. She went, yeah, she's called Lynn Goldsworthy. Have you ever heard of her? I said, we do her quilts all the time. Anyway, this is a Lynn Goldsworthy quilt. $9.99 for the pattern on its own. Now, we don't normally do it. Not sure if we'll do it again. Rather beautiful, though, isn't it? You see, this, I can see so many of our different fabrics, even if you did it just in spot-ons. Spot-on. They'd look lovely, wouldn't they? You could ombre them through. Couldn't, anyway, I'll stop getting creative. $9.99 for that pattern. I will come back to these if I have to later. Fabulous. Moving on to the next one. Now, I've never, ever seen this one before. I was watching this because Vix did this um, show from... I, this is when Vix was on, uh, and I watched it from home because I loved this fat quarter bundle. Loved... Because all you need to do this one, the front of it, obviously, the front of it is you just need the, the fat quarter bundle. Have a look at the picture, sorry. That was the original from the magazine, which we haven't got the fabrics for. 
And then I can show you a block that we did. There you go. It was Lucy, wasn't it? Lucy did this. But I'll, sh I'll show you, I'll show you. We've got a rainbow of colours. Obviously, Lucy just you. Oh, look at those houses. I've just seen those houses. They're lovely, aren't they? So, oh, right. It, you only need to do the front. You only, oh, hang on, I'm looking next, not there. You will need to buy some binding because they've, they've done a different, uh, Lucy didn't do a binding, but obviously you need to buy a binding and you'll need to buy a backing, obviously, as well. These, but these are beautiful. Now, even if, because you get the whole lot, 109.99. You get the instructions, the thread, and this, right? But even if you don't make the quilt, these are the most exquisite uh, indigo. They're called indigo, right? But look at these um, fat quarters. They are just beautiful. So you've got a range in like the stone and brown colour there. Now, these fat quarters have only ever been offered in this bundle before. Only have been offered. So you've got the lovely uh, earthy stone colours there. Then you've got an array of like yellows. Uh, now I'm going to fill the whole table, Mike, on this one, just so you know. See, it's, you've, it kind of go, they go in sixes of um, colourways. So then you've got six gold colourways. Oh, there's those gorgeous houses. Upside down. Oh, it's upside down, but I want the label to be where it is. They're 100% cotton made in Spain, these. Then we go to pink. Oh, these are... You see, the thing is, even if, if that quilt isn't your cup of tea, right, you could still get the bundle, couldn't you, and make something else out of it. Because these are all... How many fat quarters are there? 36. 36 fat quarters in here. Oh, they're beautiful. Then we go to the green... Look, 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 look. So that's the green. Oh, these are gorgeous. Then we go to kind of the aquary teal. Oh, am I go where, where would be best to go for you, Mike? In front or behind? I've still got... I've still got two ranges, two colourways. Well, I'll go, I'll go here and then I'll put one in the front as well. So... There we go. Oh, hang on. Oh... Oh, John, what are you playing at? Mm -hmm. It's because I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> yeah. You could play a fabulous game with this, couldn't you? I just want them all to be the same way up, so it looks like... There you go, that's one. Yeah, this is what you do when you get them home, because you just love them so much. So there's the greens, there's the... Now we'll put the blues on. Not the blues on as in the jacket, the blue on and then you've got the greys oh I love these yeah there's grey here look there's the like soft warm greys here I should have done what yes but I was thinking of you because you always moan at me when I do the wrong colourways <laughs> Right now, I'll be. <laughs> it's like a big Rubik's cube, isn't it? It's all right. It's there. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's just a suit, Mike. Now you see, he wasn't happy. <sighs> there we go. I love these. Oh, I love them. You see what I mean? Even if you don't want to make this quilt out of those, aren't they beautiful for your stash? So for 109 I know you think it's 109.99. 36 fat quarters, threads, and the instructions. Look, that is fantastic, isn't it? And it, these instructions, I'll just show you when you've looked at those. If I could open it. Very, very thorough. Oh, this is Joe Avery. This one's Joe Avery. Um, so all the instructions and everything are in there, but also templates. It's foundation paper piecing. I didn't realize that's foundation paper piecing, this one. Isn't it lovely? But I think, you see, I think it's good value to get all those, but just to get all, all 36 of those, 
They're lovely. Now, the finished quilt isn't made of these fabrics. That's the one that Joe made for the magazine. That's what... That's what your finished quilt would look like. You can kind of get that umbra of colors because you've got the yellows and the pinks and then the blues and the grays and the biscuits. But look, just for the fact quarter. And now the only time we've offered these have been in this. Uh, the only time you see these fat quarters is in this display. Um, yeah. <laughs> I got thrown there because Hannah said the houses are in different colors. There is in grey, mustard, and teal, and no pink houses. Oh, no. No, that's grey. <laughs> There's the teal one there. They're so cute, aren't they? That reminds me of, like, an Elizabethan town, that does. Or an Italian. Italian. Oh, where's that one that Cave takes the pictures of his... the way you've been, Hannah? That's the one, yeah. I just love that. That's the block that this pattern makes, foundation paper piecing. Mike likes those colours together there. Just so you know. Right. Oh. I do love those, I do love those fat quarters. Now, again, as with all the ones that I can, I'm going to do the pattern on its own. I know. The Compass Quilt Instructions on their own, £9.99. pence. Fantastico. Now, the other two that I've offered on their own, the other two patterns I've offered on their own have flown out. Absolutely flown out. £9.99. pence. Again, all the instructions you need. All your templates for your foundation paper piecing. We need to get... Oh, uh, Hannah, we need to get... You know, in yesterday's show, we had the foundation paper... I think we need to get that because it looked brilliant, didn't it? I mean, you can just use paper from your photocopier, but they all say, don't they, use the cheapest paper you've got. Don't use good quality paper. At £9.99, your Esther. Yeah, my Esther's run out. I've got to get a new one. Oh, that's clever. £9.99, that's for the, just for the instructions, 9 99 Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. I do love that quilt, but I, I do love those um, fat quarters. Right. Okay. Move. Oh, you got to put all those away. You have now. Sorry. They just love. I love them. I, yeah. Right. Okay. Moving on. That's what this one was for, Wayne. Right. Yesterday, Sally Stevens, brand new guest yesterday. These sold out so quickly, we've had to make more bundles overnight because so many people, so many people, so many people wanted it. That, okay, I'm going to tell you now, there's only 10 of each bundle. There's only 10 of each bundle because yesterday's flew out. Overnight, they've been able to manage to do 10 more of each bundle for us today. It's called the Double Wedding Band, Wedding, wed, wed, wedding Ring. I can't speak. Yes. One job, John. So that's it hanging on the wall. Do you want to see it lying over a sofa? There it is lying over the sofa. They've cut that off. Who cut that off? Oh, oh okay. There's another one because we could see more of the sofa yesterday, couldn't we? There you go. That's the one I was thinking of yesterday. Right. This comes in two different colorways. The one on the wall is this one. So what you get in this one is you get antique white. Uh, hang on, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you get three and a half meters of antique white. That's right, isn't it, yeah? Yeah, and then you also get half a meter of each of these bijoux. Fabrics. Now, uh, one of them, they're all the same as in that quilt. Apart from this one. The grey in the quilt behind me is slightly darker and it's got a floor. Still bijou, but we haven't got that one. But this is the... This is the I'll show you on here. It's this, uh, uh, this grey here. 
It's just the paler grey. Uh, now, some people think they all look a bit different to that bundle. You weren't in yesterday, were you, Wayne? Hannah came in and she came through here and she, and she went, oh, the quilt on the wall's not the same fabric as ours, right? And so I brought this in and I was like, Hannah, that's the same as that one. And she said, oh, well, the lights weren't on. I didn't have my glasses on. She said, normally the glasses don't affect colour. If you're watching yesterday, you know I'm telling a fib because that was me. I went in and I went, oh, they're not the same colour, Hannah, not the same colour. And she was like, yeah, they are. And I was like, no, no, the green's definitely not asparagus. It was. Anyway, so the bundle, this is brilliant. There's only 10 of these available now. 59.99. Now it's enough to do the front and the binding, not the backing it was, was it? Not the backing. But we think you could piece the backing together if you wanted to. But, or if you want to make it bigger, there's enough fabric to make it a bit bigger if you wanted to. The finished size, the one I've got here, was six, something like 60 by 80, wasn't it? I should remember, it was only yesterday. Oh no, 48 by 62, 48 by 62, this one. But all the instructions, again, very, very thorough. And you don't have to go very far to look on YouTube, it was only yesterday. It was yesterday uh, that uh, our brand new guest, Sally. Sally, Sally. Um, so if you want, actually, had very, very good thorough instructions. So that's for that one behind me. Okay, now, the one she demonstrated on yesterday, which was so popular, was all the blues. Now, me, I, I open my mouth too often sometimes, don't I? Well, oh, that won't work. That, it looked brilliant. It looked absolutely brilliant. You get your uh, optical white as your background, and then you get these beautiful, beautiful blues, all still from the Bijou range to create the circles, and it looks completely different and absolutely stunning in those blues. Now, again, there's only 10 of these bundles, remember? I've only got 10. We just met, uh, Hayley had to make them overnight for us. There's the whole bundle, the whole kit, the whole caboodle, the instructions, six and a half metres of fabric, and the thread, 59 pounds and 99 pence. Now, you do need the ruler to make this. You do need the special ruler to make this one, which I'll tell you about in a second. What's she saying? OK, if you've gone to baskets already, remember, it's not yours until you check out. And remember, it's free p, &P until midnight. And, well, it means you can, anyway, on a normal day, you can check out as many times as you like, because it's free, you can still check out as many times as you like. Now, the ruler that you need is this one. This is the ruler. Now, a lot of you have already got this. That's why we didn't put it in the bundle yesterday, because so many of you have already got this one. Now, you see the template, you get the uh, orange peel one, which I kept calling the lemon peel yesterday, the star, the funny little square, and the arch, right? You can use them for lots of different things, look. So as well as making the one that we, we made, the double wedding band, there are options. Okay, that's 37 pounds and 49 pence for the ruler. But it's more than ruler, you get four rulers in there. I'll just mm. stay where you are that close, I'll just spin it around, look. OK, and then in this, when we did this, we also, I'll show you some wadding as well, while we, because that's what we had yesterday. OK, we had the wadding yesterday for this as well, didn't we? Warm and white. I remember this being ever so um, reasonably priced. Yeah, it will look different on the website because they've changed their packaging. It's a black and white drawing on the website. £19.99. OK, because we could only bundle 10, I'm doing the instructions on the end. Now, I know, well, it's because we, have, because we know how many of you want to make it. And I could only bundle 10 of each. You will still need to buy the ruler to be able to. You might already have the ruler. I'm not saying you have to buy it again, like Hannah did with her Esther. Uh, the instructions, £9.99. pence. But you will need the ruler. You do need the ruler to do that one. Lots of you are, so we thought we'd do it. Hannah and I thought we'd do it today. 
It is a beautiful quilt, though, isn't it? And you might have, you see, you might have your own colourway that you want to do it in. You might have, like, like um, Sally said yesterday, imagine if it was uh, somebody's golden wedding. You might want to do all the colours in, like, gorgeous golds and everything. Or someone has a colour scheme for their wedding. This is Hannah now. Or you're making it from memories, a memory quilt. Using fabric you've already got. There's the uh, photo of it on a sofa. You can get married in that place there, where that sofa is. The quilt won't be there because Hayley just ran in with it the other morning, put it down the sofa, took a picture and ran back out again. Do you know where that is? Yeah. Mem Wayne used to work there as well. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, well done for checking out fast. Well done for checking out fast, because it's the only way of guaranteeing. Free P and P as well, remember. Free P and P. But you do need the ruler to make that one. You do need the ruler. Oh, that'd be fantastic if you bought the ruler and the instructions. Free P and P on all of it. What are you hovering for? Right, I'm going back over. Is this the last one now? Last one now, last one. This one is called crisscross. Twenty eighth of March, this one was demonstrated. Now this is Laura Pritchard. Now I haven't brought my glasses with me, so I can't read it out. But it's lovely Laura Pritchard that made this one or designed this one. Have we? Can we have a look at what it looked like? Because ours is different, obviously. That that's the mag that's the magazine one. But this, have we got a picture of ours? Okay, we didn't make a green block then. Who was it? Who did it? 28th of March. Oh, I see. So we never had a green one. So I can't show you what a green one looks like. Okay. So uh, graphics coming in. 59.99, five meters of fabric. So you get more of that one. One. Two and a half. Well, I'll let Hannah tell me in case I could try and guess it wrong. Nude, a metre and a half. Papaya spot on, a metre. Two threads. And then the rest of these are all half a metre. So you get half a metre of the apple with eyes. You get half a metre of the Fruity Friends floral. Oh, in fact, these are all from the Fruity Friends range, aren't they? Half a metre of the orange gingham and then half a metre of the green uh, linear print and half a metre of, I think that's grass. Um, oh, is it not? It is grass. And then your two threads and your instructions. 59.99, so I'm presuming that's enough to make the front and the binding. Wait, well, you no. Know, I just keep looking at that picture. Yeah, no, I just had to help Wayne. It's, that's coming on this table anyway, isn't it? Oh, are you? Okay. Oh, hang on. No, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. No, we haven't. Don't worry, Wayne, you're doing right, you're doing right. You just need the red, we need the red cover that goes with it. It's just, oh, it was there a minute ago. Oh, don't worry. This is Aura Pritchard's crisscross green quilt kit, fabric, five meters of thread. Oh, Sarah. Oh, you know, Sarah, you're not meant to be able to see my flip flops. Thomas. He's not. Michael. Yes. Oh, do you know what? The wedding, the wedding quilt, the double wedding. I keep having trouble saying that, don't I? I said that during the show yesterday. If you watched the show yesterday, the wedding uh, band quilt would look, I think, would look gorgeous with a dark background. And maybe uh, either, the, either those colours, either those colours, or the um, bright, bright coloured circles would look nice, wouldn't they? You know, like in the reds and the greens and the emeralds and the bright red and the bright yellow. But yes, I think it would work beautifully with a dark background. Depends on what your theme is and everything, doesn't it? But I love, as I say, I love uh, quilts with dark backgrounds best. 
Oh, yes, I forgot about that. Uh, the crisscross quilt, which is this one here. Have you got the instructions with it, Wayne? That's what I wanted to go. There we go. Crisscross quilts. Instructions on their own, £9.99. Very, very, very thorough. That, now, that's obviously a pink version there. You, we are offering today like a kind of coral and green version. In the bundle, in the bundle. But you can make it in any colour if you buy the, um, buy the bundle. You see, you might want to try, try and copy that. So you could just go and choose your own pinks and uh, greys in there. I was going to say, I recognise some of those fabrics, but I don't know if we still have them. We had Doll's, Doll's House Art Gallery, but I'm not sure if there's any left of those. Anyway, £9.99. That's just the instructions, obviously. Just the instructions. Oh, OK. No, I did. Did you do this, did you do this show then, Hannah? She said, what she's saying is it looks complicated. It's one of those that look complicated, but it's actually not. It's actually a very, very simple design. The patchworking is very simple, and then it's the quilting that makes it look more difficult. Oh, I see. So that one there is a straight line. But the quilting's... Yes. Oh, yeah, the... Bl very clever. Very clever. Anyway, nine, nine, ten for just the pattern. What's happened? Oh, she's broken the chair. I thought she'd... Nine ninety nine. Just as well you're Hans Hannah's last day for seventeen days. She's off on her holidays tomorrow. Whoop whoop. She says. She now she thinks she's big now. New York. The portions of food in New York. Excuse me. I just have to have an itch. The um, portions in New York. Because I, I just oh, I love it. I love New York so much. Anyway, is it time to move over? Okay. I might I might do it. What time is it? Oh, it's forty three already. I better get a move on. Well, no, I was going to say, I'll come back and I'll recap on these, but I might not have time. OK, now, yesterday we had this fantastic, fantastic, fantastic deal going. Um, there are only three of them left, though. There are only three left available of this bundle. This is the Elna 680. It will always cost you £999. But what we're doing is, if you buy, there's only three of these available now, only three available. If you buy this today or until those three stocks last, now remember it's free P&P, free P&P, remember. If you buy this today and there are only three left in this bundle, you get this box of Metla silk finish threads, the winter version, silky finish. There's no silk, they're all cotton, but silky finish. You get this lovely little ruler, three inches by three inches. And you get this uh, bundle of bijou fabric, three metres of fabric. All of that is worth £50.92. So I've only got three left. So if you buy the Elma 680 while those three are still in stock. Now, you'll always pay 999 for the... So if, you, if they've gone, you'll, you'll still pay 999 for the machine, but you won't get these... Because um, this, is, this is stock, right? This is core stock. But if you, I've only got three of these bundles left. So if you want that machine and you want that bundle to go with it, worth £50.92, I've only got three of them available. And yesterday what happened was people put them in their baskets and then left it and left it and left it, which is fine because we had enough yesterday. But there are three that haven't gone yet. So once those three have gone, this bundle, this deal is done. This deal is done. And also remember, this is direct shipping from Elna. This is, comes from us, so you will get it in two different parcels. But it's free PP. It's free PP. You get a, a, an Elna guarantee with this. You also get a phone number that you can ring. So if you have any issues with it, you can ring Elna, their helpline straight away. It, it, you know how fantastic machine this is. It automatically comes with the extension table there. We haven't put that on properly because Wayne was just trying to show us how to do it. But you, it comes with the extension table, it, the Elna one. It comes with 
its lovely um, cover and everything like that, which has got the Velcro uh, pocket on the front there. But it has so many things. Oh, and also this, this booklet is fantastic because it has everything in it. All that, I'll show you now, but it, if you've got dirt, certain stitches you want to do or certain um, project you want to do on it, it tells you which foot to use, it tells you which stitch to use, what the, what, where you have the um, settings and everything like that. So let me just show you here. You get, these are all the feet, you get a walking foot, you get a zipper foot. Look, you get all of this included. And you saw yesterday, a walking foot's like 49 pounds, isn't it? So that comes included. The buttonhole foot, it does 10 different buttonholes, automatic buttonholes, comes with the buttonhole foot. Comes with the, uh, well, I'll show you, I'll, show, I'll open here, look. See in here, I don't know if they're all there because they might be being used. They're little, there's little uh, houses for A, A, they've all got net names and numbers, right? This here is now exclusive, that's a pivot pin, so you can sew a perfect circle. Uh, we'll just go down the front here very quickly. Uh, the buttons on the front here, the first one uh, is the thread cutter. The second one is needle up or needle down. The third one is your da -da 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 -dunk lock stitch. That one there is your um, back, you know, reverse button. The one at the bottom at the bottom, the button at the bottom, you don't have to use the foot pedal if you don't want to, because you can use it by starting and stopping by pressing that button. This here is you can make it go f faster or slower. And then um, it's just, it's fantastic. The whole screen, it's not switched on. So the whole screen here is all computerized. Uh, have a look here. Have a look at this. Look at all these stitches. Now it goes to a nine millimeter. It goes to a nine millimeter width, which is a much wider stitch than you'd normally see. You've got alphabets. You've got all those decorative stitches. It's just got so much going for it, it's fantastic. It comes with a, a knee lift, so if, you, if, you, if you're doing a heavy quilt, uh, it's not here at the moment, you plug it into the front there, put, you can lift the foot, the presser foot, with, with your knee lift. It just does so much stuff. Oh, it comes with two plates, one for, for zigzag stitching, one for just straight stitching. The, it's so clever, it knows when you've changed the plate. You can drop the foot, uh, the feed dogs, you can do so much with it. Um, everyone loves it so much. Lucy's got one, Joe's got one. Uh, it's just fantastic. So many, so many, so many uh, projects you can do with that. So to, while those three are still available at night, it will always be £999. That's how much the machine sells for. But, but if you buy it with, with today, oh, oh, if you buy it, was that, did that, was that real or was that just my telly that did that? Okay. £50.92 worth of free gifts, if you think. I think it's fantastic. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant deal. And loads of you took advantage of it yesterday, which is why I've only got three left. And it's free p, &P. Free p, p until midnight. Now, you do have to decide either until the three have gone or until midnight tonight, because that's when the free p, &P finishes. Oh, look, this is the picture. That's the picture I wanted. That's all, you get your bobbin box. Oh, two, one's gone, one's gone. So I've got two left now. I've got two left now. You've got, all, you've got your uh, free motion quilting, your free, uh, an embroidery, you've got needles, you've got all the feet, you've got the, um, I, I've said the coffee, yeah, you get the bobbins, you get the buttonhole, uh, the walking foot, and then you get the things to, I can't remember what you called it, you put the end, the end of your thread, and you put your extra bobbin spool. There's so much going on there. But if you just look at all those feet, you think yesterday we had a walking foot up, uh, up for sale for 49, not for this, because you get it for free for this, 49 pounds I think it was, wasn't it, 49.99. How much would all those extra feet cost you? I just think it's a, uh, when I made, I was pointing next, but when I did my, I say this every time, when I did my show, when I made the toiles and everything like that, literally, I said, well, I'll use the 680 thinking, it's brilliant, it, it almost does the work for you. And what, what I love as well, is what, a lot of the Allen machines have this, I just have to tilt up, is where the bobbin is, it's see-through, so you can see the bobbin. Can you see in there? Oh, sorry, there you go. You can see the bobbin, see when you're about to run out and things like that. And it beeps at you if it thinks you're doing something wrong. It won't let you do anything that you're not supposed to do. So if you put something in, it physically will not let you do it. So, so if you went, if you go to put, um, to do a stitch and the foot's not right or the, the plate at the bottom isn't right, it just beeps at you, will not let you do it. 
Oh, Karen, just bought mine, always wanted one. Karen, you'll love it. And a lovely bundle to go with. But remember, Karen, this will come straight from Elna. These will come from us. So if your parcel arrives and it's just got these in, don't be thinking, oh, they've forgotten my sewing machine. Or if the sewing machine arrives and these aren't there, don't think. What you do is you get a, a, um, a confirmation, confirmation from us that this has all gone through when those come, and then Elna deliver that to you later. It is a brilliant buy. So I've got two. I've got two now, that's it, that's it. I mean, I'll always have this machine, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying, oh, they'll never ever, I don't want to add any undue pressure, but if you want them in that, in that um, and this as well, the 730 doesn't come with this, does not come with this, so normally, these are normally about 70 pounds, 70 to 90 pounds, aren't they? That comes with it, that comes with it as well. It also, it, and also, uh, Wayne's taken it away, it does also come with its own gubbins box. So even if you don't, don't want the big, it's, I can see it down there, but don't worry. Uh, don't worry. It's, um, have we got a picture of the, fit, of, the, of the machine? Did we show a picture of the machine? Where'd you go? But, it, but on here, on here, you see, it's just a free arm. But you do, there is a great big gubbins box with even more, your, your quick and pick, your, your screwdriver, your little lint brush and everything like that. That all goes in there. Uh, there you go, you can see it there. So it's not a free arm, but you can obviously pull the gubbins box off. But that's the bundle. I've only got two left though. That's it, that's it. We'll always have the machine, it will always be 999, but you do get that lovely free gift with 50 pounds and 92 pence. Right, I've got to get on because I've got lots to show you now. Rotary cutter. Sally was using it now. It's not Sally's because Sally's had her name written there, a name written there, a ribbon there with a name on it. Uh, this is the one that a lot of our, our designers use. 45 millimeter. Uh, you can't use it, you see, until you um, unlock it. And then you, uh, the blade is only engaged as you press this, right? So uh, if you drop it, the blade's going to bounce back, isn't it? I'll put the lock back on. Uh, because, oh, uh, excuse me. There's one mach sewing machine left. One sewing machine left with that bundle now. Obviously, we'll always, I'm not adding any undue pressure. I promise you, promise you, promise you because we'll always sell that machine at 9.99, but there's only one left with that bundle for today. Um, left or right-handed, you can move the blade around without actually touching the blade. You can move it around. It's got soft touch on the handle there, and then it's got that little bit of um, ridging there just to uh, stabilize it if you want to put your finger there for stabilizing it like that. 24 pounds and 99 pence. 45 millimeter Alpha rotary cutter. Okay. Cutting mats galore now. Right, pink Omni grid. It's got inches on one side. It's got centimeters on the other side. It's 28 pounds and 99 pence. How big is it? 17 by 23 inches, 45 by 60. Just lifts the color. It's got the angles on there. It's got the inches on there. It's, got, it's also got the angles on the other side as well where the centimeters are. 28 pounds and 99 pence for that. Okay. Which one do you want to go to next? Dark green one. This one's so easy. This one's not OmniGrid. This is so easy. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you've got centimeters on that side. And you've got the inches on that side. Self-healing. Now, when we say self-healing, it is self-healing, but you will get marks where you've cut, but they will seal up. Uh, Lucy puts hers in a, a warm bath after she's been in the bath, or you can wipe it with a, a baby wipe. Uh, and that seems to do the trick as well. Uh, you've got the uh, angles, you've got the inches, you've got the half inches, you've got the quarter inches on that side. And on that side, you've got the centimetres. 39.90, huge, that 90 by 60. This is the one that we have out most of the time for the designers, isn't it? Okay, 39 pounds and 99 pence. And then we've got this one here. We've got this one here. This is lovely. Now, lime green, it's going to reflect the light in your, in your workroom. It is a biggie, this one. This is an Omni grid, 23 by 35, 60 by 90, 49 pounds and 99 pence, self-healing. They, they always say, don't they, all our experts say, if you've got the space, get the biggest mat you can for your space. Thank you. Anna likes the fact that she can't see me, she says. Okay, rulers. Right, all of our designers all start with this one because it's the width. If you fold your fabric in half, this will cut right the way across your width of fabric. 
if it's 40, obviously 44 inches wide. Uh, it's a six and a half by 24 and a half inches. It's creative grid. It's got those resin uh, dots and all around the edge there. So once it's down on your fabric and you've got your, uh, you've pressed it down a little bit, it's not going to move anywhere. You've got inches, half inches and quarter inches. You've got it in black and you've got it in white. So that if you're working on different, if you're working on dark fabric, you look at the white. If you're working on white fabric, you look at the dark. We love it. All of our designers love this one. They've all said, without a doubt, that they buy this one first. So if you've not got a ruler, a creative good ruler, this is the one to buy to start your collection. £23.99. OK, shall I do the square one very quickly? The, 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 this one. Because this is the second one that Joe Carter bought. This is the square ruler, this one. Again, you've got your angle on there. So you can do your, if you're doing your half square triangles. Again, 12 and a half by 12 and a half inches, £23.99. Remember free PP until midnight tonight as well. Gorgeous. And again, the, the resin non slip uh, discs and the bit around the edge. £23.99. Right, how long have I got? Oh, God, I've got, oh, I could fit in another ruler very quickly. This is cute. This, this, uh, this isn't the one that Joe wants for Christmas, is it? get confused, but this is a lovely little rule as well. Brilliant if you're going to use the rotary, rotating cutting mat, because it fits beautifully on there. This one is, again, creative grids. Six inches, six and a half inches by 12 and a half inches, Wayne. You could do Wayne's inside leg with that. 12 pounds, uh, 12 pounds, 17 pounds, I'm thinking of Wayne's inside leg then. 12 pounds, not 12 pounds, 17 pounds and 99 pence. Now, it says here, two pounds, 95 post packaging, free post packaging till midnight tonight. Right, don't go anywhere. Janice is up next. Oh, she's doing this gorgeous little um, little girl's outfit. That's a, pre a premiere pattern. Um, the Never Before I've got some premiere fabrics. You buy the fabrics by the half metre. And uh, Janice has made just the, the little shorts and the top from it because the, the skirt, there's all sorts you can make from the pattern. Um, I'm going to... Oh, yes. Now, if you need a comfort break, go now because there's no break at 11 o'clock. Just to warn you, just to warn you. I'll see you in three from now. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Hi, I'm Lucy Brennan and these are my three top tips. My first top tip is to experiment. It's really about um, playing and using all the different features of your sewing machine. So for example, when I was quilting this quilt, I used um, a wavy quilting stitch, which gives a really lovely texture to the quilt. So it's worth having a play about and using um, scraps or little quilt sandwiches um, to try different things. My second top tip is about combining fabric. A lot of people um, like getting the pre-cuts, which are fantastic. That gives you a whole range of a collection. But it doesn't mean that you just have to use those together. It can be nice to mix them in with other fabrics that you've got in your stash or mix them in with solids and create something really unique. My third top tip is sometimes you just need to go for it. You can't always plan everything out. So you might combine fabrics, be making a block, and it not look exactly how you wanted it to. But until you sew it together, you don't always know how it looks. And there's always a way of combining things and making it look right in the end. Join us on Thursday the 24th of May for the return of an applique sensation, Angie Atwood's stained glass wall hanging. Angie will be showing us how to make her elegant Art Nouveau rose window, the intricately curved outlines cleverly created using strips of bias tape. We know how much you loved this design last time it came to air, so have put together a choice of three beautiful kits for your window. Choose from vibrant shades of red, purple and blue to create your own gorgeous stained glass effect. So tune in as Angie takes us through the patchwork window Thursday the 24th of May at 10 a.m. only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Join us on Monday the 21st of May when dressmaking expert Amanda Wyatt shows us how to make an on-trend cold shoulder top. Just in time for sunny skies, this pretty top is a breeze to make. 
To emphasize the feminine flared sleeves, we've selected silky satin fabrics featuring springtime blossoms, including magnolia flowers, daffodils, and lilies. Amanda takes us step-by-step -step through the process, sharing her professional tips to ensure every detail is sewn to perfection. So tune in for an hour of springtime dressmaking, Monday the 21st of May at 9am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. How cute are these? Aren't they lovely? Now I've got a premiere pattern, and I've got a pre well, not a premiere Janice, a unique Janice, that's what we'll call us today. Uh, now I've only got, this, this show will only be 40 minutes long. I'll tell you why afterwards, because we're going on to a westerly special in uh, 40 minutes. So, 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 so. Aren't these gorgeous? The pattern is a premiere. It comes in two different sizes, right? It comes in two ages, two to five. I'll show you, what, look, I'll show you, look, look at how many things you can make in here. For one pattern, all of those, um, there's a, a dress, there's a skirt, is there a skirt there? There's shorts there, there's trousers there. Maybe there's not a skirt. Uh, asymmetrical top, then the top that Janice is making. So much going on. No, it's not a skirt, just a dress. But anyway, loads in there, isn't there? Overlay tops, yoke dresses, shorts and pants. Seven pounds and 99 pence. Right. When we do children's pattern, normally this smaller size, the two to five, sells out very, very quickly. Oh yeah, it's two, two, five. It's two, two, five there. Because this one goes from six to eight, the other one. Who do we appreciate? <laughs> da, da. Don't know. Janice. Did Marty message you in the break? Yes. Oh, did he? Is he in a grump? No, he's not. Oh, he's all right, is he? <laughs> Uh, that's the one there from six to eight. Oh, again, it just says six there. Six to eight. Oh, that's why the advert wasn't there. Yesterday, Janice, we came round the big roundabout coming up to work, coming in, and it had an advert for toothpaste going, sparkle like Markle, right? So we tried to look for it this morning. Of course, she's not Markle anymore now, is she? She's Su Sussex now, her surname, isn't it? Anyway, look at all these fabrics. Three premier, three premier fabrics. So I'll show you the one that Janice has already made this one out of. It's pretty, isn't it? Now, you might have seen one a bit like this before, because we thought we'd seen it before, but it's a premier. So I've done, now, you buy this by the half metre. It's 100% cotton. It's machine washable. Made by Sevenberry. So it's made... Is this one made in Japan as well, then? Uh, it's beautiful. Their, co their cottons are just gorgeous. Five ninety nine for half a metre. Now you'll need hardly anything if you're going to do those. Your half a metre is going to be plenty, isn't it, to do those? So five pounds and ninety nine pence for half a metre. That's the peach floral. That one's called peach floral on white. That's called. I've also got that in the one that Janice is going to demonstrate in, which is this one. Same fabric, but a different colourway. That's nice, isn't it? So that's obviously the red. It's going to be called red, is it? There it is. Red floral on white background. There's green in there as well. There's an apple green and a bottle green in there as well. Beautiful. Now, I mean, it's free p p remember, till midnight tonight. Then this one. This is my favourite, this one. That's lovely, isn't it? Look at the colours in there. They've called it yellow. They've, you've got uh, mustard in there. You've got green and blue and yellow. You've got black and grey leaves. I do like that one. Five ninety nine for half a metre. Now I'm going to race through the rest of the fabrics now because I need to get to Janice so we can do some... Oh, there they are. Couldn't see them. They disguise themselves. Right, so I've got cherries. Not that cherry. She's in Germany at the moment. Uh, this is from the... Oh, Meal Flow range. We've had the Meal Flow range from day one. I mean, this is a new one on me. Dashwood Studios Fabric Cherries Meal Flow, 5 99 for half a metre. Again, really good quality. Wash your fabrics before you make them, though. 5 99 for half a metre. Now, I'm thinking the next one I'm going to show you might be better for the older, you know, the, the 5 to... Oh, the 6 to 8, was it? 6 to 8. I think this one's lovely. 
that because it's got kind of a more of a grown up feel to it. That one. Oh, you don't have, if you're watching, you're thinking, oh, I'd like a frock made of that. You could, you don't have to buy the pattern. You could buy this and make a dress out of it. Do you know what I mean? Five ninety nine for half a meter. This again is seven berry from Japan. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Five ninety nine. Now, the next one, if you're kind of going to go Little House on the Prairie-esque on us, this one would be perfect. This is um, a, like a, a, it's like a patchwork pattern. But this one's in the beige, or oh, I don't know if they called it beige. Let's just check. Beige. Seven berry beige floral patchwork, 5 99 for half a metre. If you don't want it in beige and you'd like it in blue, I have it in blue as well. I think I like the blue best. The blue best. The blue best. Graphics coming in. Seven very lovely flower blue. Patchwork fabric, 5 99 for half a metre. Again, you'd only need half a metre for these smaller sizes, wouldn't you? OK. Then I've got some spot-ons, because what Janice has done is she's teamed up the fabric with different spot-ons. So she's got the green, oh, she's got this one. She's got this one in the next one. It's called teal, this one. Excuse me, dark teal, this one's called. That's 4 99 for half a metre. Spot-on, dark teal by Macauer. And then again, wash your fabrics before you start when you're doing dressmaking. Moving on, uh, the one on this one here, we've got the red spot-on. Remember, these prices are all for half a metre. You can buy as much as you like, but obviously the pricing is just half a metre. And obviously they'll come joined together. 4 99 for the bright red. That one is bright red. I think the next one you might have seen in Janice's bag making earlier. Is this not cheeky? I might be wrong. This is cheeky. Pretty, that gorgeous for a little girl, that one. 4 99 for half a metre. But if you like a, a more substantial pink, then I've got this one. Lovely, that's nice, isn't it? Candy, this one's called. I want candy. 4 99 for half a metre. We'll be with you in a minute, Janice, don't worry. Don't know what she's saying. Oh, now half the stock of the small pattern's gone already. Just to warn you. I've got lemon. Oh, it's the only yellow I've got. This lemon. It's called primrose lemon. Yeah. Primrose, this one's called. Limoncello. Oh, it's just a normal tin. It's... She likes the Italian pop, you know, the fizzy water that's got um, orange in or grapefruit in or lemon in and things like that. San Pellegrino, San Pellegrino. Right, is this apple? Yep, apple, spot on apple. Just two more to show you and then I'll, I'll be with Janice. Next to a blue. So I have the darker of the two blues. Now I think, I'll wait, I'll wait. Yeah, they call it cobalt. They call it cobalt. It's nowhere near cobalt, but that's what they call it. Four nine nine half meter. And then the last fabric, before we go off to Janice, is the paler blue. Baby blue. The baby blue. Four nine nine for half a metre. So we've got a picture of Janice's finished um, garmentos. Oh, there they are. Oh, who took that picture? Michael. Right, Janice. <laughs> We've only got half an hour, Janice. So, again, John. hello, how are you, my love? Oh, fine. So, we've got to be quick but slow, so that we're methodical in explaining what we're doing. Right, I've already ran up the shorts right. and the teal. Um, beautiful colour, the teal. Yeah. I like the teal. With this, with this you know, combination. I thought it was lovely. OK, perfect. So, but that's all, all the fabrics that we've shown you are all listed underneath there. And these are the patterns. The two, two, 
five and the six to eight, but the two to five are absolutely flying out. Sorry, Janice, just had to say that. So, yeah. So, you've got your yoke, you've got your back, you've got your front, you've got your overlay. Yeah. Then we've got the bow that I've already done. Okay. And that's your bias mine for going around the sleeves. Brilliant. So, and that's I've made out of the fabric as well. There are so many patterns in there, though, aren't there, to choose from? Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. You can do anything you like. And this, these flowers are beautiful. Yeah. The, and the fabrics are really nice. They're all good quality fabrics. There's always fabrics, good yeah. quality fabrics. Yeah. So. So the first thing you do with your overlay, um, you have to machine it and edge it so that yes. you get a pretty front because this literally is going to go on the <laughs> actual that part of the dress oh, okay so that's so what we're doing first that's yeah. what we're doing first okay? okay so as you can see i've done that and yeah. I've my so you overlock the edge if you haven't I got an overlock edge, you can zigzag it or yeah, something you like can that zigzag can you? It. and then i might have the corner brilliant so first thing you do once you've got your both overlays Place them. Oh, you're doing it the other way around, so you've got the floral yeah. underneath with the oak, yeah, with the spots I did, on the top. I, I yeah. wanted to do the different oh, combination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was surprised with the bag that I never did it the other way. Yes, I normally yeah. try and show every yeah. effort that I can. Every which know. way, yeah. So with the yoke, you attach the yoke. Now the yoke has got a lining, so it's like a facing. Oh, the same of the, of same, the fabric, same fabric. Yeah. So you just. Do your yoke as it says on the pattern. Easy to follow. Okay, so, so you, what, how do you think? You sew your shoulder so seams together. Shoulders, sew the sh shoulder seams together. Sew again. <laughs> Put your teeth in. Sew the shoulder seams together. Yeah. And then, done the same with the other other side. Yes. And then just sewed around the neck and down the back. So you put so right sides together, yeah. sewed up the back, yeah. round the neck, round and, the down, neck the and the other down the other back. And down the other back, yeah. back. Okay. and that's it. And what you have to do is the front has got the notches on. Right. And it shows the notches when you've done all your cutting out and that with your notches. On the back, there's no notches, right, so okay. you'll know what one to follow. Yeah. So, and what you do is just... Iron your notches up. Iron your notches up. And we're just going to quickly machine. Oh, it's much simpler than um, I thought it was going to be. It is a simple pattern. <clears throat> it's it's simpler than what you think. It's just you know it, with sewing, it's easy. It's just like a jig. I always think of it like a jigsaw puzzle yes. that you're just putting together. And people who like jigsaws like sewing. Do they? Way. Yeah, I think so. So all we're going to do now is just machine okay. down five eight seam, straight down. The yoke front. So we just see if I hold yeah. with help if I turn the machine. Switch on. It on, <laughs> uh oh, that's it. So and now we can do reverse switches on this bit. <laughs> so again, take my pins out as I go along. I've always been one to leave pins in, but not anymore. <laughs> oh really? Well, since you broke it in the Since I broke it on air, not anymore. See, well, like, we we um all when we were making costumes, we all sewed over pins. Over pins. But I think it depends on what. If your pins are nice and slent, like the yellow-headed ones yeah. we've got, or the red-headed pins we've got. Oh goodness, there are fewer than ten of the smaller size pattern left already, and we're only thirteen minutes past the hour. It's a lovely pattern, yeah. isn't it? So. And that's your yoke on. So now, like I say, on here, we can just trim now the notches off. All right, just the notches, none of the seam allowance. All the seam allowance. Well, uh, you could do. No, um, no. I wouldn't know on this one. Okay. I wouldn't on this one because it just gives it a bit of strength. You know? So you're pressing so the seam allowance. So all I'm going allowance. to do is press. Now, now, this is what I was saying before. Yeah. I press the seam allowance open. Yeah. Oh, 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 you press it open? I'll do it open first. Right. Me and my pressing. I just need to tell you, all of the uh, 680 bundles have sold out now. Um, Karen got the first one, and Anne says, Karen, you won't regret it. Elna are brilliant even months and months after a purchase. Right, so you press it open, and open then you first, press it up. and then up. Oh. To get There's a that, reason for that. To get that on the back, so that on the... On the side of it here, it's nice and... Oh, right, that's got it, got I it, do. got it, yeah. And that's what I would have done on the bag, you see. Yeah. Press it open and press then it press closed. It up, yeah. And then what you do, you fold the yoke back, close. So you just fold it back by the amount of the seam allowance. That's it. But what you have to do, John... Yeah. You have to fold in the seam allowance and trim down to three-eighths. 
and that's what it gets you to do. And then you fold it in. Right. And then press it down. And that's what it gets you to do. Okay. A smaller then, size of the pattern, about to sell out. So then all we do then is quickly <coughs> slip stitch. Why does it make you why does it make you cut it back to three eighths of an inch just to keep the bulk down? Do you I think? suppose to keep the bulk down. Yeah. There's no other reason for doing it, I don't think. Mm. It's gotta be, hasn't it, really? Let's yeah. keep the bulk down. Um, if you want to, Even could you machine you you're gonna slip this down by hand, but could you stitch. machine it down if you wanted to? I suppose to? you could do from the right side. In the ditch, obviously. In the ditch. Shall we have a go? No, don't do it your, your own way, Janice. If it's going to take time to do well, this, isn't it? Yeah, on, let's then. go for it. See, I'd, I'd normally... <laughs> I'd normally, um, you know, on my hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. On my hands, Sarah, yes, as well. <laughs> so, but... Mm. Give it a go. I'll give uh, it a go. John, I bought the double wedding ring, qu uh, wedding <laughs> ring quilt kit, but going to do it with a navy background. Oh, Sarah, lovely. Lovely. Wait a second. Are you all right, Janice? Yeah, I'm fine. You I'm sure? just very nervous about doing this, but there we go. We always know when she's nervous because she starts mumbling. <laughs> so I don't. I'm a... I'll do it. I'm a hand seller. Pardon? I, I'll just do everything by hand. But again, because of the time. But you're old school like me, I would automatically yeah. do that by hand. Because we've got to do the back and we've got to do that. Do it down on the back as well. So it might be best just to. <laughs> The red floor, because she's giggling nervously, the red floor that Janice is using <laughs> is the graphic at the bottom. The graphic at the top is size six to eight, because we sold out the smaller pattern, it's six to eight now. And this is the hardest part, really. So that's now, if you look, coming along nicely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's the so, front. Yeah. That's your front. So then what you do with your back, Yeah. you get your back. Yeah. And there's no notches on the back, though. No, there's no notches on the back. But there is a tailor's there tag. Is a, a marking. Right. And what you have to do is just machine stitch that down, just machine across it and pivot it just to make it that bit stronger. Because so you're you, just going in a straight line? You're, or you're just going, going to in... go straight in a straight line over the back and then just trim into it. Okay. okay. So which which bit of which is that there? That's this bit here. Oh, I see. So you're going across. Oh, because you yes, I see. So you just you're just machining across there to give it a bit of stability. That's it's what it is. Just strengthen it. That's it. So just machine down there, and then we just slip into it. Oh, like I see. Because so. you're going to slip down to those stitch lines. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take them tacks out now. If we can. Don't need to, but. You're right, Janice, you've, got, you've still got a good 20 minutes left, so don't worry. <laughs> well, take your tailor's tax out. Yeah. <laughs> and then what you've got to do, now on this, you've got, again, the front bit of there folded over and trimmed down. Yes. But then this side is left as it is. With the then seam what allowance. you're going to do is attach this to... The outside, outside. one, the one that you haven't folded back. Yeah. And the middle bit of there has to mark, in the middle of here, you've got the notch. And what you've got to do is match the notches together. Right. So this is, this is the trickiest bit, really. So, so you're just putting, so you're, this, you're doing this bit here, aren't you? This yeah. is the open V here. So you're about to stitch that across there. And this bottom of this V matches with your notch on there, That's doesn't it? it? Yeah. yeah. OK, so if you want to just see it on the pattern, to give you an idea, if you can just pick it up there, see? Yeah. And that's what I'm doing. So you just make sure those two, the two centre backs are matching and they go together on the notch of the main panel that goes further down. I'm going to sit and I've lost it now. So you're right. Yeah. You lost your notch. I've lost it. Hold on a second. Is that right? That's it. That's it. Hang on a minute. Not right sides <laughs> together. That's no. it. Is that it? No. What, you want it finished like... No, that's it. That's that'll fine. That'll be like that. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, you right, turn right. it that way. OK. That's it. <laughs> it's that way. Yeah. That's it. And that's in the middle. Yeah, that's it. perfect. Now, I know what I was doing, but I was doing it from the wrong angle, wasn't yeah. I? So... 
Are you blaming your tools again? You what? Nothing. Am I blaming my what? Blaming your tools again. <laughs> oh, it's at the funny angle, John. It, it was at a funny angle. Yeah. It's because I'm trying to show um, as best as I can. Stop muttering. OK, stop muttering. <gasps> I always do that, don't I? I know. She's just saying to the best she can. Yes. And that's what it's got to be. Yeah. The best. Simply the best. So, again, on this one, you're just meeting them two up there and taking it to the end. Yeah. So, you've got one that's folded over and you've got one that's not folded over. You're attaching the bulk of the back that's it. to the one that's not folded that's over. That's it, yeah. What's Top confusing as well now, is normally you'd have two right sides, but because you've done a yoke that's both sided, you've got both. You're looking confused, Janice. No, it's all right. It's just me angle again, isn't it? So it's okay. You're right. Yeah. You've because you've done a double faced yoke. Yeah. You're not got right sides together. You've you've you know what I mean? It's kind of <laughs> got the right side of the back next to the wrong side of the other piece. Of. Which you'll see in a minute what I mean. You'll see it once. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's a nightmare. Oh, my but word. Over half bit. of the bigger size children's patterns now gone. We had loads of these. So. Really? Mm. It is lovely, though, isn't it? It is a lovely pattern. So. When you made them, we'd love to see your pictures of all these. You've gone very quiet. Janice, thank you for your demos. John, loving your shirt. Lots of love from Elaine. How are you, Elaine, my love? Hello, Elaine. <laughs> OK. So then what you have to do is machine straight across yes. the middle. OK. OK. Yeah. So she, all you do is machine down where you've pinned. Five eights in. I didn't check on the... Um, oh, what did you check, Janice? Slip stitching. You know the slip stitching? Oh. This bubble's going in front of me again. I think you're, um, you're right. I don't know. There they go. There they go. <laughs> so, right. It takes time to set the pins out, doesn't it, when you've got yeah. the nails? Don't worry. Don't worry, Jenny. Am I going back over there at all? Do you need? Yeah, yeah I suppose you need to. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let Janice get to the next stage now. Well, the that. next stage is just folding it over yeah. again and sewing it down. So, so I'll go and do fabrics then. Yeah. So, again then, all coming together nicely. So yeah. all I'm going to do now is press it open again and then... So you'll press the seam allowance into, you'll open it, yeah, then you'll open it into, up, and then into into you'll, it, because you still open at the it, sides there, and, then and you I'm bring that one down. And then I'm going to just mach okay, only machine do that. that down. I'll we'll, do fabrics, so yeah, I'll come back. That's lovely. Sorry to rush you, Janice. No, don't worry. <laughs> right, not going through all the fabrics, don't wait. The three new florals, the one with the peach, is the most popular, that's this one. Seven berry peach floral on white background, five pounds and ninety-nine pence for half a meter. Brand spanking new today. Ooh. <laughs> I think that this one's just been folded very um, unusually. There we go. <clears throat> this is obviously a meter that you're seeing here, so that'll be year eleven, twelve pounds. It's nice though, isn't it? It's very cute that one. The thing is, I think it would also look nice in a, in a grown-up's frock as well. Uh, red. I'll just show you that in the red one. Right. And then my favourite. Now, isn't that funny? Lovely, isn't it? Those, so those three are premieres. This one's the yellow one. It's lovely and fresh, that one, isn't it? And then the blue... Oh, the one that, oh this one, the, one, the Liberty-esque one. This is lovely as well, isn't it? Look. It's called, called Scattered Blue Flowers, very popular. It's 
$5.99. And then the dark teal spot on, Okay, so the today's allocation of the bright red spot on has sold out and the teal, we will get it back. We have it in all the time. We have it in all the time. But what, what we here were given today has gone. Um, spot on dark teal, four ninety nine is the other next bestseller. Okay, you're right, Janice, I'm coming back. Yep, yeah, let's go back to Janice. The machine down that other side of this here. You're the yoke now, I've attached it. So, it's coming, see how quick it is? Yes, it has yeah. come across, it does come um, together quite quickly. Yeah. So, once you've got the yoke out the way, um, that's the hardest. Yes, bit but it's of it also really, it's also uh, the bit that tidies everything up, isn't it? it? You've got no because it means in the top section that goes next to the child's skin, there's no raw edges, there's no, no. seams, are there? Everything's all tucked away. It's true. Let me just. Now this normally you would slip stitch. You want to? So? I think. Personally, you want to slip stitch. Yes. I suppose it depends how many times you can throw it in the washing machine, doesn't it? <laughs> depends true. how strong your slip stitch. Because you see, because Lucy says yeah. her slip stitching is stronger than what she thinks it's stronger than a machine stitch. So she's quite happy to slip stitch I it like by hand. Slip and then, it, you know, in the washing machine and everything. But if you think about the way things are made in factories these days, it's all yeah. the machine. There won't be one bit of hand stitching. There won't be, will there, because of quickness. The music quick, don't know. That's why it's still nice to hand sew. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, totally. So. Well, yes, things like the prom dress that you're doing for, what was that she called? Anna. No, what's the girl called? Abby. Abby. And then I do all the stitching on that, you know, where you wouldn't really have to. Well, with the panel I'm putting in, it's all going to be hand yeah, sewn. Exactly. It's not going to be machines no. at all. So. I use that for everything. <laughs> so that's that done. And that's your back done and that's I've got a question done. from Colleen. Can the pattern be adapted for boys loving the show from... Oh, now it says you're called Colleen at the top and it says you're called Connie at the bottom. So Colleen slash Connie. <laughs> Connie. Could you... Well, I suppose you could do the shorts. The, the shorts. shorts for boys. And the trousers, maybe. Oh, yeah, and the trousers. I'm not sure if the top... Well, that's the top one. Yeah, that's the top one. Yeah, and the trousers are a bit more floral. Yeah, it's too, it's too, well, it's too, it's, no, it's too girly, the top one. Too girly. So then what you do, yeah. after you've attached your yolks and that... But thanks for your question, Colleen, Connie. You join your side seams. OK. So, and now you take it all, all the side seams in. So you're, you're including in the side seam the overlap... The overlay. ..or the overlay, the, the front and the back. The front and, and they've the all back. got notches, so you can match they've all, all the notches. They've all got notches. So... That's what <gasps> you do. Uh, the larger size children's pattern, I've got fewer than ten. We're going to have to start. I mean, I know we t we're buying more because we know how popular everything is, but. Um... I'm just going to make sure I pin this overlay down in as well so that we do. Yeah, because you're only it slipping out, do you? Because really? yeah. that happened on one of the shows when something slipped out. So. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was your. I tell you what that was. That was your pocket on your nappy hand. Nappy yes. holder. Yes. We've had a new baby in the family and I've had to make one of them. Janice, you did, I wondered why you'd been off for a while. <laughs> John. <laughs> Who's, who is it? What relation is my it cousin. to you then? My cousin's had your a baby. Your cousin's had a baby, yeah, so is it your, does that make it your great cousin? Jordana. Who? So oh? It's my second cousin, in, isn't oh, it her baby? Cousin, is it? I think it's second cousin's oh, when the... Uh, and what's her name? Um, the baby's called the Jordana, or the no, lady who's had the baby? The lady who's had the baby's called Jordana. So if she's your cousin... And she's naming the baby Eva Grace. Evie Grace? Eva, Eva Grace. Eva Grace. Oh, lovely. So, yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? So... So, of course, all the family have been saying, Jan, can you make this? Jan, oh. can you make that? So, I've been quite busy doing all No, you can go, things. I can teach you how to make this. I know. All but half my aunts can say, but they're, they're all... They're lazy. All, they're all you said they were all lazy, your family, <laughs> didn't you, earlier while we were prepping? <laughs> yeah, so... I'm just pinning the both sides first. Yeah. Before I machine them. Yeah, so it's nice having babies in the family, isn't it? It's what? It's nice having new babies. Well, we, haven't, we haven't had one in our family for 20 odd years. <laughs> is, oh. is there anything tricky about the shorts, says Jackie, in York? No. 
Um, no, not at oh, all. Oh, now one thing that's interesting is it's the elastic the is elastic only on in the front, the front. one in the front. Look, the but elastic again, is only in the front. Yeah. There's no elastic in it's the back. Ever so easy just to follow the pattern. Yes. Um, even with that. On the front, yeah. it's, it's just a matter that <laughs> that casement in floral. Yeah, the casement because all it is is the one side you make longer and you have the fold line, yeah. and the other side you've got shorter because you're just going to have the piece on. Yeah. And you, then you just fold it over, make the casing, thread the elastic through, and then yeah, so sides. So no, yeah, it's very easy little pattern. Ever so easy. That's why I I made them as well because I thought the, sh the shorts would be easy to follow than the yes, yeah, doing yeah. the yoke on the top. You know. Yeah, it's I mean you could, hard to you could you could make those for a little boy, couldn't you? If, you, yeah. if they're going to look like that, aren't they? If you make them in blues. spot, it's yeah. only the top that I wouldn't alter into a little boy's yeah, top. The top. Yeah, because all the tops are like flared, either asymmetrical or the one that Janice has made, or they're a longer dress, or it's a longer dress with frills. But the shorts and the trousers that little boys could wear. Now, what I like about this pattern as well is that if, when you make it, on the overlay, your stitching's a bit out. Because of the bow on the front, it hides a multitude of Oh, don't be saying that, Janice. You don't make, you don't make no, mistakes. But, no, but I've got to be honest with the viewers. If they're new at sewing, yeah. and the overlay just doesn't sit right at the top, yeah. don't be put off by it because yeah, but the bow, the bow on it. can hide it. I just think, you know, somebody's brand new and... Oh, well, no, but the thing is, you have to be brand new to make mistakes like that. You can, if you're rushing along like you are now, it's so easy for one just to be a little bit, or like yes. to slip a little bit, you know. Oop. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. No. <laughs> so now you've got the top made. How would you finish those seams off? Would you zigzag them or overlock them? Seams, yeah. 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 Yeah, just um, just overlock them. Open. But I always overlock open as well. Yeah. And then all zigzag down like yeah. that. Yeah. Then. Okay. And that's that done. So then the next thing you're doing is the binding around the arm on. Right. Okay. So grab your binding that you made earlier. So again, now because it's because it is on a curve, yeah. it has to be done at a 45 degree angle on the, as binded, it can't be just a straight line. Yes. So. Bias binding maker here. Yours nice will come binding. in a packet, obviously. This is the uh, 25 millimeter one. 11 pounds and 99 pence. You cut your bias strip, you pull it through and you iron. I'm only rushing because we've only got less, we've got less than 10 minutes and I want Janice, you're here to see Janice, not me. Right. So with the binding, all we start, well, what you're supposed to do is... <laughs> what you're supposed to do is what not what is Janice is doing. Just base that round. Oh, yeah, first. so all your layers are yes. all yes. stable. So yeah. base that all round to hold it together while you're doing this bit, but I'm, again, I'm just going to go for it. So I always yeah. start at the seam under the arm. Yeah. Because it hides a multitude of seams as well. Yeah. So... <laughs> well, also, you don't, want to have, you don't want to have one seam under the arm and then another seam round the shoulder no. or something like that do so and again you can do this binding in the polka dot you can do it whichever, as a contrast yeah. whatever type you want john and janice great show bought both patterns have three granddaughters adriana oh. eight gabriella four and amelia rose one from oh. Jeanette in leeds oh lovely names adriana lovely. gabriella and amelia rose oh, oh. Nice. lovely names yeah. oh Oh. Do you want another baby then, oh, Janice? Oh, you know, if I was younger. <laughs> well, let's get younger. Amy. Get Amy onto it then. No, no. she's too busy. She's what, too busy? <laughs> she's too busy. She ain't got time. <laughs> so I made a strip on this 20 inches long or something centimetres. Um, and that will do both sleeves. OK. This is for the three-year-old. This yes. pattern. Now. Oh, OK. OK. But yeah, but I don't think there'd be a lot of difference. So if you did a strip of binding 25 inches long, that would do... It doesn't say it's in the pattern, you see. No. Oh, OK. Um, we'll just measure around your armholes and do a bit more, they just you? say bind it. So. Uh, the f fabric that Janice used, the red floral on white, is on the graphics up there, and the green dark teal one is just down there. So I'm just going to sew. Leave a bit of an overlap so I can join it there. Thank you. 
leave yourself a bit of a seam. And then we're just going to machine. Okay. Right. Will, you take your, will you take your gubbins box off and put it through, or will you do it the other way around? You what, sorry? Will you take your gubbins box or your sweetie box off the machine? Yes. Yeah. What do you call that? Uh, well, some people call it a gubbins box because it's got the gubbins in, you know, like the um, yeah, other people. Uh, well, a lady messaged me the other day saying she calls it her sweetie box because she keeps <laughs> her sweeties in it. And then, who was it? Just CL, it. who's been very, very professional, said it's a bed. Oh. Okay. I don't know what they call yeah. it. <laughs> I like the idea of the chocolate box, though. Gub, well, why would you... This, one, this one's not a gubbins box. This one's just a bed, you see, but... A bed. No, you don't... Well, your gubbins is anything. Gubbins doesn't mean sewing. Yes, it, but it's you done. don't want to put anything but your sewing things in there. I mean, you don't want to have your bookmark or... You can use it as much as you like, gubbins. No, you can either... If you have trouble getting it on... Yeah. You just fold it back, don't yes, you? Yes, so but you're, you're just squeezed Mine it through. just about fits. Yeah, so if you're doing a so, smaller one, it might be too tight yeah. to go around there. So yeah. then you just do it by folding it in. So let me just bring that machine yeah, a bit closer fine. to me. Where's my foot gone? We've only got how many minutes? You've got two? Oh, three minutes. Three minutes. I might just get round. So all you, I'm doing is going round. Yeah, and this is why it's got to be biased by you, because obviously again, you don't have to curve. When I pin this, normally I would tap this. Before. Oh, would you? Mm. Just to make sure A, it goes in straight away. Yeah. Uh, anything like that with sleeves, I always tend to tap because it's a little bit more annoying than having to do on stitching. Yeah. Um, so things, tricky bits, I always tap, you know, running stitch. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, normally. Because then you know it goes in right straight away. Yeah, of course, yeah. And there's no creases or, if you know what I'm saying. So we do that. Take it off. can sew a seam down there about a quarter yeah. of an inch. So what, you, what Janice so has done I'm, is she's left a gap between the two the ends of the bias binding. She's going to stitch the bias binding together now and then... Just open that. Up. So then just machine down. Yeah, if you don't, that looks quite fiddly. If you leave a bigger gap, it's, it's easier. It would be easier. Okay. Well, that was a... no, I'm, just trying just to... a... I'm just trying to hold it together so I can just do it with Hold it, it together, Janice. I know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to tuck it. Normally, I'll tuck all this. Uh, I've made the quilt on your wall in 1999, but I made each melon with 12 individual pieces in pastel colours. <gasps> oh, lovely. Oh, that must have been lovely. gorgeous. Send us a picture, Karen. Oh, no, don't actually stay because we're going to run out of time, aren't we? So then all you do... Yeah. Cut... Cut that I'm in off, tomorrow. So. in tomorrow. It's little Paul tomorrow. So and then fold it back and then do just another machine stitch on the inside. So yeah. you just follow that round. Like yeah. So all the way round and that's that. That's your and binding. then, so that's your, how you do your binding and yeah. you machine it round. Okay. And then you make your bow. Yes. So your bow. Yeah, yeah the front look literally goes there like so and I've left no I didn't leave this but the way I did the bow just a square in it gives the pattern piece in there it does yep. it in there so and then a bit round the middle and I did it in a contrast on this one yep. whereas the other one I did it plain with the flower but again just to give you a contrasting look I actually did that one with a bit of thread left over thread I'm going to no, don't worry. Oh, oh, wait. How do you hem? How do you hem this bottom one here? Then? Again, with the hem, just hem, and then just do a little stitch and a little stitch, and just do a machine hem, just a small one. Or if you've got an overlocker, which I do, I, I overlock it and then just yes. do it for once. And so, that's it. That will make you your lovely little um, top like that. Your top done. I can just take that off. That's oh. it. And that one. <laughs> <laughs> that brute force. I know because of time. <laughs> and that's it. And that's Thank your you, binding. Janice.
So the uh, finding looks nice. I'm sorry I had to rush you, Janice, but you'll see in a minute what's going to happen because there's not going to be any break. So in the pattern, there are the trousers, the, the shorts, the little top, the asymmetrical top, a dress. There's even a pattern for a little ruffle sleeve. So if you want to put a ruffle on the top of there, yeah. you can do as well. Nice. There, Lovely. There are only <laughs> 10 of the larger size pattern left, so just so you know. That's <laughs> extreme. Janice, thank you. Oh, it's lovely to see you. And you, yeah. Janice. I'll see you in a minute, anyway. And I'll see you in a bit. Uh, right, now it's a little <laughs> bit different now. Come with me. Come with me. Because we are going to go on to Westerly Rulers in a second. Um, and what it is, is Angie's at the Malvern uh, Festival this weekend. And we can't do it without Angie, really. So what we've done is we've created a film for you to watch with all the Westerly Rulers and everything like that on. It was a two-hour special that Angie and I did. And they've... I should have worn the same shirt, really. Then you wouldn't have known, would you? And they've whittled it down to an hour because we've got the, um, the rulers back in stock and everything. So we wanted you to see the Westerly Rulers. But before we go on to that... I'll come back at the end. Don't worry, I'll be back on it again at the end it won't be all the film but we want to tell you about this fantastic fantastic offer that we're doing for an extension table for your sewing machine now it's made by horn but they're custom made for your machine now obviously if your machine's a flatbed it won't work <clears throat> and there are a few machines we've got a, a list of they're listed on the website but also if you don't go on the web you can ring the call center and they'll be able to tell you which machines it doesn't fit um, but this, what, what happens is, so you today, if you decide you want this, if they're all this size, they're all this size, which is, I'll tell you in a second, 24 inches by 18 inches, perfectly clear per, per perspex stop top here, with adjustable legs, you see, so you can put it to whatever size. It is the deluxe extension table, this one. Now, it costs 99 pounds and 95 pence, 95 pence. How it works is, if you think, yes, I definitely want one of those, you ring the call centre, or, uh, I can you best buy them on the web as well, Mr. New, but you buy them as normal, remember, more, um, buy them as normal, free PMP, remember. Now, what you then happens is you will then get something from our call centre with a number that you ring, and you ring them, you say, this is my secret code. This is my make of my sewing machine. This is the model of my sewing machine. It's not a secret code, but obviously you could pass that piece of paper around all your friends. You know what I mean? So it's a, a unique code, unique code to you. And what it is, they will then make the table, especially for your, the extension table, especially for your sewing machine. They are fantastic. Angie said, well, Angie did have one of these, and then she's gone one further. She's bought the horn table that they cut the hole out for your machine in the table, and your machine fit so that your, your, this table is this big. Ma makes it into as big a table as you've got, sort of thing. So that's the way it works. You pay you £99, 95 bucks. It's a deluxe extension table, my brother. It doesn't have to be an Elna machine. It'll fit on my Benina. It'll fit on a Janome. But there are about five or six, which are listed on our website, or the call centre have got, that it, it, it doesn't fit. And you don't need it if it's a flatbed, because obviously flatbed, you've already, you've already, it's already got... Like the My Singer Industrial, that was in on a flatbed. That was already there. I'm showing you this for Westley, because when Angie... I'm backwards here, obviously. When Angie does her, her Westerly rulers, you have a block, and you're moving it round like this constantly, so it's better to have a lovely big extension table on it. Now, obviously, if you've got a 680, you've got an extension table already. But if you want one that's custom made for your sewing machine, your sewing machine might not, you might have a Benin like me that, hasn't, that doesn't have a table, you can't buy the table to go with it or whatever, and you want the, or your extension table is, is um, metallic and you can't see through it and you want one that you can see through, then this is just perfect. <clears throat> £99 and 95 pence. As I say, you buy it, we will be in touch with you. Uh, and then you ring with your unique code to the actual people and they make it. It'll take about two weeks to make because obviously it's made personally for you. It, oh, and, and when, when it arrives, there's a sticker on it saying which machine it's for. So it's just brilliant. This is our 730 that we've had it made for here. But isn't that fantastic? <laughs> there you go. So it's, it's a totally see-through top. It's got this bit here is the bit that's all laser cut out to fit onto your sewing machine, made of perspex, and then it's got the table, the, the, the legs incorporated into it, look, but they've got, um, so you can fit, move them up and down, they're adjustable, so you can move them so it's completely and utterly flush, because your table might not, be, might not be flat, might it? So you just wonder, like on the bottom of your fridge, or on the bottom of your wine fridge, and you have to turn them like that just to get it all even. It's brilliant. 
Hey, you've got a wine fridge, yeah? Well, you put the wine in it. You can put it in a normal fridge, but yours wouldn't be big enough, would it? With wine and food. Anyway, 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 if you want that, give us a call. Go on the website. Remember, it's free delivery until only till midnight tonight, though. So if you're watching at like 10 past one tomorrow morning, you won't get it. You won't get the free PMP. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. So are we ready to go to the film? Yes. So, oh, are we? Well, I can talk. No, no, I can talk more afterwards. It's fine then. I'd rather go early so we see the whole film, and then I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you at the end. At the end of the film, if you want, if you want this, please. Uh, you can ring the call center if you want to know if it fits your machine. If you can't go on the web, um, but there are, there's literally a short list like that of machines, uh, not flatbeds, obviously, but machines that it doesn't fit. Okay, so now. Enjoy the next hour because Angie will be going through all the westerly rulers with you. It's a two-hour special that we've edited. Bex has edited it down. Now, oh, now, ignore what's in the screen behind us. The, we call it the plasma because that's got something about May Day or something like that in it. But it is still free PMP, even though it won't be in the plasma where Angie and I are talking. I've got a different shirt on as well. Um, so watch this and I'll see you. I think it's about an hour and three minutes. I'll be back. And uh, we'll do a roundup then. So enjoy the film. I'll see you now in three minutes. Brand spanking new to us, quilt class in a bag. I and know. this is what it looks like. Very exciting. Now, before we open it, what it what what's so special about it? What is it? Okay, you so can open, you can open um, it. It's uh, well, as you know, Westerly is designed by Leonie yes. and Bill West in uh, Australia, Australia. and um, this is their third quilt that they've designed um, as, a, as a pattern, if you like, but it's the first time that they've actually put it together in such a gorgeous um, bag. They've actually had the bag designed as well. Um, but the quilt behind us, Leonie sent this over from Australia. Oh, so, I Yeah, so it's, uh, it's Leonie's quilt showing what, what this class is. Uh, so, so, so are we able to go in close on this? Is that possible? Uh, do you want to come yeah. over and just tell yeah. us what's what's in? I mean, that, it's just beautiful. So isn't it's it? yeah, it's um, basically um, we'll go through what's in the kit. Yes, yes, yes. There's some new rulers in right. there, and it goes through I think 13 different blocks that are repeated to make 44 blocks. It's 87 by 87 inches. So, so uh, uh, we've got a fabric bundle over yeah. there that we can we that you've created. I've put for... together for the top because this is if you can see there's sort of um, light, medium, and dark yes. fabric. So it's seven and a half meters in total for the Which top. Which we'll, we'll go through in a second. So, um, but, but if you yeah. don't want to make this, if you've got your own yeah. quilt, you can use all of these Absolutely. on your own quilt. If you like, we've got um, there's three different rulers as I talked about, yes. and and an accessory ruler. Oh, okay. Um, and I've got so I shall be demonstrating today. So this is one of them. Then we've got the uh, this is Spin Effects number eleven. Oh, not very glamorous <laughs> name, is it? Spin Effects <laughs> number, number 11. eleven. This one's um, continuous loop. Right. And this one is a continuous heart sort of shape. It's on its side. Oh, uh, right. But um, then that, what's that one there? Well, then? these That's are part of that one. Part of the instructions, because you also get, we'll go through a DVD and written instructions. Oh, it's wow. one template that's been used in lots of different ways, depending on how you overlap it or turn the ruler. Uh, even here, can you see like the ribbon effects that you're getting here just by wow, shifting the ruler yes. slightly? Um, so lots and lots of different ways that you can make one template look so different. Fantastic. Yeah. Right. So this is called yeah. Quilt Class. Oh, now hang on, hang on. Um, first of all, I thought it was, um, I, I thought it was going to be more expensive than that. That's I what know, I'm trying to so say. Did, so did I, actually. <laughs> uh, 9, 10, 9, 10. Yeah. Um, right, now, now, what you need to do is they come in low shank and high shank, yes. don't they? If you don't know, I don't know what my sewing machine is, so if you don't know what your sewing machine is and you know you definitely want to buy some Westerly, you can ring our call centre, 0800 122 They have a list that, and you need to make a model yes. of your sewing machine and they can tell you whether you're low or high. high. Yeah. But isn't there a medium as well or That's not? just for the foot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you, which you'll explain to me yeah. in a second. Yeah. So we've got this in both low and in high. high and the yep. way you can tell the difference is the blue one is yeah. high and the red. Now, all of this comes off. So when you get yours home, you don't need yeah, to keep that lovely. on because it's got paper on the back and everything there. You don't need to keep that on. So you can just keep that beautiful, beautiful bag with all of the whole kit inside it. Yeah. You can't just put this 
straight onto your sewing machine. The can foot you? isn't included. No. In so you, this so kit. you need to buy some basics first yes. of all yeah. before you can start putting this on your Absolutely. machine, don't you? So let me just go tell you what the basics are yeah. and then we'll start there. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. So what I've got now, they're all in plastic bags, so I'll get them out for you um, because I don't want to get them all muddled up. So this one here is like a starter kit. So if you've not had anything from Westerly before, that's the that's mine to use. So don't uh, I've prepared all that. Can I have that one? <laughs> <laughs> so you'd need. So what's in here then? What what do okay. you get in this then? So um, we won't actually. You won't need to open all of them because no. they're all the basic same kit. So basically, um, if you turn that around. Oh yes. Um, we've. <laughs> Excuse me, I forgot that she was so busy. <laughs> we've um, so in quarter have bundled basically the starter set and the sampler set. Right. Because basically, you buy the starter set, which is one, one ruler and the foot and a measuring gauge. So it's the foot that's important. Yeah. Is so it? the foot is in this starter kit, right? Uh, and that's there. Um, but of course, you've got the basic ruler. And in no time at all, you're going to be wanting to do more patterns. Okay. So that's why we've bundled this with the sampler okay. set. Okay. So, so the foot is essential. Yes. If you do any, Anything. so any Westerly that you buy, yes. the foot is absolutely essential. It's don't don't be fooled to think, oh, I've got a free motion foot, um, because um, it's not like your ordinary free motion feet. With ruler work, your normal free motion foot will bounce. And you can't have that because the ruler will slip underneath oh, as the course. foot's hopping. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so it's a very, you set the height of the foot and it's got high sides so that the ruler sits um, which, very stable. Which, if you've not seen Wesley, against. you'll understand what yeah. Angie's getting on about in a minute. So this one here is, if, so if you're in the call centre, you yeah. say you've got a low shank, for 129.95, you get the foot and this little starter kit here, and also... Six other rulers in the sample Which set. are all amazing as yeah. well. Oh, here's, uh, there you go, there's a still of it, there's yeah. a still. So for 129.95, you get all of that. You just need to decide whether you've got low or high. There's low, medium, right. high shank, right. and then high shank special. Right, okay. So we've yep. got, so this is the low <laughs> shank. We just, have to put the we just have to put the graphics in for you so you know. So that one's the low shank. So if you ring the call center, and say, that's the code JGPF58, what you need for the low shank. Right, then I've got a high one next, which is this one. I don't need to get these axes, it's exactly, it's exactly the same. Exactly the same. So this yeah. is the high one now, exactly the same, but for a high shank on your machine. We will get on with the sewing, I promise you. I just need to get all the, it's like all the science, but isn't, isn't it? If you've never seen Westerly yes, exactly. before, then you're not going to understand the, the product. Uh, that's the high one there, the high shank. Same thing, exact same that Angie's just shown you. And then this one's medium. Yeah. So it's a medium foot, but it, it, you use it with low shank rulers. That's why you can. Oh, see okay, that's why it's confusing. There, right. It's so it's a medium foot, yeah. but then you use the. Low so so if they've rulers. already got it, that they need to buy the low, the low foot, one yeah. of the ones if that we're showing. If today. they've already got a medium foot or a high shank special yeah. foot, then they will buy the right. appropriate. I haven't um, got high foot. I haven't got high foot. What's it called? High shank special. special. I haven't got, we that got, in, that I haven't got that today. <laughs> Very, oh, we've got, we can put the graphics in for it yeah. if that is you then. So here's the graphics. I haven't got one to show you, but if you want the... Um, oh, we do, put have, those we do have some stock. That's good. Right. Have yeah. uh, uh, they gone in, sorry? Just going in. There you go, there you go, there you go. 129.99. So that's the foot that you need, plus your starter kit, if you've never seen Westerly before. Yeah. So now... But some of over, you have. Yes, yeah, <laughs> those of you have. Uh, um, oh, the other thing I've got to point out, first of all, you see this table... That I we've know. got on the sewing machine I was here. really excited to see this, because I love horn. You funny old thing. <laughs> we are going to be having these very soon, and what they do is they make them to fit your machine. So, like, you ring up the call centre and you say, oh, I've got, a, I've got this, is it high shank, low shank, whatever. Very soon, very shortly, you'll be able to buy this extended clear... Look at it. Extended if, clear table to fit your machine. Either if your sewing machine doesn't, if the manufacturer can't supply your machine with a, an extension table, because not every model no, comes no. with one. Um, a lot of them do come with quilt kits nowadays, but the tables are quite small. Yes. And especially for ruler work, you don't have a lot out of the back here. No. So you'll have a lot, some at the side, but very shallow at the back. Yes. Um, so these, um, these horn um, acrylic tables are perfect because they're like you say you can order one specifically yes, for your yeah. machine or um, i've i've got horn table 
what, what, table? My, what my machine sits in. Wow. And, and I've, because I've just had a new machine, I've just had to have a new template cut because they cut them for your machine. Because if you buy the 680, you automatically get an extension table with it. Mm -hmm. If you buy the 730, it doesn't come with the extension table. The, the 730 does, actually. Oh, does it? But the 680 table is quite shallow Shallow, the back. shallow, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, oh, OK. Uh, right, yeah. OK, so now, Angie, it's over but to yeah, you. I'm going to shut up. Next weekend, I believe, is it? Are you ahead of me? No, I've, I've just spoken to um, the team out there because they were we were just on about it, so... They said, uh, yeah, you can give a little tease, but it's not... Next with... weekend? Next weekend, I think. Am I even in next weekend? <laughs> what date is it? Oh, I am. I think I'm in on the Sunday next weekend. Oh. Anyway, anyway, are you, on, are you on with it then? No. Oh. I know. So you're keeping us apart again. <laughs> right, come on, people will be gagging if you yeah. start sewing, so let's so, get going. So, um, I've never heard of these um, Yazzie bags, but obviously... Um, they're very, they're very big in Australia Obviously. because um, well, Leone like was very a, excited. Dry as a bone coat, wouldn't it? We'd never heard of a dry as a bone coat until they came over from Australia and suddenly we all had to have them. So, so you get, you get, when you buy this, you get the, the lovely one, um, carry case. It come, you, you get all of this in here. Now, I'm, I'll open mine, but mine will still have cardboard. It's yes. beautifully packaged and everything like that. With, with tissue rulers. paper and cardboard and everything like that in it. So just take me through yeah. before you get to the rulers. Okay. We get in the box. Before I go to the rulers. Yeah. Okay. So Did you get you get um you get the um, full instructions and there's actually three different um, booklets here right because there's um, the actual quilt class in the bag to make the project if you like yes um, that's the project guide for the whole quilt so this is the thickest one oh, okay so it's literally got that's if you want to make, make this quilt yes. behind me now can you see it's oh, got yes. a full table each of the blocks is lettered. A, B, C, D, oh, individually. Oh, my word, look at it. And it's all written, what the exact sizes of each one. You can see here she's even done sort of cutting guides for each block um, to help you to work out how best to get the most out of your fabric, all oh. the different sizes, before it then goes into um, telling you how to stitch each individual block. So it's, it's thorough. Thorough. So that, that booklet there yeah. is t for that quilt behind us. But you also get the DVD. Oh, it's in there, yeah. it's in there, it's in there. So you, there. Get, you, not only, you get to read the instructions, but also there's a full tutorial of, um, so you can actually watch, watch Leone. Watch while you're doing it. And she's showing you everything. I've, I've, it's um, funny, isn't it? Because different people, we have a lady called Tessa who watches, who can't learn from watching. Mm -hmm. She can only learn from reading. But then we have other viewers who go, yeah. I love watching the demonstrator do it, but I need to sit down and read it for myself. Yes. So this, you get the best of both worlds, don't you? This is great because it's a great reference for the size guides. You will be referring back at what size to cut all your fabric and yes, everything yes, without yes. watching the oh, DVD. Oh, yes, if you watch the DVD and you think, oh, did she say that was six yes. inches or eight inches? And you've got to go back because you've got it written down on there. Her, on her block, she's written <clears> the sizes down, so you can pause the video and things like that. But yeah. it's, a, it's, it, it's if you're already experienced and you don't need to watch Leone use the rulers, then this is perfect. Yes but some people are going to get a yeah, lot of, of uh, enjoyment out of watching that. And then because we've got three new um, shape templates and an, a, another template in here, there's also then um, instructions on just how to use each template oh, on what they do individually. One of the ones that I'm going to show you, the main pattern one, yeah. so many different variations that you can create depending on how you place it and which way. So that, that one template there... Yeah. We'll do all, all of these of shapes. Yep. It's a bit like, oh, you're not old enough. Spiragram. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you Absolutely. are. That's being polite. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen the picture. <laughs> um, that's fantastic. So yep. it goes through each of the ones that you each get in the there. Each of the ones in there. And then what's that one there? And then the... this one is, um, there's another tool that I'll come on to Sorry. show you. This is the Sashley Quilt tool. Oh, what, what? It's, um, Leone's called it a Sashley Quilt tool. Well, not difficult um, to say. Sashley Sashley Quilt. quilt. Um, oh, so, how funny. Because you'd expect that ruler to be curvy, yeah. wouldn't you? It's nothing to do with the pattern on there, actually. It's actually... Um, at all of how to join your block. Oh, sash. Sash. Like sash. <laughs> right, got it, got it, got it. Uh, very, um, it's a way to, so you don't have to take the westerly foot off the machine, so you can, you don't put your walking foot on, so you can actually use the westerly oh, ruler wow. to then piece it together. Yes, And yes, also, uh, you can use it to do in the ditch. So I'll, I'll you know, oh, if you were well, going to show us all yeah, this, aren't you? Uh, so I can show you yeah. that later. Brilliant. Yeah. So I'll put that in there. This, I know this is there's, yours. There's oh. also oh, yeah. um, the measuring tool in there, which, um, as as many of you will know, the foot's been designed to be a quarter of an inch from the needle to the edge of the foot. Yes. So the measure, measuring tool allows you to measure your um, patterns. But you very get that precisely. in that other one that I showed as you well. You do get it in the starter set, yeah. but I think Leone's done this because there are. Um, 
there are other ruler feet on the market and therefore if you've already got a, a ruler foot specifically for your machine then you could still buy this uh, and then you would need the measuring okay. tool. Okay and what say, what'd you say this was because I saw lots of that in, yeah, the, in the other one. The stable tape um, I, you can see here I've put little squares on the back of the ruler and they just give it some grip. Oh so it's like um, Rachel the ruler's yes, like, little, like little the, pads that are yeah, on her. Yeah absolutely so you don't need to put the whole strip on you can just cut little pieces yeah, so just and work. put them. So it's a bit like either the Rachel the ruler which already come with them yeah. or we sell little then they're, they're like little round things that we can put Lots, on your ruler or anything like that right. so, or your yeah. foot lots of people use them to put on the foot so the foot doesn't slip on oh, there. Oh okay not on the your, foot pedal. Not their foot on the foot pedal, pedal. yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so yeah. I'm putting this to one side. Okay. What are we going to show first? So I'm just going to show you the rulers that come in the kit. Right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, firstly, we get um, a new crosshair square. So um, I know in the second hour we're going to talk about we bought the crosshair square as an accessory yeah. last time, but it's an eight um, an eight lined crosshair square. Okay. And this is so this is six. So obviously the degree, this is 60 degree, and the other one would be 45 degree angle. Yeah. So this is really nice for marking. You can mark, oh, well, I'll be doing it six, and then you can turn the ruler on the guidelines and easily mark 12, uh, repetition yeah, to six, six yeah. ob obviously. Um, it's eight and a half inches wide. Um, so that's and a really everything nice Everything you're pattern. showing us now comes in this 99 yeah. pan. I know, it's really, it's really good value. Oh, have, there you go, there's a, pic, there's a picture there, look. To have all the tutorial as well, yes, uh, the DVD. But this is what I always think about when, when you get people's books, you know, it's 14 99 you think there's years' yeah. worth of knowledge gone yeah. into that book. And you, okay. So that's a what did you call? A new uh, six-point crosshair six square. Six-point crosshair yeah. square. Okay. This is the main uh, ruler. This oh, this is the one we were showing. Spin Effects 11, with its not very glamorous title. <laughs> it's good. Let's say it again. Spin Effects number 11. Oh, yes, that's that one, that's that one. <laughs> Then we have, um, this is called Hearts Are Plenty. Hearts Are Plenty. This Hearts one. Are Plenty, and it's like a continuous heart shape. Where's, oh, there's, um, you it's see, in two halves. The thing, yeah. the thing is with these rulers is that what you have here isn't what it's, no. what it's like at the end, <laughs> is it? So that's one, two Hearts Are Plenty. Hearts Are Plenty, yeah. Hearts yep. Are Plenty. Yep. Okay, next one. And this is Continuous Loop. This one actually, you can see some guidelines um, on there. So it's, um, but I've, I've got a little sample here. Yes, actually, yes, yes, we'll yes. be stitching. And then this, oh, and this, then is, the this sash, is the Sashley sash, quilt. Sash, 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 Sashley quilt that, that we. Um, she actually gets her name in. Likes to get her name in. Oh, the title. of course, yes, of course. <laughs> right. So where do we start okay. with all of this then? So um, what I've done just here on this smaller sample is I thought that I would just obviously, like we talked about, Leonie there has overlapped. Uh, the, the big ruler yes. lots of times and in different pattern forms to create lots of different patterns but I thought I'd just show you obviously how the simple shape of the pattern yeah. to begin with can you see the hearts a little bit more now across the top we've got these sort of uh, very shallow hearts all linking together and then I've just put a little... Oh, they um, look like she almost like a shield, shield heart, shape. isn't it? Yeah, yes. that's it. And I, there's a little bit of a decoration in some of that. This is the main... Uh, there's some time just on the other side, yep. just to compare it on the other side. Yeah, so I've tried to do it in a contrasting pink thread there, but it, I'm not... Oh, it is showing. That's yeah, better for the camera. Is. There you go. There you go. Because what Angie's done is she's put a, a bundle together of fabrics to, to cr if you wanted to make the f it's only the front, isn't it? The front, yeah. I worked out um, on this particular design because it is different to what's there. Right. Oh, okay. Because okay. that one's got light sashing. Do you see? Oh yes, yes, yes. So there's a couple of them. So, so the... ours is just for the blocks. It's not for the sashing. Not for the sashing. It's the three different but colours to make all and three the top. different shapes. Because then you can choose. Whether fashion. you want to go dark or light. Yeah. Um, we, we had this conversation this week because um, when we do Bargellos, I love them with a dark background, and yet the, the girls in the office all love it with a white, white background. background. Do you know what I mean? So it's, that, it's personal choice. Isn't it? so, so I've looked at this design. So where there's light, medium, dark on here, I've replicate. I've worked out the fabrics you need for light, medium, dark. And I just want to talk about, just before I do get stitching, just yeah. how to set the machine yeah. up. Um, so... One thing that we I was really excited to bring to air last time <laughs> way what behind, is, it? <laughs> is um, this free motion glider. So up until now, up until the last show, I've been having to demonstrate the Westerly rulers without this. But okay. I use this all the time. And what it, I don't even know what it is. OK, so um, they're quite expensive. Um, we were talking about this. It's, a Teflon must be an expensive um, material. It is, yes. Um, so people often think, oh, is it really worth 
the money investing in it for a bit more slippiness. And I, I have one in my classes, and then I loan it people if they want to try it. Oh, like you, you use it over and over and over again? Yeah, you use oh, it over and over again. Oh, it's not something you put on no. and then it's... Once you've invested it, it's brilliant. It's a free motion glider. Right, I'll get I'm, it out I'm of the packet. I just want them yep. to see it at home. So. <laughs> So you can, oh, you so can that's store it. So that's what it comes that's in. What it that's what you in. store it in that, yeah. And it's got a protective um, sort of brown paper, thick brown paper when layer. You, when you store it after you've used it, do you have to put that bit of paper back? Do you I, put that I bit tend paper to, back? yeah. I've kept mine and put yeah. it back on. Okay. It's already got the hole cut. Well, you see, I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, no, I see. I, so you never stitch through this? No. That, I couldn't figure out how no. you used it over and over and over but again. But that's a good point, actually, John, because I do know a lot of people have said, I've tried a Teflon baking sheet, yeah. taped down, and then I know people that it's moved when they've been quilting and they've stitched it to the back of their quilt. Yes. And it's like, right. So, um, and you will see, it's um, it's a very strange material on the back. Can you see? It's, there's no. It's, and you touch it. Yeah, but it's not sticky. Uh, it doesn't leave a residue. But can you see how grippy? Yes, it, it is. is. Now, if I put it on the edge of this table, you'll see immediately. Look. Oh look. Li literally a little press. How but tough it, that is resistant. How brilliant is that? And what happens, I think this is why it's, it's an expensive product to produce. Any dust fibres over time off your fabric yeah. stick to this, a bit like a lint yes, 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 thing. Yes, yes, yes. And it loses its tackiness. Oh, okay. All you do is give it uh, a wipe over with either a baby wipe or in a, in a bowl of soapy water, let it dry and it goes We need to do that with little Paul, don't we, to make him less tacky. So it is a bit like a reusable lint but it does make a big difference to helping the fabric yes, move when yeah. you're quilting. Um, but the thing is, if you think about it, of how much... You say £44.99, yes, it's a considered purchase, but every time you do this, you use it. So it's like when you Absolutely, buy that blouse that costs you a little bit more than a normal blouse, and you can't justify it. And you think, well, if I wear it, ten, if it's £100, every time I wear it, yeah. you know, so you can justify, I think you can justify something that. like this. What I <clears> normally <throat> say to people, uh, when I meet people at shows and things, and if they're investing in, in the start, the starter kit they've already had to spend quite a chunk yes, of money yes, yes, yes. so i say well this isn't essential you don't need it to get going no add it later when you can afford it you know, or, so or you might buy your starter kit and go oh this isn't for me yeah. and then you'll have spent your 45 pounds on this whereas if you know that you like yeah, you absolutely. you know that you love doing westerly rulers that yeah. you think it's an essential yes. now because I do it all the time. Yeah, that's it. So you can add it whenever, okay. whenever you so like. So then where does it go then? So, um, so the little hole... Are you going to use that one? Yes, I am. Because <laughs> I think this is the only one. Yeah. Uh, we're going to position this over the, over the hole of the um, needle plate so that obviously you're not going to puncture anything. Yeah. And my advice would be to just pop it in place loosely and then just get your unpicker before you press it down, bring the bottom thread up, because it's so grippy, you'll never get your get bottom thread up. Then. And I do know, if you watch Leonie's tutorials, actually, Leonie's cut a bigger square in hers, so if she wants to leave it in, in position... While she's doing normal While she's sewing. doing normal sewing, put the feed dogs up. If you did cut it into a bigger... Uh, the whole... The whole, yeah. I'm just thinking of dressmakers, now. you don't have to be a quilter. No. If you're using fabric that needs to glide through your machine Absolutely. really well... Uh, but. But yes, yeah, so, so if you cut the hole bigger, you can still use feet you, yeah. for normal sewing. Yeah. I keep saying normal sewing. <laughs> Quilt is not, uh, not not normal, do you know what I mean? But if you're doing dressmaking or some other stitching, yeah. then you could cut it big enough so it's not catchy, and you could just leave it there all the time, maybe, couldn't you? That's it. Right, okay. Yeah. Any Brilliant. other stitching but free motion, like you say, that you want the feed dogs, yeah, you can just leave yeah. it there then all the time. So okay. that's the first thing that's obviously Brilliant. Yeah, really okay. good. Normally you can just press a button, drop the foot yes. off, but then you need to unscrew the foot holder that holds your foot on and pop the uh, westerly foot on in position. Pop your foot on, on the, with the screw on the side of the shank yeah. there and just pop it on loosely. And then what you need to do is lower the foot. So if I've just put, put, put it on loosely, put the foot in the lowered position yeah. and put underneath whatever quilt. Your quilt sandwich, yeah. Because depending on what wadding you're using... Um, well, it's it, going to be different. Yes, of course it's going to be It's going to be different. Yeah. Um, so so pop do you, that would on. you move it around? If you've got a pieced quilt, would you move it around Put to the see thickest if, because where you've got part. if you've got one of those where you've got lots, lots and lots of, of seams all yeah. meeting at one point you need it to be able to glide over I have had well, people start to westerly and then they've gotten to a big seam and the and foot's not cut. high enough yeah. so I, I've set the height of that so that this will move freely yes and it's not digging in you, what you just want to do is put a ruler alongside 
and just press down on it too because if you've got a very lofty wadding when yeah. you press this if you if you you don't want it ever to slip Slide underneath, underneath, yeah. underneath so just check that that won't happen right. and then we're good to go <gasps> so that's it and then remember to tighten that up if you've only yeah, finger tightened it because yeah. they do actually um you know you can imagine the pounding they do rattle so what's what, what are we going to start so with i'm then? going to start to show you the the, the largest spin fx 11 so if yours yes. arrives this bit of tape on, don't be thinking, because I just thought that, I've yeah. just broken this because I could feel that bit was wobbly. Yeah. So it'll arrive with tape yes, on there, but you take on. that tape off. But what I would suggest, if you remove just the bottom bit of tape, because yeah. you'll need the top one to keep the gate in position yeah. when you're stitching. So only remove the bottom one uh, full time. And then if like. that, yes, and then if you need to move it during, you just take the tape take off, the tape take the gate off. out, move along, put it back, put the tape That's back right. on. That's right, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use our crosshair, the new crosshair that came in the in the uh, in this fantastic kit. I'm just going to find, just put this in the centre. And oh, hang on, so this doesn't go on your machine. This no. is a ruler. ruler. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is for me to get an accurate um, six-pointed. Oh, that was going to be like, my next question: is how do you know where where yeah. to put the thing? You know. <laughs> okay. Okay. On the ruler, we've got a centre point that we can mark. I'm going to get rid of that lid because it's not fitting. Obviously, your choice of, um, depending on what fabric you're using or what pens you want the pen to remove, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I can mark the six points. Now, these grooves are quite wide, so you have to just, depending on the pen or the tool you're using, just make sure you get it as central as possible yes. in the groove. Um, I often use... Um, the other thing I like to use is the very fine mechanical Oh, yes, we love those, the pencils. mechanical pencils. Yeah, but we've got those on our website. I thought this would just show better. Show better, yeah. Um, it's so you just plonk pen. that ruler in the middle well, just for demonstration. Yes. But you, you put it precisely exactly if where If you were you doing want. one of these patterns, yeah. you'd find the centre. Yes. Um, yeah. So, But it's very quick then to, to pop, pop that in, draw six. Yeah. Now, I want 12. So what you can see, I've got these are the guidelines. Yeah. So then I can turn them. Oh, it's like your rotating cutting mat. Over the top. And then of, you match that line with your guideline there. Pop it over the ones that you've drawn. Oh. And then you can very, very quickly. Yeah. Um, it's like anything, isn't it? You could do this with a normal ruler, but it would take you a lot longer to work all the angles. And this is free. Out. This comes free in the kit. This, this one, one does. It? Yeah. Can I take that yes, off? Yes, you can take so it can off. Can you see that at home? Oh, yeah. Perfect. If you do embroidery or something like that, you could use this ruler for other... It doesn't... It's not exclusive. No. I mean, no, it's exclusive to Leone, but it's as a ruler... Yeah. Like, remember when we did um, Valentine's cards and things like yes. that? You could do Christmas stars and all sorts yeah. of things you do embroidery. Absolutely. Anyway, yeah. I won't... I'll, I'll and on the edge of this um, template, obviously, here at the edge, I just use half of it to draw three. Oh, yes, you know, yes, you yes, can, yes. You can position three like that, or you could put it like that and have, have four, four off the edge. So I'm going right. to bring my thread up right in the centre <coughs> because me. the whole of this pattern just revolves around the centre point. Okay. So just like if you've never done free motion before, um, this is how you would first set up any free motion. You bring your bottom thread through the fabric to, okay. to the did top. Did you do like a locking stitch then? I just did needle up, needle oh, down. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Then right. lower the foot again. Yeah. Now you can do a couple of stitches just on the spot just to make sure. Right. Um, I did mean to put my ruler in before I, I did say, that. I was going to say there's no ruler in there. What are you going to do? But now this is, this is I can show you the gate now. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I, hang hang I could have put that in position, but now... Um, well, we're just looking at the gate here. So we're taking one layer of tape off. Taking the one layer of yeah. tape off, which we'll need to replace. Yeah. Take the back one off. Which is the one you say take off anyway, isn't it? And then you can oh, pop this yeah. in. The gate comes out. We can pop this back in. So I've got it lined up. We've got um, a guideline at the back that's keeping me on centre there. We've got yeah. our central line here. And then we're just going to, if I can find my foot pedal, um, stitch around this pattern. So then you're guiding it round the outside. Yeah. The machine's not, the mach all the machine's doing is stitching up and down, up and down, isn't yep. it? So what, you're, what you're wanting to do is put enough pressure down on the ruler, if I show you with another one. Yeah. Um, so that the fabric will move with the ruler. You want to put enough there. pressure on the ruler that it will move with the fabric. Right. But not too much that you're fighting yes. against it and you're going to get very sore. Or if you don't put quite enough, that it will slip. So as you can see now, I'm just pressing down a little bit, trying yeah. to spread the, distribute the pressure around the ruler. And the beauty is, um, like normal free motion, I wouldn't be able to just stop. 
and chat. Uh, and now with quilt as you go, it won't be so much of a problem because you'll be the biggest block you're going to work on is kind of one of the horizontal ones. So, so, so you can, you, you know, it's not an issue. But if you were quilting a whole top, the yes. idea with the ruler work is that you don't have to then turn. So the when quilt. you've made this, yes, have you done it like quilt as you go? You quilted each block. Yes. No, I know you haven't made this yep. one, but, but it if is. you were making this one, you would make that block and yes. quilt it. Yep. before it was attached to any of the others. That's right. So the biggest the biggest is one it, you're going to be using, is it that one? That, probably that one, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's, it's brilliant. It's manageable. Because if you'd had to make a quilt like that oh, and then so you were twisting heavy. it round and everything, would yeah. that... Okay. So, so you've done that thing so and then you're moving the your ruler, right? Leave, I leave my um, material where it is, even though I could turn it yeah. if I wanted to, and I'm moving to... I'm going to go to the next... Not the next one, but, but the, the next, the next, the next other one. one. Yeah, to yeah. so that, so... And we go round this again. Just make sure that my gates need a longer bit of tape, really, on the gate. Oh, right. I call it civilised quilting. No, it is, isn't it? <laughs> so what were you saying earlier? If you were doing normal without the ruler, you wouldn't be able to stop and chat to me? No, because it's so, you know, yeah. you're having to concentrate so much. Also, and the reason I thought it was very reasonably priced, if you I didn't do. have this and you had to send it out, yes, or you had to buy one of those machines, they're like twelve and a half thousand pounds, aren't they? Some of them. A big long arm quilter, anything sort of from eight to twenty, yeah, I'd say. Yeah. Um, but like you say, if you're sending your quilts away as well, uh, a you're not getting the satisfaction of finishing no. something yourself. And also um, you're not in control of they're about you're not in control. Like this, you're in totally in control of it because you can go, oh, actually, I only want single petals on this one or whatever. Yes. Yeah. If you've sent it off and said, oh, do all those double petals, and it comes back and it's got all double petals on it, you're like, oh, I didn't want it. Like, you know what I mean? You're in complete control, control. of your finished look, aren't you? You've side? designed the top, so then you can yes. design the quilting too. And I've actually found the more over the last sort of 18 months that I've been really... Uh, Westerly's taken over my life, really. I absolutely love ruler work. Yeah. Um, I'm now choosing plain fabrics for my quilts. Oh, oh yeah. Because if you put a lot of effort into the quilting and then you get so disappointed that you can't see it. You're making it look very simple. Is it because is it you're very experienced? Um, well, obviously, I've done it a little bit, yeah. but it is much easier with the glider. Yeah. <laughs> but it is quite, you know... But But... Um, no, it no, is, no, it is far easier than uh, mastering but all, free but, motion. No, but the thing is, if you were doing free motion now, all of those petals would be different shapes. No matter exactly. how good you are, all there's, of those petals would be different shapes. It's kind of like, I think, a time and a place for each. Each has its um, oh, yeah. place. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm not saying you shouldn't do free, mo free motion, but I, I, if you're making a beautiful central like that, if you have one of those petals slightly off, It'll notice, whereas yeah. this, you're getting like a perfect finish. Absolutely. But and you're still the joy of doing it yourself. OK, so we've got our six petals all with the fat end pointing out. And now if I flip the ruler, I'm just going to, not even removing it. Yes. I'm going to stitch the other six now. We're talking about the variations. So oh, depending yes. Depending if you've got, this is four with points out. All with points out. And that's with the, um, that's just turning that on its side. But look how different it looks yes. rather than having the, the. So now on here, oh, there, there, that's, that's, what, I'm, that's yes. what I'm saying, isn't yeah. it? That's what I was just saying. So if you didn't turn the rule around, and it creates, you'd just have a really lovely, like, dahlia, wouldn't that you? That creates a different pattern in the centre to what this one will create. So now I'm just going around to those other points. I'll pop a couple in and then we can, uh, if we're. Yeah, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. Um, while you're stitching ruler. that, I just want to show you... But that's everything you get for £99.99. And, £99. and then look at that, there's everything there. The three booklets, the DVD, the bag itself, all the rulers, the sticky thingy, thingy, sticky tape. Stable tape. <laughs> oh, I loved it. I loved it. This is, this is <laughs> overtaking my love of an embroidery machine now. I love an embroidery machine. Well, you said the, the beauty of this is that you can make it, un it's unique to you, isn't it? It's how, although it's a template, it's how you use it, how yes, you choose exactly. to use it. So. Now, if we weren't here, if we weren't on telly, if you were in your studio at home, yep. would you be going this slowly? Yes. Because we're, we're loving the calmness of Abs it. That's why I call it civilised quilt. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so I'd put the needle down and back up and bring the bottom thread up. Oh, so it's ready to go with the next one. And then I'd tie those in. Yeah. 
so then bring those through and then you can tie those off and they're on the same spot. Can you see the, there's, there's like a daisy in the middle of that. There's like a double, two, two or three different flowers in the middle of that actually compared to how yes, the yes, other yes, way. Yeah. If you'd have done them all the same way, it gave a different pattern. That is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Now. And as I put on here, we can see if we use it, you know, with just three petals. Uh, I think one of the patterns on the quilt actually. Oh, yeah, yes. Well, you've got three there. Three haven't you? Just, in a can row. you see that at home on that one? Oh, yes, look. I, the thing is, I'd want, I'd want more fussiness. I want more, I want more than three more, petals. Can you see there's one of the blocks with three? Just, just where your arm is there. Oh, in a row. Yeah, in a row. So you can use it in borders. Think about, you know, yes. for not just this quilt, but in borders too. What's the next thing we're going to do? Because we've done the flat, the flower in the centre. I'm going to do the continuous hearts Okay, next. that was just incredible. From something so simple, to make that incredible flower from the middle. Yeah. And if you think, wondering what I'm talking about, you can catch up on YouTube or you can catch up on, um, on Sky when we're repeated later on to see what we're talking about. So what are you going to do next? Sam? Well, I was, I was just thinking, do you know how to pronounce, um, Leone's named the quilt. Continuum. Contin is it continuum? That's what I would say, I'd say that. Continuum. I'm, I haven't got my glasses on, but it could say something completely but different. But then it's just W. -M. Yeah, that's Latin. Oh, OK, that is continuum. Because I, I know so. the word continuum. OK, if you go at home, C-O-N-T-I-N-U-U-M. <laughs> that's the name of the quilt. There you go. Yes. This is the Hearts of Plenty template right. that you get which stitches out this Ooh. kind of, as you, as you said, it's more like, it's like a shield shape heart. This, this is a, a, an extra bit of detail that Leonid add, Leonie's added and you just use a little part of the ruler. So um, it's actually a, uh, does it say on here? It doesn't say on here, it says in the instructions. It's um, a two inch by four inch. That's the other thing with um, the rulers. This looks huge, Yes, it? yes, yes. But it stitches out a two inch by, a four inch by two inch heart. So what's this bit for here? So though? that's what I'm going to show you because it's quite difficult to see as well with or we appreciate when the foot's down yes. under the machine. And often now when I'm, as I say, I'm, when I'm designing with rulers, um, I often work on paper first. They're called stitching line discs, eight piece set for use with Wesley, VQPF 57. That's it, that's, that's it. it. Just want to make sure we get you the right things, that's all. Because so, little Paul up says can't see what I'm holding here, that's all. Right, sorry. so what are you saying? The stitching line discs are a great tool. So I'm just going to draw. We said that the heart is two inches by four yes, inches. Yeah. So I'm just going to mark, like I have on my fabric, two guidelines. I don't is the, that's good for yeah, the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right in the So right you can see on the template, it's a bit hard to see white on white, but there are guidelines. I just oh, yes, yes, that, like inch wide guidelines. At the bottom, there's a, a line there and a line at the top. Yeah. Yeah, there and there, the base of the heart and at the top of the heart. And I can line that up on the paper. Okay. Okay. Now, if I was to trace this just with this now, obviously it's not going to give me the correct shape. Sorry, I'm, I'm listening. That's Sorry. okay. It's not going to give me the correct shape because no, no. my foot, my needle is a quarter, quarter of an, of an inch, inch in. away from your so circle. So these thing. fantastic little discs, they're all the same. They're all half inch discs, but they've got different apertures. So it tells you to go from one to two and Move then three. Move the ruler and then you three do to the four. next one. So this is a good way we I've can worked, see I've how used to do it. How to use that, so, yeah. Has it got numbers on the thing then? Not on this one. Some of the rulers do. So I use the, this um, stitching line disc to replicate the width of the foot. So I've gone to there. So that's how big it will be on your quilt. Yeah. And then what you would do, obviously, then is move the ruler. Your, yeah. your needle stays in position. Of course. To there. Oh, I see now. You see. You check your guidelines are all lining up. Yeah. And how much, how much are these then, these little 5 99 they are? Oh, I see. So that's how you create, that's how you create. the bigger lines as well. Yep. So then it just moves along. So if I put that back in position, then I would stitch this one. And then move. Do you know what? That's this brilliant one. just for artwork as well. You know what I mean? If you're an artistic kind of person, you do quilting and drawing and all sorts, yeah. like, like say design work, it doesn't have to be for a quilt, does it? It can no. be for anything, so really. It's making the shape. And what you've got here is you've got these guidelines here in the middle. They're not just to make the ruler work yes. wide. Can you see the guidelines here and here? Oh, they're yes. so that you, you make sure that then they're going to just kiss 
Yes. Um, because, you know, you can get the ruler slightly in the incorrect place. Okay, I might ask a really silly question now. Yeah. Why has the ruler got a scalloped top? Ah, well, that is so that you can create another border oh, as well. So it's two word. rulers, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm lining that up yeah. across there. And then that will allow these all to be in just the right place. <gasps> see how it's... Oh, I love it. Yeah. So I've just stitched a couple of them. But from where we are now, I just brought my thread up there and I've stitched two of them. But now I can, uh, I'm just showing you, I can yeah. switch the ruler across. So I'm just checking now my guidelines. Um, I don't know if the camera can see that, um, but you can see the guidelines better now. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we can see it perfectly. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're putting it over the top of the yellow thread and yeah. I've got my center line there as well. And then, then you just check that because the fabric can squidge around, you check that you've got your um, top line as well. Yeah. And then we can just go on the next. So you're stitching half of the heart at a time. Yeah. There's also guidelines on the ruler where you can stop where the hearts cross to make, um, if you didn't want to stitch all the way down, can you right. see where that point is there? There's actually a guideline there. Right. So if you wanted to stop stitching at that point oh, in the border. Oh, yes, 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 I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. That you've, there's a guideline for that as well. So You have to buy the starter kit before you start any of you it. Need the foot. Because you need the foot. Mm -hmm. And then once you've got the foot, you can then buy any of the Westerly rulers to Next go with one. it. So today, if it's your very, very first day, buy the starter kit. I mean, you can buy both if you wanted to, but if you're just starting, yeah. just buy the starter kit and then get move on to this one. That's what I'd say, yes? Yes. Because the starter kit, you can just practice with them all and then move on to this one. I'm just going to pop another one in and then I can show you, if you like, how to do the little... Um, what, what would you call it? An embellishment. Uh, what Leonie's done in just... Oh, I'll just take that out so you can see it, shall yes, I? Yes, that would yeah. be a good thing. So that, we just did that, chatting. <laughs> see, it looks gorgeous just on its own, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. You see, I'd almost want... I could almost see that going... Well, Evie could do another row joining. Yes, yes, Then you yes. would get these diamonds in the middle. Yeah, so yeah. this is why you can start yeah. playing around with your own bespoke designs then. It's really yeah. nice. Okay, so what were you going to say then, if you want to do um, what? Leone's um, little embellishment in here, she literally, she's on the tutorial, um, this is hooked... On the D, when you say tutorial, the on the DVD, On the DVD, yeah. yeah. So that's sitting there, and she literally just swivels the ruler yeah. so that it's kissing that cross line as a reference point. Yeah, yeah. And so then she would stitch to here, because it'd be a quarter of an inch of away, course. and back. And then she twists it to stitch, touch the, the line you've just stitched, Yeah. and it swivels back. So oh, yes, because they're all going to the same point yeah, on the... On, this is what we're talking about here. Is so each time it goes to the bottom, it goes to the same point, but you just move the ruler all around All you're slightly. doing is using a curve of the ruler yeah. to then... You don't have to use the whole part of the ruler. So in, in this bundle, I've got this... In the, not even a bundle, in the actual kit. You get this, you get this, you get that the one, one we did earlier. We're going to do this one now. Right, we're going to do this one now, because I was going to say, we've got all of this and this to go through yet as well. <laughs> yep. But it's fascinating. I don't want to rush, 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 but we just no, need to... Um... I'm just going to do a little bit of that now. Yeah. So this is a little two-inch um, continuous... What does loop. that make on here, then, this? Yep. Again, we've got our guidelines on here. Yeah. Um, and I've drawn just a, a two-inch guideline, just so I can keep that lined up. Yeah. On your fabric. You've on drawn my fabric, yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Um, this is a really sweet little ruler, actually. It's quite quite a nice little one to hold. Some of them are, feel nice to hold, you know yes. what I mean? So you stitch round to those points and then again shift the ruler along. Oh, and it and now, it Can I see now, the guidelines now sit over the top of the one you've just stitched? Oh, how fantastic. So you've got a double check. You check the lines there and there, yeah. but also if those are over the top of what you've just stitched, then that's, that's to going to be in And because of the place. nature of it and everything, it just all matches just up all, perfectly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's enough of those. Is that now, enough of those? Are you yep. bored of that one now? Just lift it up so I can just show. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not bored. I'm not bored. I'm just worried about getting it all in, that's all. Well, there's not so much to stitch out in the other bit, so no. we're, no, no, we're, no, no, we're no, no. fine. The, the, the patterns are the most important. OK, and what's the, other, what's the other... The only other thing... Not the mm. only. All this that comes in that time. This is the sashing one, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, so this is um, a sashly quilt, or uh, look, what Leonie's called in her Lineworks range. And um, it's a way of joining your 
if you've never done quilt as you go before or you've seen you've, we've, it's a bit similar to the um the june taylor quilt as you go how you join the sashing. yes yes yeah so then you'd have to put your walking foot on to do that so i've got a couple of squares here right just to demonstrate how this would work right so because Leonie's obviously so addicted to ruler work, she doesn't ever want to take her um, westerly foot off <laughs> and put her feed dogs up. So she's designed a way that she can actually um, quilt, do the joining. Yes. So we're pretending this is one of those blocks mm -hmm. and that's another of those blocks and yep. we're ready to make our finished that's quilt. That's right. And, <coughs> yeah. and I've done it to these sizes. So this is only a half inch um, sashing. And so, therefore, these blocks were six-inch blocks, and I've cut them down. They've got an extra quarter of an inch. Right. So it's a six-and-a-half-inch block. Okay. Because when they go together, that's going to get give you your half-inch yes. um, sashing. Okay. okay. I don't know which side's better for camera, actually, whether it matters. So your top sashing I've cut at one inch. Right. That's allowing your quarter-inch seam either side. Right. The bottom sashing, um, Leone suggests to cut it at one-and-a-quarter. You could cut this at one inch as well, but it's not giving yeah, you much to, to, to tie under. Yeah. You can use your glue pen glue available pen. on the website. Yeah. It don't worry, it dries clear. Pop a bit of glue on there and just put pop that in place. Mm. And then on the reverse at the same time, you're going to put on your yeah. lot the oh, wider again, using glue, yeah. back strip. Okay. Okay. I've stolen that. That's been sent out to someone. No, these are all <laughs> yours, don't worry. OK. And now you would have to take the foot off and put your walking foot on. Yes. And, and so, so a quarter of an, an inch yeah. seam. So the, um, <laughs> the Sashley quilt has got... It's very difficult to see. Let me pop it on. Not Is it plain better fabric. on this blue? Oh, I was going to say, yeah, go on. Oh, go on. That's good. Can you see that better, yeah. Michael, if I do that? So we've got, um, obviously, the quarter-inch markings where your needle will be. Yeah. But you can see half-inch. Oh, I was going to say what happens mm. if you want wider sashing. So you yeah. can do up to three inches on here. So, right. um, you know, a three-inch sashing. Okay. So then we can align this. We're doing half-inch sashing. Yeah. So I'm using the half-inch line to align with the edge of the fabric. And then I can pop this directly underneath. Just going to bring my bottom thread up just the way you would normally because yeah. it is still free motion mustn't forget that it's free motion even though it's yeah <laughs> because we we're all set up we've got our glider on yeah. um you know we've got the foot on and we just want to carry on yeah. really so i'm just going to hold on to those i'm lining the sashley quilt ruler up to the edge of my sashing there which is the edge of everything yeah and then i can just stitch oh so then stop yeah Move and what it does it's, oh. it's a great way although you've got the straight line ruler in the starter set this is also an alternative yeah, great yeah, yeah. No, this straight is line ruler because you're not going to go off you know where can you go you can't you can't go anywhere but it also straight. means like Leonie says you don't because if you were doing that normally you'd have to change it you, you'd put your walking foot on you'd have yeah. to get change and All take this off take that, where is it you just carry on so you can carry sash on. as you go if you want to couldn't you yeah so then this would um you would press these over yeah, but i tend to just finger press yeah. uh and then you join this one <laughs> <laughs> So I have to do that to remind myself which way this goes. Yeah. So then you would right sides together. So we do exactly the same. I'm going to try not to glue that, but you could pop a bit of glue or a couple yeah. of pins on there. And shall I just quickly try and go down that? If you want to, edge? or do you want to move on, just explain it by hand. Do you think that'll be yeah, okay? Yeah, no, just explain it by the same. In fact, if I've got a couple of pins that I can pop Rather, in. Rather, because I know I, I don't want to miss out on any other things as well, but... I can always come back yeah. to it if we've... Um, got time. If we have time. So stitch down the other side. Yeah. And then that would give you your... Of course. ...lovely... Sashing. Sashing. And, and then, then on the other side... Um, you bring that. Bring this, and, and then you've got enough. You'd have a line of stitching at a quarter yeah. inch, but it gives you, you know, a little bit extra to be able to tuck that in and hand stitch, slip stitch down to create your... Brilliant. To attach them. See, in here, you've got, all the you've got, a, you've got, a, no, you've got yours there. Um, 
Have I? Yeah, look, I tied it oh. up as we went along. Did you? You obviously, <laughs> if you've got these, they live in, live in there. But if you buy your starter kit, then very much like your, um, you know, the creative... Oh, there you go. We've I don't want to the muddle them up then. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So I'll put that there. That's so this okay. is a little ruler rack. So if not... Because I was going to say, because these come already in this lovely little um, bag, don't they? But if you've bought the starter kit with all of these other rulers in... They can go sideways or anywhere. Yeah, anywhere which way you want them to. Like... So it's like, it's like uh, you know, the little uh, ruler we do, uh, the ruler rack we do for... Um, yeah, for creative your quilting, grids. For your quilting yeah. rulers. Yeah. But how okay. fa fantastic is that? <laughs> it's just, it's obviously just that you just get this. You just get this. You don't get all the rulers with it, right? <laughs> and then the next thing is staple tape, which is what you've seen Angie using all along, just to put on the bottom of the feet, just to stop the, they like create like a Rachel the ruler non-slippy bit, it from they? slipping, yeah. Can we, do you want to do this one as well while I'm here? This is called an adder handle yeah, to any ruler or template. We rushed that actually at the last, at the end of oh, the did last you? show. Well, just show it while we're standing here, yeah, then we can carry on with feet in a second. We've run out of time actually. Should I open, do I open it? Yep. Okay, so there's lots of different um, sizes in here. Now, um, when you're holding the rulers, obviously, um, we try and keep our hands nice and flat. But, you know, depending on if you've got maybe not so good dexterity in mm. your hands and you struggle to hold the rulers, these are an alternative way of holding the ruler. Um, and they've been very nicely designed that actually when your fingers just sit in them, can you see, I've not even... Oh! Yes. That's just actually my, you know, I'm able to lift that with just my fingers stuck. You try. <laughs> yeah. So your fingers just sit nicely. Oh, in them. I, but yeah. Even my big fat sausage fingers. So, so you peel off. You ooh, can ooh. peel that off. Oh, whatever you do, don't peel it off. They said. <laughs> you just go back on. <laughs> yeah. You put it back up. So you stick it to your ruler. So you can stick them on a ruler. Next one we want to talk about is this ruler. Because mm -hmm. we mentioned it earlier, because you get this, a smaller version in this, but that was a six. Six point, prong, yeah, it's not another one. And this is an eight. Prong. So this is a ruler of its... So anybody, you could buy this even if you didn't do westerly, wouldn't you? From when I've demonstrated this sampler set before, we've yeah. got two of these in here, which are the spin effects. Right. You know, we've just done spin effects 11. Yeah. This is spin effects number four, and this one's <laughs> spin effects number 36. Okay. Okay, and these obviously are the, working the same principle that you stitch a petal shape and then they pivot. Right. Uh, on a pin, these ones do. Oh, okay. Uh, on, a, on a central point. And this is a sample of the kind of thing. Oh, you just happen to have one there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. So these have all been done just so, with this and that, two these rulers. are in the sample. start sample yeah, the, set, which you get in the set. these yeah. you get in the in the with sample the set. But where would you use this then? And then with this those? is really key because, you, as you can see, this is either an eight-pointed flower, this is an eight-pointed flower, oh, this is four-pointed. So very easy. So you did exactly the same exactly as you did before. Same. A mark. Mark, you, yeah. mark you, well, there's four, it was... Eight on this one. Eight so on it's, this one. these are 45 degree. Um, oh, sorry, did I have it the wrong way up? Yeah. What's, why is this, what's this for then? I don't know, actually. I think it's just to keep it stable. Oh, no, but also yours, route, that but you didn't mean press. to stay flat, whereas yeah, my way it was lifting yeah, above, it was yeah. lifting. Uh, but also you've oh, got yeah, your... Oh, yeah, So if you had a block like we have on the wall there... Like Lucy's uh, wonky star block. Yeah, so what's really um, perfect about this is, even if your block isn't exactly six inches or eight inches it could be six and a quarter or yes. whatever it's very easy with these guidelines to hold that up to a block and be able to find the center yes are you with me yes, so yes, you yes, can yeah. find the center of a block pop your center mark in mark your eight guides and then exactly the same way you've got these guidelines then you can spin it around and mark another eight rotation okay, we'll do this first little rotation bob bob yeah can we do those? Have we got those in? Oh, we'll put them, now, Paul, were these in stock? Yeah, They're quilting know. made ease. No, they weren't in Echo stock. Echo bobs. Ignore that. Because that, that, that was something I was going to stick Yeah, that's how... <laughs> Where have they... Oh, they're on the table over there. Yeah, I've got the feathers now. I'll bring, shall I bring them over here? Well, you talk about those and I'll get the other things. <laughs> OK. This is just an alternative to uh, the crosshair square, basically. Oh, OK. So, um, as we were talking earlier about... We appreciate that these... Westerly is a bit of an investment. You might not be able to afford to buy everything at once. No, so you're no, going to add. Um, and I must admit, to a bit like the glider, I was thinking, 
can I afford to spend that much money on a little slippery mat, even though now I wouldn't be without it? Yes. I did exactly the same with this crosshair. Right. So I thought, that's a bit of a bit pricey. Yeah. Um, this is an alternative. Okay. Um, but it's also quite portable. So I've I've got both actually now because yeah. if you you know if you if you want something more portable. So um, what this does if Do you want me to move that one away. Yet, so these little rotation bobs, you can see they've got twelve. You, you get both in the packet. You, yes. You the packet. Yeah. Oh, so you get both of them in the packet. Both of right. those in yep. the packet. Yep. And one's got twelve rotations on. So a bit yep. like our six crosshair ruler yeah, yeah. and this is 16 oh, okay. so this is an eight pointed ruler yeah so what you can do here is quite easily again you would find find the center of your block and you can mark these however many you don't have to mark all 12 oh, i was gonna say you might not want 12 you could you? just mark every other one yeah um and what you would need to do then though is because they're so short yes then you would take your but if you if you do quilting, quilting you're going to have a quilting yeah, ruler anyway absolutely aren't you? and then so you could extend them to the length that you want the them length to be. that you want these are brilliant for whether you've got westerlies or if you haven't like got all westerly. the cross hairs like, it's, yeah it's, like it's that one and the one they're a marking tool and yeah. also look at that i know what you just said the, this ruler was 49 pounds wasn't it the big square ruler oh 39.99 40 pounds yeah, yeah 40 pounds if you don't, if you don't thinking, oh, I'm not going to splash yeah, out forty pounds just yet. Yes. These are thirteen nine ten, and you get the, the two. two. Yeah. You get the two, so you can do it. You just you need your quilting the six and the eight together. rotations. Oh, that's that because, that's lovely yeah. that she's thought so of that, yeah, isn't it? That's it. Brilliant. That's, that's that. Nice. Now, now I need you to talk through what I've got here. I've got feathers, okay. and I've got miniature Baptist fan, and I've got circle wheels. On. Right. So, can we talk? Do you want to do feathers next, Paul? What's what's this then? What's the, what are these? These are if I you've have, already. I didn't grab my. I've, they're they're out the door. Oh well, I don't. <laughs> I have got a feather sample actually. Um, oh, let's get um, Neil to get them for us. They're all, they're on the floor actually, just in a, in a pile. Um, what where you were prepping? Is he there, uh, Paul? By where we by you by where we sat this morning. Okay, we'll yeah. start talking about it and then we can get the. Um... <laughs> so, oh, by my by my desk. Yeah. Yeah. On the edge of there, they're all on the floor. They're all about this size. There's yeah, a pile they're of about that, that big. Yeah. <laughs> so feathers. Um, these are great if you're a little. They're not as. They're not the e. You know, they're not one of. I wouldn't start with feathers. Right. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. But it's good to say yeah. that because somebody might go, oh, I like feathers. I, I, and then I know. I know what would happen. Shimoy Mary, my friend Shimoy Mary, loves angels and things like that. She'd jump in there and go, oh, I'm going to have the feathers. And it's good to say, don't start yeah, with feathers. I actually do a, a whole day class just on feathers. Are these yourself? Um, no. There's a pile like that. <laughs> no, they're bags, Thank you. Neil. <laughs> Right. He did say to me this morning, yeah. he's been very attentive, but he said, I know oh. nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, so this really, I don't know if you That's can you see on there. So you've got, I'm just trying to see on here the sizes. You get two, three, four and five inch. This is what I was saying about if you've got a small throated machine, when you're stitching this side of the feather, you know, this could start hit, yeah. hitting, but you just stitch Do it that, that way. way. And as you, as you can see, you stitch at one side, a bit like we did with the hearts, you stitch one side marked on a centre line, guy, you know, yes. lined oh, up on the centre. Oh, and then you the move center. that over. And to then you move it over. It's okay, so again, side. these go low and high shanks. You have to choose, so, oh, wow. So what you can do, um, say with this one, I've only used one size ruler. Yes. But you can see I've got some coming in and going out from the centre. Yeah. And that's depending on whether you, if you line it up on the centre, you'll get the biggest swing that you can. If you come in, if you position this on the centre, you'll get a more squat little Oh, feather. yeah. So you can so, use these lines yeah, as your centre line. So the centre line would make it the perfectly even. Yeah, so you could have, you've started off here, I've got them all the same. Yeah. Yeah. So if you keep it all on the centre, you'll get yeah. a, a four-inch yes. uh, feather yeah. border. And then using the same template, you can come in and add oh, it on the guides. Oh, I see. Uh, when you stitch these, sorry, I should say, you stitch one side and then the other right. equally. Oh, okay. On a curve, you work one side on its own. Right. And then you go back and I work see why this side. isn't a yeah. beginner one, yeah. So that's why I always start on paper with feathers. I love that one. So you've done a cross hatch. I with the a cross hatch is so simple, but it looks fabulous against anything oh. curvy, doesn't it? Yes, yes. So I've just done this to show that you could that actually use... That is gorgeous. I love that one. So that's all... That is that feathers as well? This then? is actually some alternative things that I've done with feathers that you wouldn't think of. Oh. <laughs> so I've made some hearts. Um, you can either make um, very traditional hearts yeah. or these curvier ones. And that's still using these? Yep. 
I've even done these like these are hearts over the top of each other, creating petals. But that that makes it look that looks completely different, completely doesn't different, it? Now, yeah, but you can see, I can you see, can see now the heart. Yes, now but I pointed them out. I've got circles on quilts wreath template set next. Ta-da! Oh, that's my <laughs> sooner said than done. Again, a high shank and a low shank. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yep, high shank. So, yep. Oh. So you wow. only get four templates. Right. But, but this one. I yeah. flipped it the other way around. Yeah, this is circles on quilt wreath. Do you see what we did this morning with this one, how we stitched it pointy end out, yeah, pointy end in? technical term. Yeah, so this one is the one you get, and if you put the points in... So completely, so from one template, yeah, you get those two those completely two. different There's four pictures. templates in the packet, so you get these four wreaths. And then, oh, we're going to have a couple of minutes left at this rate. I've then got a miniature Baptist, but I've only got it in one size. Have we got it in two sizes? We've, okay, okay. we've got it in two sizes. So what I'll do is, I'll, which one are you bringing in first? Right, okay, that's this one. So what is a miniature Baptist fan? People love mini Baptist fan. Oh, it's like um, clamshells. Yeah. But um, lots of repeats. So all of these can be done from this? Yes. So basically the ruler's um, stitch, I think it's from, that does say it on the packet, a quarter of an inch to two and a quarter. Is it? Yeah. Jump on my glasses. <laughs> oh, <laughs> two glasses, John. A <laughs> uh, quarter of an inch to, to two, two and, and a quarter, quarter. inches with yeah. a quarter inch spacing. Okay. So if you stitch all of them, yeah. you will get this full on effect. Right. Because it's from a quarter of an inch to two ha, and But a this is really weird, right? So they've put one quarter of an inch written like we would write one quarter of an inch, and then spacing from 0.25 and decimal. an inch to 2.25 and a an inch. A mixture of decimal So, so if you use the ruler and use every single line every single on it, one, you get this, you get this pattern. What I've done here is just chosen to use like um, the inch one, maybe an inch and a quarter and a two and a quarter. You can actually, from the template shape, do a whole half a circle, yeah. if that uh, makes just sense. Just bringing the graphics here, we haven't actually got the high one here, but it's exactly the same, just for the high shank. Does that, can you see there's like, you can do a full, if I show you the template, it will make more sense, because you can actually stitch um, all the way around like a half circle. This would be your baseline. Right. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, you've only done only like done a, quarter a quarter of a circle, yeah. but you can actually do a complete, like here. Half circles. Like, like records, old-fashioned records on yeah. top of each other. And it's very, and this is very like Sashiko, isn't it? Like yeah, the it's waves kind of, of a, Sashiko, a yeah. Sashiko. Especially that one, yeah. Not Sashiko, Sashiko. Sashiko pattern. Um, oh, and really, really, really good in instructions. Again, you get detailed sort of illustrations of which way to stitch and how to position. Because this looks totally bizarre. Some of the rulers look totally no, bizarre, don't well, they? If you looked at those and didn't understand it, you'd think, well, yeah. I don't know what that makes But again, all. you can get this under the foot without breaking your thread. Yes. Um, and then, like you say, you can, you can... What you do with this is you stitch all the way around one side of the template. Yeah. And then you move down and stitch back. So you actually stitch two lines. That would be that one. That, yeah, but you stitch two lines at once. Are you with me? So although you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You only do it four times. It's just four rulers because each one has got oh, two. Oh yes, sides I've got it. I've got it. Got it. So yeah. each ruler has two different sizes, two sizes on it. In yes. It, yeah. So that's how you can do so many. Depending two on and a half to two and a quarter. I mean, not sorry, two and a half. Quarter to two and a quarter. Yeah, depending with only on if you're rulers. aligned on the centre one or the outer side of the curve. So you just choose, if you're doing singular, mm -hmm. you, you just, just choose which switch, of the two you which want. Which measurement? Yeah. I know what we should do very it's, quickly because we've like only got saying, we've only got three minutes. If you love feathers, you'll buy feathers. I love circles, so. But I also, thought... we haven't gone through what you actually get in the. Uh, do we go through what you get in the starter kit? Sampler set. We haven't completely. Set, no, didn't we, we could do that. Just very because we've only got a couple yeah. of minutes, haven't we? I've got them out. Oh, you've got them out. Yeah. Again, if you've just joined us, thinking, I don't know if I'm low shank or high shank or medium shank or special shank. That's a bit plain. Ring the call centre with your um, machine make and your machine model number, and they'll be able to... And what difference is it? It's just a measurement from 
So, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what's doing because I'm bound to get it wrong, but it's a measurement, isn't it, from... When the foot's lowered, just your shank with nothing on, yeah. it's the measurement between the bottom of that piece of metal and the bed of your machine. OK. It's either, go it's either going to be half an inch or an inch. The medium shank is for machines. You know, some of the machines have a hover, the very yes, super-duper electronic machines. And um, because of that hover, it's just got a little bit extra built in. OK, the, for perfect. The, for machines with the hover. All of these are what you get. If you buy the, 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 the there that's up there for 129 uh, 95 you get all of these rulers you also get the foot which is essential yep put it somewhere it's on the machine oh no that because <laughs> these are your yeah it's on the machine the foot that's on the machine you also get that straight or uh, the kind of um that, that ruler in there. So that's, this is your starter. It looks really boring, but you yes. can do so much, so with, much that. with that. And you will keep doing sort of all your straight line work. Yep. And um, yeah, you can do loads with that and the measuring. So on the left hand side, you've got the foot, the measurer, that ruler, and the sticky stabilizer tape. And all you get all of this on the right hand side one, two, three, four, five. What's that? Um, two dots and a the pins are for the spin effects. You know, we talked about the spin oh, effects. Oh, yes, yes. I wonder pin. where you said put it on a pin. Um, oh, do we have a pin? No, they're in there, in there. I saw them in there, but don't worry because we're about to get oh, to, we're about to run out. But they come in the, the pin basically goes from the bottom end of your quilt up, and then this would be it's it's so that the the template stays on pivoting on the pin, yes. So it's like the Elna exclusive. When you, do, yes. when you stitch a circle, they've got a pin that you put in and it stitches the circle. That that's, just holds yeah. it. But that's a, a, a good thing for the glider because if you haven't got a glider with the pin underneath, you're going to be going down bumps in your needle yeah, place and things. Exactly. So that's where that really comes in. Thank you zone. so Lots. much. It's been so <laughs> lovely to see you. And it was a real masterclass. Well, no, I hope you've enjoyed it because I didn't want to rush you or anything like that. It was fantastic. I wondered if it would seem like a really long time because I've no, done it two by, hours it? before. Flo Now, just so you know, that was a pre-record, so the, may, the thing in that you, if you've bought those today, lots of you have come in and bought the Westerly, it's free p, &P not free T for two in May, so ignore that. Um, uh, and so, uh, secondly, if you don't know which of the, the high or the low or the medium and all that sort of thing, ring the call centre with your make and your model, and they'll tell you exactly which size you need to buy. So, uh, so... Uh, do bear with them, though, because Hannah forgot to warn them that you might all be calling. But anyway, but they're doing fine. We're doing fine with the purchases. So those of you who know, obviously, already know. Uh, so, so that was that I had to tell you. Uh, well, thank you for the berry shirt. Lots of people saying they like the berry shirt. And um, there was one other one, wasn't there? I suppose. Anyway, it was a pre-record, and I'm back now, just for 10 minutes, 9 minutes, uh, to um, sum up uh, of what we've done today and to tell you something about tomorrow as well. So... All the Westerly rulers, if you've got any questions, just ring the call centre. Make sure you check out your baskets. They have been flying out uh, for the whole hour. Thank you for Angie for letting us use her, um, pre you know, pre-record and everything like that. And I've changed back to my balloon shirt. Right, so I'm also going to go through very quickly. To today, the first time we've offered a whole show, we've done it on one quilt before, because remember it was Little Paul and I did it once. But um, if you just want to buy the quilt pattern without the fabric, you may have your stash at home, this was the date that, um, this is the Rainbow Quilt instructions, nine pounds and nine, 10 pence. It's the one that Sewing Nut messaged in, wasn't it? Anyway, 9.99, nine pounds and 99 pence if you just want the instructions. Well, February the 14th was Valentine's Day. 15th, I reckon it was the 15th. February the 15th, that was shown. February the 15th, that was shown. So the pattern's on their own, the instructions on their own, nine pounds and 99 pence. Full, full instructions, look. Now, I don't know if we'll ever do this. Oh, okay, there's, oh, blimey, they've flown out. There's fewer than 20 of those. Fewer than 20 of those. Oh, now, I wonder if Gerardine's watching. Well, which one am I doing next, sorry? Don't, let's do this then. Uh, Gerardine messaged in saying she's just watched Sally doing it yesterday. She loved it, she loved it, but could she just buy the pattern? Well, luckily for you, you can. It's only something Hannah and I have done. We don't know if we're supposed to have done it. We don't know if they'll ever do it again. 
but we have the double wedding instruction. Now, you can't make this without the ruler. You can't make it without the ruler. Half the stock of it has gone already, but you do need the ruler. I'll show you the ruler next. I have the ruler coming up next. You can't make it. Now, but oh, 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 the reason we did this one is a lot of you had already bought the ruler from when we'd done a, a bundle of it before, but we'd never ever shown the double wedding one before. So that's the instructions for nine pounds and 99 pence. There it is on the still. Now, before I go to the next instructions, I'll show you the ruler. So this is the ruler that you need to make that. It's got four sections. Uh, to obviously get all of that in your sections. Now you can use them, not just for the double red wedding. Why can't I say that? Double wed, anyway, the, this. You can also uh, do them to do other uh, things as well. 37 pounds and 49 pence. Watch yesterday's show on YouTube. Uh, now I've got some uh, wadding, some batting here, warm and white batting. Lots of you coming in for this today. Now, if you go to look at it on the website, if you, the thing is, we have lots and lots and lots. Oh, take advantage, free PMP. So if you but all your wadding, no PMP. But anyway, what I'm saying is, uh, if you look at the picture that on the website, it's a different drawing. They've they've updated their piece. It's like a black and white drawing now on the front there. This is a twin size, which is 1.8 by 2.3 meters, 72 by 90 inches, 19 pounds and 99 pence. Okay. Then I've got the next one. I'm moving on to the next one. Paris Star next. Paris Star instructions only. Uh, now Jane Alcock did this one on the 18th of April. Jane Alcock did this one. And again, look at the lovely instructions in there. E oops, everything you need to know to create all the blocks. 9.99, instructions are nine pounds and 99 pence. There it is. Now, um, it's lovely, isn't it? You can choose, because we're doing the pattern on its own, you can choose which colors you do, whether you ombre it out, whether you do, you know what I mean? You can do all sorts of things with that, can't you? The instructions, Nine pounds and nine ten pence, because you're always telling us how much stash you've got. So Hannah and I thought, you know what? We'll be a bit naughty. It's the weekend. Whoop, whoop. Hannah's got 17 days. Yes, Hannah's off for 17 days now, so she won't be facing anybody, will she? It'll be me when I come in tomorrow morning. To... Oh, no, I'll be in before them, obviously. It won't be, I won't come in to them. Uh, anyway, uh, how are we with stock with that one? And then last but not least, I've got compass quilt. I can't do the... They're not elephants, what are they? Whales. I can't do the, I can't do the whales one uh, pattern only because they're all uh, in, in bundles. But this one's lovely, isn't it? Now this one, if I'm not correct, is a foundation paper piecing one. So there's your templates that you need. And this one on the 11th of April. Oh, hang on, I'm just where the instructions come. There you go. This was on on the 11th of April with uh, Vicky and with uh, Lucy. Nine pounds and 99 pence, just for the instructions there. Now, that's lovely, isn't it? You can choose whatever color ways you want to do it in. That was the one from the magazine. Right, tomorrow, to, before, you, before we do the menu, before we do the menu, can you, how long have I got? Oh, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. Tomorrow, I'll, I'll show you the menu in a minute. We've got Amanda Wyatt in tomorrow, but we've got something brand new for you tomorrow. And I've just got brought one here for your hat, for you have a quick look at here. We've got uh, just the forms tomorrow. You've been asking for them for so long. We've got two different varieties, and each one is in four. I'll move my hand up, Pete, that way. Each one is in four different sizes. This one's brilliant, right? Now, what this one that you're seeing here, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start my sales pattern now, but not that I ever do sales pattern. This one is for dresses, right? And if you keep going down, this has got the most brilliant chalk marker for make doing hems on. Keep going. There it is, so you put, you're gonna might see my feet now. You put chalk in there, and then you've got this. You remember when we were little and we used to have, um, we used to have spiders? You press that and the, and the spider would jump. Do you not remember that? Maybe that was in the day before. But you put chalk in there and then you do that. Foo, 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 and it marks your hem going around. It's brilliant. That one's for dresses. The other one I've got is for dresses and, oh, and trousers. It hasn't got any legs. You'll see tomorrow. You'll see tomorrow. But the other one is for dresses and trousers. So with that, should we look at tomorrow's menu? Coming up tomorrow with me, John Scott. Oh, actually, now after I've done my show tomorrow, I'm not in then till the following Monday. 
So I've got a whole weekend off. A whole weekend, a whole week off, I mean. Right. Eight o'clock, got workroom tools and materials. Oh, have we? I haven't gone through that yet. Nine o'clock, we've got the silky cold shoulder top with Amanda Wyatt. Well, now, now, she's not called Amanda Wyatt. She's called Amanda Wyatt. I don't know why it's got... I don't know why it's got an apostrophe S on the end there. But we have got brand new fabrics. Now, the fabrics, those silky soft satins you've seen, they're just in different colourways. So you know that lovely one with the... Um, uh, oh, what's that tree? Magnolia tree. We've got that one with the blue background. It's gorgeous. 10 o'clock, I've got the adjuster form, dress forms. And then at 11 o'clock, Amanda White's terrific tote bag. She's got the PU. She's got all sorts of things that she's going to be doing at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Right. Do not... Um, I was going to say, do not go anywhere. I'll be back off the break. I won't. I won't go home now. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. But make sure you check out, especially on some of those patterns, because there's lots and lots and lots of people got them in their baskets. Also, I did do, if you, I did do bundles, though. If you just joined us, I did do bundles for the quilts as well. So go back on YouTube. We'll watch the repeat later, and you'll see all the bundles that we did for the quilts as well. Um, and was there anything else I had to say about today? Free PMP until midnight. There's only free PMP until midnight. So if you're watching the repeat, you're fine up until midnight. And then it's an electronic thing. It's not somebody pressing a button. It will stop officially. You don't have to put any code in. It just happens automatically. But if you one minute past midnight, it won't work. So if you are placing an order, please place it before uh, midnight. So we'll be back to 2.95 from midnight tonight. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Join us on Monday the 21st of May when dressmaking expert Amanda Wyatt shows us how to make an on-trend cold shoulder top. Just in time for sunny skies, this pretty top is a breeze to make. To emphasise the feminine flared sleeves, we've selected silky satin fabrics featuring springtime blossoms including magnolia flowers, daffodils and lilies. Amanda takes us step by step through the process, sharing her professional tips to ensure every detail is sewn to perfection. So tune in for an hour of springtime dressmaking, Monday the 21st of May at 9am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687.